Hello, hello. In, in, in How is everybody doing? I hope Allah. everybody is I... having a beautiful morning. Shani is live, and I'm here to bring it to you. Let's get right into it. Just telling a story. Mm -hmm. Like, it was. It came off truthful. <clears throat> I think so. I think he's pissed off that he got disrespected so many times by Foodie Beauty, you know? Her showing his car. Him showing his cam. Hey, Mandalorian. And then him using the wives in the camp like slaves. What the hell? Like, who does that fucking Canadian think she is, man? She's just a fucking YouTuber. She's not that fucking special. I think yeah, I, I think Salah's friend was severely offended by feeling like he was a servant to her. Yeah. With her just sitting there. Yeah. Like, you didn't like that. Hi, Katie. She came off as racist. Good morning, everybody. Like some kind of white fucking dignitary coming into their fucking country. Oh. And demanding worship. Like, fuck that bitch. I'm done with her, man. She's a bitch. She's a really bad, shitty fucking human. And she and her and Salah, their relationship completely fake. And, and 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 how she was eaten on camera in this indignant way yeah. and being so arrogant and cocky and making faces like she owned this guy. Yeah. Yeah. Like he showed you hospitality and that's how you reward him? Like, the wife washed her feet. The wife washed her feet. Very disrespectful to someone that did that to you. Yeah, fuck her, man. I'm done with her, man. Very disrespectful. She's not worth anyone's view at this point. Anyone's. Because all she's doing this for is just money and clout. And she's just, just feeding on all that negative attention and all that drama. And she's just like, thank you. I take this evil energy into me. Much. It's gross. Yeah, dude. Let me, let me. I'll put it in the um. I'll put it in the chat for you real quick. Let me find this. All right. Yeah, she's still talking about Foodie Beauty, unfortunately. Like and, and and this is this is why if you watch this video this video I'll give you a tag to his video so but you can subscribe to it of course there but um in this video you can see that Foodie Beauty's full of shit about the Habibs and the hijabs and all that shit you can tell that she's being very deceptive over it because women are showing their hair. They're, they're clothed normally. Here, that's the link to his channel. Good morning, Tears. What are funkle feet? Feet with fungi? I don't know. She never shows her feet. Because apparently they're like really gross. Yeah, she's full of shit about everything, man. Everything. And she's hiding from this guy. That's why her windows are all taped up and boarded up. She doesn't want them to know where she's living.
Like, watch that video. You'll see the dude go like this <sniffs> with a sword while saying Salah. Yeah. I don't know what else he was saying, but he definitely was saying Salah and do this <sniffs> with a sword in that video. It's crazy, man. It's, it's, it's like, me and Jason saw that. He was saying Salah, and it was like, and it's like. What? What? I understood that fucking body language. Nuts. Man. Pretty clear what he was saying there. Mm. Pretty clear. She needs, she needs to get over herself. But anyway, I'll just move on with that. You know what I was saying What's up, Prime Mover? about Trisha the other day and how she should bring back um, Trisha's baby fishes, kisses, and all that? Well, this is this is kind of proof that I think she probably watches me. Because look at the title of this video. Oh my god. Like you're gonna you're gonna be shocked at this when you see it. What? Yeah. Kisses to my little baby fishes. You think that Shani, you Dude, think Trisha Paytas is she just watching came your out channel? With this video. Yeah, at least that's Shani. Called, Kisses to my little baby fishes. We were literally saying this the other day, dude. Shani, yeah. you're not that fucking dumb. Little baby. You really think Dude, that? Dude, what if Trisha's in the audience talking to, talking to us? We don't even oh know. She's just God. under her thing so she can fit in with people. Awesome. No! Are you serious? Shani! Oh my God. Shani, you're delusional. Like, really that delusional. That is so cool. Wow. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lisa, for the super chat. You said, hi, Carrie. I'm new. I really enjoy your content. Aw, well, welcome. I'm so glad you're here, Lisa. And I'm glad you like my content. Thank you so much for being here. And thank you for the super chat. Someone's in the chat being really weird, wanting me to talk about something really weird that I don't know anything about. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What? FB reported barbecue, right? Demonetized yesterday. Yeah, I saw that, man. It's like, Dane. Yeah. Dane. You guys really need to learn how to, like, stop doing stuff now. <laughs> learn how to, like, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. You might want to shut the fuck up then, Shani. She was that small now. She's she don't even have cute. a YouTube channel Oh my channel god, yourself. the baby in the video, it's so cute. She's smiling. She's just, or she's a daddy's girl. You can tell that. Yeah. She loves her daddy. And she's giggling. Oh my god, it's so cute. It's so cute. I know, they grow up so fast. I was just thinking yesterday, like, Zachary used to sleep on my chest. And I, I like, that feeling that I'll never have that again with Zachary sleeping on my chest. Kind of broke my heart because, you know, I just, like, that was just like, ah. Your babies grow way too fast. Like, just love them while they're, you know, small. <laughs> No, love them their whole life. You don't like babies. I love babies. Love them while they're small. Get the fuck out of here. Wish we could put them on pause, you know. Oh, <laughs> right? thank you. The Shah of Thirst says, just got paid. Any guess who's not getting any of my money? Me and Shani. <laughs> thank you for the super chat, Shaw. I appreciate you. Yeah. Uh, oh my god, I hold a baby and boom, I want one. 
What's the bad news, Comfy? I still like. I can't believe she thinks that Trisha Paytas is watching her videos. She really thinks Trisha Paytas Chris is watching Comfy. her. Yeah. What's going on? I I know that babies equal time and money. Yeah, but the love is worth it. <laughs> is it? Is it worth it, Shani? The love. Yeah. Why isn't the love worth it for you to take your kids back and kick this fucking guy that kicked your kid in the head out? Why isn't the love strong enough for you to do that? You guys are wrong with the Funkle shit. Funkle. That's wrong. You guys are wrong with that Funkle shit. That is wrong. Definitely right. I thought it was fungus, man. Right, Emma? Uh -huh. Grow up so fast, and then your fella no, booted the fuck out of Way him. Deeper than and that they shit. got taken away more like, oh, exactly, a father, Emma. uncle. Oh, a father, uncle. Hi, Lisa. Okay. Yeah. Now I get it. Yeah. Brother and sister. Jesus. Happy together. I recommend starting a lawyer because trolls have apparently hired a public lawyer for the whole s Uh oh. Somebody said, I recommend you start looking for a lawyer because really? trolls have apparently hired a public attorney for the whole cancer fiasco recently. There's current investigation I'm not, ongoing I'm not and it's just a matter of days. Shit up, dudes. Did they now? Because really, I didn't take any money for cancer at all. You sure about yeah, that, Shani? Yeah, they're talking about it in Discord right now. Okay. Yeah, let them. Nothing's going to happen. It's ridiculous. Wow. The public attorney is doing an investigation, not the trolls, which is bad. Yeah, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. Uh oh, Shani looks worried. Some people are in too deep, right? Yeah. There's no record of you ever saying you were taking cancer donations. No, you never did. You sure about that, Shani? Are you sure? Period. I don't think like, you're so sure shit. about it. I think you're hey, a little bit worried. If they worried. come over to my house, all I'm do gonna do is fucking flash them. Like, look at these tits. What? Now, please, shut the fuck up. I'm trying to get it figured out. Leave me alone. You're gonna flash them your tits? Huh? The fuck are you talking about? Nothing the trolls say scare me, nor should it scare you. There's no investigation. People love to claim you're lying. You're just trying to live your life as full as you can with your illnesses. Yeah, exactly. Right. Everyone knows you did not take any donations for cancer. They're just they just like to cause trouble. Yeah, exactly. Hmm. We'll see. You don't. I don't think that's how exactly it works. But I wish you luck and pray for you. I love you too. I'm not afraid of it. Like, it's literally what I'm going to the doctors for. Yeah, it's fake. It's not real. They say you've been you doing sure it about for that, years. Rev? What, talking about my breasts? Rev looks extra worn out. He must be in need of some donations. Where yeah, are all I've the donors? Yeah, I've had problems with my breasts for years. And that's why they're suing? Because I. Suing for what? Who is suing you? The attorney, the attorney general is suing you? Suing for what? It's ridiculous. Me having problems with my breasts for years? It's all made up. Okay.
They're so nah, gross. she's really not worth the investment of time. I'll be honest with you, Sunshine. And you are? Hi, Ted. Foodie Beauty is not, but you are? Anyway. It's bullshit. Oh They just are trying to get in my business that way by opening up investigations so they can have FOIA files. Yeah. Yeah. Rev, Rev looks like look he is not doing They're good today. To you over talking about your breasts, how that's illegal. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Well, the claim is that you take donations for cancer. And that no, I don't totally. at all. There's no record of that because we've never done it. I've never done it. We've never done it, period, ever. Thank you, Foods Vegan. It's just dumb. They're just trying to start shit. They think maybe if they say this stuff, I'll, I'll like confess to something and there's nothing to confess because it's like, I literally have a lot of problems with my breasts and I'm going to the doctors for them. It's your own medical business. Yeah. yeah, it's my own fucking medical business. Then why are you telling everybody about it? You just ask for donations for food and Delta. You're honest about what you want for money. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. This is just dumb at this point. And they're trying to start some kind of weird fucking drama that isn't even true. You're welcome, sunshine. <laughs> it's always some, something else. But that's for content. Yeah. That's what they're doing. It's for content. And they even have people that can make up, they can draw fake legal documents. Oh, yeah. God. Here we go. Group. Yeah, they do. Paralegals. They have paralegals in their crew. So they can, they can type up documents that look very close to what could be real. So, yeah. It's so nuts. It's just so dumb. It really is fucking dumb as shit. You seem awfully worried and, and about if it. If you want to, if, if, if it does go down to that, you guys can be my witnesses. Oh my god. Shanny. Like, no, they easily, can't. You can be my witnesses. No, they can't. You don't know how court works, do you, Shanny? <laughs> I don't have to stop, uh... show any papers to the, the Attorney General without a court order. Yeah, I don't have to show any papers to the Attorney General without a court order. And that's what I would say. Get a court order. Shani, if you... If you... <laughs> I don't know if I believe this. Sounds like people wanting you to do a rage. That's what I'm thinking. I'll stand in court of law for you, Shani. DM me if anything actually goes down. I'll be there if the trolls even try it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you, Sunshine. They're full of shit. All they're doing is trying to start, like, they're going to get you in trouble for false reporting someone. Yeah. The Attorney General is going to get in trouble for that, Shani? Come on. Do you really believe all this bullshit that is said to you? Well, you if really they do. watch her at all, they would already know that they only ask money for Delta, eight, eight cigarettes, food, Whatever nobody's said specifically for cancer, no. Never. No. You don't have cancer, Shani. Let's just be yeah, real. Who cares about what you two do? Yeah, exactly. That's why you're worried about it. Because if you really had cancer, there'd be nothing to worry about. We're just trying to ruin you. But show. you know yeah. that you're lying about it. Yeah. I probably should block that person who said that. I think so. Yeah. I've noticed them for a while that they come in here and start fucking shit. That's they your entire them. chat, Shani. Your show. There you go. Yeah. There you go. There yeah, you go. That hard <laughs> yeah, man. There you go, Shani. People butthurt over other people making content. 
people are just butt hurt. When their only content is your content. But I would. They come over here to investigate. I just lift up my shirt and I'll be like, Oh my I'm god. I'm going to the doctors for this. Any questions? God, my god, I don't. You would lift your shirt up and flash them? Come no, on, Shani. That sounds fucking that. nuts. But I get your point. <laughs> like, that's how you want to handle something? <laughs> Seriously? You're going to flash it away? Like, what? And they probably wouldn't have warned you in a private message, not here during your show. Yeah, that's true. They're so fucking dumb at this point. They're finding... They're trying to find any reason... Anything they make up in their head, they think is true. And it's like, right, quasi monkey, shit. smoke up, Shani. Other than trying to that will feel surely help the cancer. Yep. You know, I'm trying to deal with mental illness. Right, hippie Riri. Right. Maybe you know. Well, hopefully, she does show, it then. I was, I was actually like wiping down and cleaning under my breasts. Ew. Because they're seeping underneath it. Ew. So. You're a liar, Shani. And you need to bathe. Fuck them. I, I got, I got, my body's my fucking proof. Shani, I'm sure that if there were things that like this, you, you would know that you're under investigation. Yeah, I would know I if just I'm say, under investigation. You're right. Okay. This is total bullshit. But they can make fake documents to make it look semi-real. So it's just, it's it's shanty fan fiction again. It's... Have you had a mammogram? Not yet. I'm hoping, I'm hoping. You haven't had a mammogram, but you're going around saying you have breast my cancer. My doctor sends me right away, you know. Because I, I, actually I'm going to demand it. I need a mammogram like right away. Mm -hmm. you know? That's not how it works, Shannon. Yeah, you I don't get to, to demand shit. Mean to me too. Yeah, they're open wounds, and then there's a huge rash too, like under here, and it goes like right in this area. So they hurt. Let me look fancy. Like, I'm not getting any. It's like, fuck them, man. I can get donations. Why does it always have to be something sinister why I get donations? No, I didn't see anything go through, hon. They want to destroy your show. Anyone else sends a letter or harasses you, I'm going back to my hometown and throwing down. Yeah, man. Oh, my God. Please. They act like they've never done anything wrong in their lives. They need to stay in their own lanes. Yeah, they're actually doing something illegal by false reporting me all the time for these invisible fucking crimes I'm always fucking doing. No, I'm not putting baby powder in that area. That could cause problems, dude. Like, they got sued for baby powder recently. Mm -mm. Yeah, if you're putting it in your crotch. Not oh, I your see boob. it now, Fancy. I'm sorry. I see it. Thank you. I see it now. God bless you. Thank you. Let me look on my Twitch real quick. You gave a community sub out gift. Aw, oh, thank you, Fancy. I see it now. I saw it. I, I just didn't say it because we, oh. we were talking. Oh. Rev is looking rough right now. He must be out of cigarettes. God bless you. Thank you. Yes, God bless and you. And Delta Medicine. They need their medicine. People literally have nothing better to do with their lives other than see others screwed over, hurt people, hurt people. Yeah, exactly.
Yeah, it's not a fungus, idiot. Oh, it's a fungus. It Why is a fungus for sure. Towards you, they're like they're going full force. Yeah, they're making themselves look like they're really bad. They're just making themselves look so bad right now. Oh well. Maybe someday these grown adults will grow up. Yeah. Hold on one second, guys. I'll be right back. Maybe someday. But, like, I don't know if they will. Like... Yeah, yeah, Jane. Jenny, please get an advocate to help you and Rev apply for your disability. I promise you will get approved. All right, thank you, Jane. Advocate. Yeah, they might be too far gone. Who knows? I'm back, I'm back. Happy, happy Wednesday. Thank you guys for being here, everybody. Okay. I don't know about Twitch, though. Like, I have an income with Twitch. So it's like, would I have to stop doing Twitch? Because, I like, if I do Twitch, I wouldn't need disability. You know what I mean? Well, it, well for now, you kind of still do need some help. Mm -hmm. you're, not, you're not there yet. Yeah, I'm not there there yet. There there. Yeah. So. You're not even close to there. I think they adjust that stuff. Let's be real. So. Thank you, Fancy Jane. I do I do air it out. You will have to claim it. And you should be claiming it already. And you if you're not, not that could be a problem. What's up, Pulse of Defiance? How are you doing? Disability. Okay. That's what you would be. be decreasing it as you make more and more twitch money twitch doesn't pay enough to disqualify you okay i'll still look at it then right petty patty no she doesn't make enough on twitch to affect disability yeah oh i know Disability goes off work history. I just finished the process. Oh, okay. I need to make over 20K in Pennsylvania to not be able to get assistance. All right, that's good. I'm nowhere near that. Treva, I think she did say that. There you go. I really do. You want, you want a crochet blanket? They're nice. <laughs> Hi, watermelon baby girls. Being cuddly girls. She is baby being girls. Cuddly girls. My baby girls. She's like, I just love, love. She, she's a good girl. She really is. Yeah. So, anyway. I think Fox, we're, we're, we're in the twilight zone when it comes to the news lately, especially uh, Fox News. Something's going on in Fox News. Uh, I think they might go liberal, and I'm going to show you why. Oh, my God. What? <laughs> oh, my. You're probably right, Trina. She probably did say that, that she's had a mammogram uh, before. All right. That would not surprise me. So. Well, what'd she say, Ted? So I emailed Jules to get the bottom of all this bullshit, and she was surprisingly nice and respectful to what I was asking. Should I take it with a grain of salt? 
Probably. I don't know. What did she say? Right, yep. Yeah. They're always trying to get me in trouble with the law. Always. Now anyone who watches my show will be like, there's nothing here. You sure All about right, that? Alright, hot mama. You sure about that, Shani? Can you check my check my PayPal baby? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Reb <sighs> Reb is ready Talking to check that back. shit. He needs some cigarettes, you can tell. He is jumping on getting checking that shit quick. Oh, thank you so much. Got another yeah, donation. I'm actually very proud of you and Rev. You have come a long way. Thank you. Oh, heat and pad. I would be like just. Uh, <laughs> I do need a heat and pad. So bad. You achy girls. I am. I'm an achy baby girls. Drag. I need to know something. You you were in the inn, in the inn, in the inn. What's all this stupid bullshit of people trying to get me in trouble with the laws with this, like, cancer scam bullshit? That's fucking bullshit. Oh, God. Like, I'm taking donations for cancer and all this stupid bullshit. Who the fuck made that shit up? Dude, you're actually going to believe drag. Shinny. Are you that fucking stupid? Wait, I know the answer to that. I know the answer already. I really want to know. Like, who's making this stupid bullshit up? Why don't you, like, look into it, Shani? I mean, God. If you just watched half of the shit that the people the in your DA chat put out about you. a case that has no fucking you evidence. You would probably know. At all? Other than a woman talking about her breasts? Shani, you are awfully worried about this for you to think it's not true. Like, you are really worried. Shani, people are saying you're lying about cancer just a heads up. That's them. That's not my problem. Uh, it might be Why your problem. Why should I get in trouble with the law because they think I'm lying? Shani is so worried about this, you guys. Like She is very worried. I love that. I love that for her. Why should, a pr Why should they waste a DA's fucking time and energy? Oh. Shani. Shani. They're going to start... If there is an investigation... They're going to investigate it, right? Yeah. They're going to go to your channel and see that you've never asked for money for cancer once, ever. Yeah. Case closed. But have you asked for money for cancer ever? It's over. There's no evidence that, that you've done it because you haven't done that, ever. Mm, I beg to differ, Rev. I beg to differ. That's it. Keep worrying about it, Shani. Because it's probably going to happen. So gullible. A lot of people say that you can give yourself cancer by thinking. If you do. Thinking it. Stress and shit, too. I believe that. I think there's various things that cause it. Yeah. Like, it's bullshit. I don't think cigarettes. Oh, thank you, bargain shopper. <laughs> I just don't believe it. I'm just trying to live my life. Why all the fucking wrenches with the legal system? All Petty Patty. I want to see her get a heating pad and then freak out about the toasted skin syndrome. Jail. Probably because she wouldn't be able to feel the effects, yeah, but you definitely see it. Because it's slander. 
bullshit. It really is. It's it's open slander and libel both because they're doing it in text too, of course. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, um, that's awesome. Nice people. It's so nice to interact with nice people. I just don't understand this, man. Why make my life harder? Oh my god. Get off on it. She is not gonna stop with it. This is gonna be the whole thing. Whatever. I'll take the hits as they come, I guess. That's all you could do. Oh, you want to put a, a big heating pad yeah. on Amazon yeah. and then give the Amazon link out? Okay. Thank you. Absolutely. Yeah, Hogtide Champ, I For did see that. For control, there are 10 of us who like you. Yeah. You haven't been through enough already. Yeah, right? right? <laughs> I know, right? I've never heard you say, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, man. I never heard you ask for a donation because of cancer. No, I didn't. Never happened. You sure about that? Never happened. Ever. You sure about that? I don't like that? Kratom, it, Kratom Logan, Logan's mom. I tried it. It doesn't work rare. I think you have asked for money while whilst talking about having cancer. I'm pretty sure you did do that. Right, yeah. Chelsea? Yeah, I I highly doubt she actually has an appointment right? on the 10th. I think that was all made up. It's okay. You have to keep trying to get rid of pain, anxiety, depression, and fatigue. Yeah. Like, please, just, like, give me a break. Don't add more shit onto me. Ooh, food's begging. That was a good one. I wonder if she's going to address it. You said, Amen. just being a devil's advocate here, not trolling, this but is, you honestly did say in your last stream. Home. Hold on. Seems like a really good idea. Going home. Because I don't have to deal with this shit if I go home, you know? What? Shani, are you high? Why are your eyes like that? Her eyes are like pretty much closed. Thinking about going to Duluth. To visit. Um, for friends. So let me read the rest of that comment because that was a good one. It says, just being devil's advocate and not trolling, but you honestly did say in your last stream that you haven't been officially diagnosed, but you're still saying you have C. A doctor is not going to be so reckless to di diagnose C, a.k.a. cancer, without diagnostic proof. And that's very true. And, of course, she just skipped past that and didn't read it. You're welcome, Fancy. Thank you. I was instructed to, to give you a hug. Aww. She's sick, but she's, she's fucking sick of you going through bullshit. I know, man. Like, enough is enough, guys. Oh my god. Enough is enough, guys. Oh. Like, it's not fair. Leave a lady alone. She ain't doing anything. If you want to be left alone, Shani, you can always turn the, the fucking law. computer no off and go do something the law else. About anything other than being sick. No, I mean, that's not even breaking the law. I'm just br being sick. You're just sick. No, you're being, <laughs> you claim to be sick and ask for money. Constantly. Constantly. Fuck the haters, man. I get a life, man. Yeah. For real.
My breasts are fucking proof. Uh, no they're not. Thanks. That's not how shit gets proven, Shanny. Right, Nina? This is all an act it's to get Sims to feel drag. for her and give her donos. She's no lady. Yep. I've been having these problems for years, okay? Yeah. Just too scared to go to the doctors. Well, you are now, so. Yeah. Too scared to go to the doctors? Oh my god. Too scared and, 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 and not only scared, but depressed and not wanting to just go anywhere because I'm just so emotionally and All right, Kelly, we'll be here. exhausted from any, everything and like, like, I don't know about y'all, but this girl needs a break from all the fucking bullshit and drama and shit. Like, I need a break from it. Then you like, probably you should jump off the alone. internet. I got other things I'm dealing with with my life. With my health. With my body. That is your health. Hi, sunshine. Thank you, Tippy. Oh, my God. Shut up, debate troll. Get off my channel. Oh, God. <laughs> Why are they stressing the uncle out? Because they're nuts, man. They're nuts. And I could easily tell the DA and be like, look into them for giving false reports out through the years. Isn't there some foods or supplements that can at least make you feel better? I don't know, man. I've tried everything at this point. Oh, Bargain Shopper, good question. We need to look into that and look what's on the Amazon wish list. That's so a good idea. To influence Rev's uncle so he can kick you out. Oh, yeah, I think that's what they're trying to do, man. She does seem like she's slurring a little bit. Yeah, man, these people need to just stop over their stupid bullshit, man. Thank man. you, 617, for giving Sandra Zago a gifted sub. That's sweet of you. So you're going to skip right past that comment, Shani? Wow, she is. Somebody in her chat wrote, I know it's scary to go to a doctor if you think you're terminally ill, but there's still a chance it might not be cancer. Whatever. Maybe you can be totally cured of whatever ails you at the moment. The only way to know for sure is to go. God bless. She did not read that. And that was a very, very good, co like, that was a good comment. That was a very nice way that they worded it. Said nice, nice things. Even that, she won't read it. Because she will not let anybody think for one second that she doesn't have cancer. How long has she been live? Um, a little under an hour. Anymore, man. I don't got the energy for it. Here we go. This is going to be the, oh, I'm so sick bullshit. It's okay, though. K. 
can I check and see if it went through? Boy. Oh, I see. How are we doing on that charge? I think so, Fancy Jane. Where did you send it? Is it through the Twitch or the PayPal or... Right, Shiva, you've noticed for 10 years I that she always overlooks or blocks any common sense comments. You had cancer when you have a big nine. It was crazy. Uh, yeah, man. I don't know who comes up with this shit. No, I don't want to hear what Sokka has to say, drag. He's going to be Did you see DiGiorno Pizza made a pizza that's just dough and mac and cheese? No, I didn't. That's crazy. I wonder how that is. Hi, like, babe. DiGiorno makes really good pizza. How is there a mac and cheese pizza? Are you having a good day at work, babe? Yeah, dude. I don't need to do anything, man. Oh, thank you. Kindness is contagious. You said these people giving money I aren't trolling. I agree. I totally agree. You Kindness is contagious. Order thank you so much for the super chat. I turn any fucking shit over, though. I appreciate that. Period, man. And I agree. I agree with that statement. You don't. Got, and the DA don't got any proof to actually get a fucking court order. So suck my dick. So you're just gonna keep going on about this, huh, Shani? You're you're obviously super worried. Super worried. Oh, if you would have read checklist. Oh, it's on Amazon. If it's checked on Amazon. Yeah, we'll see. Oh. Okay. Yeah, JP, they do sound like they're really high. I think that they are. If you watch, like, mm -hmm. Shani's eyes and stuff, she looks pretty out of it. Mm -hmm. Someone has purchased this item from your list recently. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're the best. That's going to help you so much. Right. I'm having major fucking problems, dude. I know. Shani's straight up worried. I can tell by oh, the way she's thank acting. thank you, Fancy Jane. And the cat foods. Oh, my God. Gavin. Gavin! Uh, you're <laughs> going to get your cat foods. Thank you, Jane, so much. You're wonderful. So the cats don't have food right now? You're the best. Look at Watermelon. She's like, cat foods? Uh, yeah, you've got to wait a little bit, maybe a day or so, and you'll get your cut food. Gavin's going to have his gravy. <laughs> You're excited? You're excited, watermelons? Oh, She's really, like, yes, Nina? Nina that's Is that, that the door? <laughs> wouldn't surprise. Someone sent her money. Yep. You said I blame food. Rick. Someone sent her money. It's coming. The foods is coming. And ordered her shit on Amazon. It possibly today. Look at Which her. I She's can't so fault excited. them for it because at least they're getting so the cat's right food. Yeah, she wants meat. Boy is a cat bo damn boy. He's good, a good boy. The good boy. Exactly, hippie Riri. If they can't even supply cat food on their own, the there's no way the the they will see their kids again. Hold on. He's probably on no the way bed. they will get their children back. Exactly. <laughs> Like, those cats, just like the boys weren't getting enough to eat, the cats are not getting boy. enough to eat. Yeah, I do that. What's my favorite laundry detergent? I don't have a favorite laundry detergent. I just buy what's cheapest at the time. So it's usually gain. <laughs> He's a good boy. He was on his way down. He was. He yeah. heard foods. He heard foods? It's the boy. You hear foods, Gavin's? Wait, let's let's put the 
the big screen on so they see him better. It's a boy's. He wanted the food, boy. He wanted the food. Wow, look at Shani's eyes, y'all. Tell me she does not look fucked up. There's the boy. He's a good baby. He's got his eyes trained on something today. He does. He's There's like, okay, I got to do something. <laughs> he's got to do what he's got to do. He's looking for the food. It's like, where's my food? He licked his lips. Yep. What do y'all think? Do you guys think that she's messed up on drugs right yeah, now? Yeah, I love my sweet boy. I'm actually disappointed you probably don't have cancer. Wow. What a piece of shit. Like, you don't know what I have and what I don't have, dude. I know what I have, so fuck off. You're such an idiot. Probably painkillers? Yeah. The You're hoping I die? Like, what the fuck is wrong with you, man? Yeah, I don't care for people. Really don't like people much. Yeah, they really are. Look at her. What is she doing, even? I don't know if this is worry and fear, Shit, or man. if she's just fucked up, or both. She's worried about I this shit. I seem like I'm pretty vulnerable right now. Am I okay? No, I'm fucking dog shit. I feel like dog shit today. No, the cats don't like peanut butter. No, they're not into it. Cats have food. They just want their... True, Citrus. She could be getting paranoid because of the drugs. They just like the their canned food. The wet food, yeah. The most. Like, that's their favorite favorite. And Gavin loves his fish. Yeah, Shaw, I it's agree. Coming. Your fish is coming. Oh, he's getting gravy cans. Yeah, his gravy Shaw said, coming. this is just yeah, pissing me off. When my mom had colorectal cancer, I couldn't raise $300 for her fucking bills. But these simps will throw money at cancer... At, at this cancer faking sow. Yeah. Yeah. No, I agree. It's frustrating. With you, you know, they started testing me in Colorado and then we had to freaking move and I didn't get the results then. You were supposed to have an MRI or whatever. Yeah. Or a CAT scan or something. Yeah. And then I And came. then COVID hit. And then, yeah. Then COVID hit and there was quarantine. Yeah. Yeah, right? The symptoms of cancer don't like, go away from uh, day to day. And exactly. You go on a rehab and again COVID fucked it up. Yeah, we didn't even get to the breast issue yet. No. And then we just got to the fucking testing part of it. And right, Instant idiot, Karma? Like G Man threw a fucking wrench and I couldn't go to my doctor's appointment. Oh my god. Don't blame I that on G Man. T cells. And everything being off the charts. Elevated. If those yeah. if those doctors were worried about you, Shani, and thought you might have cancer, they'd have had you back in like, there with a quickness. Although I don't think you saw a doctor in the first place, because I think everything you're saying is complete and total bullshit. You can't blame me for the life circumstances. No. No, but we can blame you for no, your actions. For no. Like, she is really pressed about this. She is worried. And that's how you know she knows she's lying. Yeah, well, that's scary. What if you had it for a long time? If she I, thought she actually... Yeah. Just think about this. If she thought she actually had cancer, she wouldn't be worried about this. Because she would know she has nothing to get in trouble for. She know, But she knows she doesn't have cancer. So she knows that she could get in trouble for for asking for money for it. You know what I'm saying? Like, Shani, you're telling on yourself. So that scares me because it's like, I don't have the answers that I need to have, man. I need, I need to get the steps I need right now. What's my favorite variant of Delta-8? 
I like me some hazes or jack hairs, baby. Let's see, I don't like the mango. That's pretty fucked up scale, Firefly. How happy will I get be if I got a real diagnosis? I already been in the diagnosis point. No, you haven't. More testing. If you haven't had a mammogram, then what are you talking about? What's wrong with you? What are you talking about? You just said you haven't had a mammogram yet. How have you been tested or 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 diagnosed with can breast cancer when you haven't even had a fucking mammogram? Here, Fancy J, go to my Instagram, and he'll give you information. Information. I'm so fucking tired right now. I'm sorry, guys. Then end the stream. Like, That's what's coming. You, I'm in the middle of fucking testing. Leave me alone. You notice she's changed, done a 180 from what she was acting like in the beginning of this stream. Now all of a sudden You're she's asking sick. All these fucking weird fucking questions. Just leave me alone. You know how you can get people to leave you yeah, alone, Shani? Exactly. Don't go live. But there's always that. That option. Hey, it is what it is. Yeah, I'm glad the boys aren't seeing what I'm going through right now. I would want them to see that. Dude, I'm Shani, so lay off the so drugs. I'm so happy they're in a place where they don't have to see that struggling mama. She literally yeah. barely can open her like, eyes. To be honest, I don't want them back until I'm better. Just so they don't have to see a struggling mom. Wow. 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 She doesn't want her kids back, guys. She just said it. And she has, she knows that she's not actually sick, so not getting her kids back until she's yeah, so better, she knows will never happen. A COVID test, come on, guys, it's not just yes or no. No, it's not. You have to go. Through, like, she knows that she's never going to get them back. She knows that she's not really sick together, in the first place. Quite a bit involved. And we're just at the beginning stages of what this, a so fucking horrible piece of me. shit excuse stop for a mother. To, like, say I'm lying about this stuff because I'm really not. What a fucked up thing to say. No child should be going through that. It must have been heartbreaking to make that decision. Yeah, it was, but it's like at the same time, I knew they they wanted to they wanted that too that break. Yeah. You know. So I did it for them. Right, Hawk Tai Champ. I agree. The best. They don't deserve a mom who can barely move or do anything for them. They deserve someone who can do something for them. No, they deserve someone that will stand up and won't allow someone to physically kids, assault and, and the abuse best. them. Yeah, they do deserve the best. And that's not you, that's for sure. Because you're not willing to they put in the effort. You don't want your kids. Like, you legitimately just admitted you don't want your kids back. No, I don't. Good morning, Huda. How are you, gorgeous? Whew. All right. I'm going into the Fox News things. I need, I need, like, yeah, I need something to make me laugh. Because this is just depressing the fuck out of me because it's, like, it's too much to handle. Okay. All right, Shani. It's mentally draining for me. Okay. So, so why are you here? Why are you here, then? We why even do the live stream? We have reached a climax in this world that Fox News, Fox News, Fox News. 
We got it. Fox has News. pretty much given up on the Republican Party. I said it. I know, it's fucking weird. But Fox News has given up on the Republican Party. Okay. And? Yeah, just, just watch. New Year with the Fox News Alert. It is day one of the 188th Congress, and House Republicans now are on the verge of becoming a total clown show. A total clown show. <laughs> I've been my fellows from the Midas Touch Network. <laughs> I've never, ever in my world would ever thought to Goofy see bastard. Sean Hannity never. call the Republican Party a clown show. Never. I've seen him do it to a lot of liberals and, and celebrities is calling them clowns. But now it's the Republican Party. You know you've, you've done some fucked up shit when you have that man calling his own party out a clown show. That's rough. It is so rough. That is so rough. Yeah, it looks like there's a clown show on both, both sides of, of the fence. They're, they're eating all, each other. They're all fucking and They're cringy. eating each other, and they're distancing themselves from each other, too. Like, mm -hmm. I'm not part of this problem. I, no, I'm not part of this problem. You're all part of the problem. You well, are the problem, Shani. Like, We're just regular Republicans, you know. <laughs> Shani, you're not part of the problem. You are the problem. Yes, we need Jesus. Lisa, I wonder if she sat on a Peloton, you can uh, even see the bike. Probably not. Not much of it, at least. We really do. He's saying that the Republican Party is on the verge of becoming a clown show. I think the word verge was doing a lot of... Yeah, Nine Lives, Saturday. that was me doing my uh, rev laugh. total and utter clown show. And after the House He's of Representatives adjourned me. Yeah, Hollow. She, she magically gets better when she's not talking about the cancer shit again. She pe she pepped right up, didn't she? Honey, can you figure that out in the comments? I'm looking. Okay. I blame Rick. Go I agree. Yeah, go to my Twitter. I've seen a lot of bums in my life, Twitter? but they take the cake. She should have me on Twitter. Okay. For sure. For a message on Twitter then. Okay. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Tuesday because Of Kevin course Petty Patty, she's going to skip right past it. Speakership actually losing support in the third roll call with 20 defections, 20 Republicans voting for Jim Jordan as the Speaker of the House and Hakeem Jeffries, uh, the Democratic leader, receiving more votes than any of the Republicans in the three roll call votes. You also had Janine Pirro on the five of Fox and on her appearance and she said, the ordinary Americans are sitting at home and saying, what is going on? Like, what is wrong with these Republicans? What's wrong with these people? Here, play this clip of Janine Pirro. <laughs> oh, my God. Another one where a woman's tied up and being tortured. Oh, God. Okay. And True, they did just get really their food stamps on the second. this game, Hero Wars. It, my eyes worse than that, man. I've seen ones where it's 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 a pretty realistic looking cartoon, but it's a cartoon. But it's a woman that's dressed up in like a, a nurse outfit tied up in a dungeon. Like, what the hell are you doing in that game even? Yeah, there is something about these advertisements that are glorifying women being harmed. I, 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 I yeah. I, 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 I. Like hentai shit. Oh, please. Ugh. Hinting at a, like assault porn. That's. I don't there, like it. I don't either, dude. I don't that like it. I don't that like That triggers me because it, it. I know, baby. It does. He's still confident. He's going to be. Speaker. Oh, thank you. Actually, I blame Rick for the super chat. You said how bee colonies and ant colonies have jobs they don't. <laughs> thank you for the super chat. I blame yes. Rick. Not a good look for Republicans today. No, the ordinary American is sitting home and saying, <laughs> "Maybe it's because they don't have anything on Biden other than, you know, him having a fucking drug problem, Hunter." 
You know what I mean? I would like to report those ads because I don't want to see them anymore. I'll look next time. There should be a way that you can single out certain. Oh, I can't wait till I get YouTube Premium. Yeah, that that fixes it. Yeah. Priorities. We have enough to get that actually. Priorities. Uh, yeah, we, we could do that right now. I mean, yeah, we could. If and get rid of that shit. Yeah, let's do that. Wow. Okay, I don't, you're gonna let me, have to let go me, under where, where is it at? My PayPal? Uh, yeah. Wow. Okay. Yes, it is. So, not what gonna else? spend it on food or shit like that, because they know they're just gonna ask for more, and wow. more people will give them more shit. So they're gonna spend it on, on a, a premium account on YouTube. Not cat food. No, no, no. Not cat food. Fuck these ads. That can wait. I'm tired of that. This is called an investment in my channel. I mean, Shani does play, like... It's very much like hentai, right? Yeah, only thing that, uh... Oh my god, I'm sorry, Drag. My eyes are so bad. Lack are the tentacles. Yeah, I... Like, tentacles. That's, yeah. like sex, that's like porn addiction stuff and it pops up and it's like shit what the hell like i i ran from it this goes shit. by what it goes by what I you're freaking searching life, you know and i'm sure there's some guys out there that feel the same way like if it's that's like, kind of shit is popping up right? rev it's because you're searching it. that it's out there and and it's becoming like bigger definitely the like cartoon sex stuff is definitely becoming something We got some wet cat foods on the way. Yay! Yeah, the tentacle thing, Greg, is like, what? Like, that never, that never, like, got me going. Like, I just don't understand that. Like, sure. It's real there. I don't get it. Sure, Rev. We believe you. Yeah. We believe you. Like, not at all. <laughs> it, it's weird. It's weird. It's just, I try to get, it's like, for somebody that's in that world, it's like I try to get away from that stuff. And the images and the sounds are very triggering. So, that's all I can tell you. But it's like it's getting it's it's getting in the mainstream, like, way more. Without a doubt. Which is fine. It's art. You know, I'm not saying silence art. Uh, just because of me. I'm not saying that. I guess, Dre. I don't know. It's the way they draw it, you know? Everything's accentuated and, very, like, the angles are extreme. Here we go. He like, loves like, the yeah, angles. They're talented at drawing that stuff. That's all I can say. He loves those tentacles. <laughs> Yeah, I want to write this very code. Can you just Yeah, of that? course. Yeah. On which zip code on which on what card? Cash app. Oh, it, okay. I all right, that's that's that. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Exactly, Dre. Yeah, you know, you get it, Dre. You get it. And they draw the women like shimmery, like they're sweaty and, and they're wet and moist and stuff. It's like, Oh, yeah. God. Please stop, Rev. Please stop. But he won't. Yeah. Yep. I've seen some of that, Ted. Definitely. It's crazy. It's crazy shit. There we go. It's crazy shit. Dudes, no more ads. Ever mm -hmm. again. 
That's a good day. New Year with the Fox News Alert. It is Wait, day we, one of the we were, 188 we were, we were, Congress and House Republicans now are on right, the verge of becoming right, a total clown Right show. here. No I'm more ads. Janine. Yes. Not a good look for Republicans today. No. The ordinary American is sitting home and saying, what the heck is wrong with these people? <laughs> They must not follow politics that much because uh, this is not anything we new. We gave them money. Look at we that beautiful thing. Premium. In the house. There you and go. they can't get along with each other. They don't, they don't like have enough problems with the Democrats that they at least can't align Thank you guys. with the Democrats. Here's the and then, of course, Tucker Carlson had to weigh in with his bizarre yeah. conspiracy theories like, and yeah. Yeah. his own take on it. And he was saying that if Kevin McCarthy wants to become the speaker he needs to do two things he goes the first thing kevin mccarthy needs to do is to release all of the january 6th committee files and reports not just the reports but all of the raw data see so basically premium was equal to two of my subscribers yeah you guys paid it for it yeah you it. guys paid for it two you subs. got yeah you guys paid for it, Worth it follow you back on twitter so i can okay okay we'll do follow back gotcha okay because cool. i ain't no holla back girl i ain't no holla back yeah, here i'll do this do, do, do. hi ho this is my shit uh -huh. this is my shit <laughs> Hi ho! Hi ho! Hi ho! Hi ho! It's off to work you go. Hi ho! Hi ho! Now that now that's gonna be stuck in my motherfucking head too. Great. Give me your address. Do it now. Do it. Do it now. Give me your address. Are you Kylie? Yo, Snow White is my favorite Disney princess. Do you guys have a face prince? What? A fave princess. Oh, Jasmine. Did you know that Snow White is the very, very first Disney I don't know. movie? I've been low hung, Ted. Reese. The Eight. oldest one. I've been low hung. Not high hung. Just a little fun well, fact. You know what I mean? He dragon, dude. I don't know what it is. He dragon. <laughs> Did you get my message? I mean, most people love Jasmine. I feel like, ja I've felt like Jasmine a lot of times in my life. Like alone in my castle with my cat. Yeah. My favorite, my favorite princess and the most, wow, look at her, and I loved her fucking shit, definitely, is Ariel, without a doubt. Oh my gosh, Rev. That's my answer. Yeah, Ariel. <laughs> Are you taking this yeah. way too seriously? Ariel made me go, oh, hi. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Uh, no. Yeah, she is Bay, definitely. You just want to cuddle her. That's that's what went through my mind first. Is to like her boobs. Her boobs. Wow. Jazz or sorry, Ariel. Ariel's. Oh. You want to cuddle her. Yeah, but do you really want to fuck a fish? <laughs> that's it. <laughs> well, he's already fucking Jane, something that smells I like her. I agree. Release all of the files. Fine, cuddle release a fucking fish. Yeah, she's, no one on she still smells like fucking fish, that's dude. That's true though. I, I would rather cuddle with a fish than your ass. You smell freaking ten times worse, moaned. I'm sure. <laughs> Give me that fucking fish any a day starfish. of the week. Yeah, that's how Foodie Beauty fucks. Just like the starfish pose. Not even move, just... That's how you are sit all the time with your legs 16? spread, Shanty. Ariel? You become a pervert on that. No, I'm saying I, I felt that way when I was like 14. I that now I would probably look at her as like a young girl. Yeah. Now. She said you can do a lot without even movement. 
Yeah, that's real good sex is not moving sex. That's the Kegels? Yeah. She's squeezing the Kegels. Yeah. Here we go with the sex talk. Damn redheads. Oh, my God. Democratic side objecting <laughs> to the release of Come all on, the no. data and all of the all of the files. In fact, it was the Republicans who immediately removed the January sixth like committee's anyway. work from the website. One of the very first things that the uh, Republicans did, did in their rules did is I to get try the right to person? seize all so. of the January sixth committee materials. The other thing that Tucker Carlson says, and I'll play the video, is oh, once a I got her that's now. Going okay. to attack the Department of Justice the right and individual. the FBI, and the reason that MAGA Republicans hate Hi the Department of Justice and the FBI Hi right now is because they executed a lawful search warrant. <laughs> there we go. Out that yeah. the cult leader Donald Trump was stealing Their thousands leader, of Trump. government records, including top secret sensitive compartmented information, <laughs> our nation's top secrets, which could have and likely did result in the death of American. What the fuck? Wait, 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 drag. Yeah, this I sounds. Heard, yeah. Have you heard of OV poisters? They are like dildos that can deposit jelly eggs inside a. Ew. No, I didn't hear that in real. I thought you were talking about the hentai that's like that, where a thing lays a thing inside a chick. No, they actually have that now. <laughs> what the Wait, fuck, Jenny? you're you're grossed out by that, but that. literally yesterday you were that's bragging weird. about putting Starbu Starburst up in your cooch. No, nah, man. Off to work, they go. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> She's singing along. Like, last time I dropped a jelly egg, it was literally the cap off my freaking cervix. Ew. Right. Stop Before it. I gave birth. It was, it's so gross when that comes out. <laughs> oh, I All just right remembered I something I wanted to. Uh, <laughs> no, drag. that's wild, man. No, there's this film that is grow that is like when you're pregnant that go that is around the cervix. So you're the the mucus plug. That's what I'm talking about. The yeah. mucus plug. Snotty. <laughs> Ew. Why do they have to okay. be so foul? When when you Gross. want your pizza. We could do it now if you, you want, want to. You want a pizza now? Yeah. Oh, Later this time shit. Time to get sickening. pizza. All right, fine. You don't want to hear about women's mucus, mucus plugs, but you caused your mother to release her mucus plug, you little bastard. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> um. So one thing that I uh, heard yesterday that I want to address, I should have done it earlier in the stream, but yes, I am subscribed to Shani on Twitch. Um, if you, I don't know if any of you are on there. If you have Amazon Prime, you can actually um, subscribe to one channel um, each month for free. Like you don't have to pay for it. So that's what I did so that I didn't have to deal with ads for the show. So I just, you know, I brought up before that I paid $2 to be a member when she was on YouTube. Well, I also, through with it, with my prime i haven't paid money but with my prime i'm subscribed to channy to shanny's twitch that way when we do these streams there are no commercials that's why i just wanted to address that because i had heard some people bringing that up that is uh the extent of things personal garbage it's like literally what every woman has to go through through childbirth is mucus plugs did you know that I was a combat medical in the army. They have to decide as a part of training or desensitize us as a part of training. Right, Queen of Spades? <laughs> you would think that no one would care, but apparently there are some people that uh, Donkey Show Ted holy have an issue. shit, dude. Oh my god. I'm an ex nurse, seen it all. <laughs> no, 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 no. You don't want to see a woman go through that. Are you kidding me? No, just watch Clerks 2. It's good enough for their donkey show. Yeah, it's fake. It's yeah. just a movie. They're right. You don't yeah. want to see that. Yeah. Women, I think, yeah, women have been killed. No, fuck that hands. shit. They haven't. 
Um, Shaw, I actually asking if, don't use Chrome. If, what is that? I use, like, um, Shani's gruel? What is the Microsoft, gruel? The food? Uh, it's like oatmeal. Micro, Microsoft like Edge food. is what I use. Yeah, I know. Um, the reason that I didn't try with the ad blocker is because I was told that it doesn't always work that it blocks some stuff, but I guess apparently some of it, it doesn't block or whatever. And there was an issue with that. So that's why I just said, since I could do it with the Amazon prime for free for me, I just figured it was worth it since I cover her stuff so much that way. Don't have to worry about it. Not going there. Y'all want to Google it? Go ahead. Krista, you've had a bunch of babies. You know all about mucus plugs. Discharge. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I, look, if it's weird, it's weird. But if, if like, you're, if you're asking me that when I get her off and it's and the stuff, oh, that, I like that. Here we go. Here we go. I do like that. We don't need to know that, Rev. It's your own. It's just you. It's you. Oh, I God. Like <laughs> I'm pretty much bomb proof at this point. Jenya, you don't want to know what a donkey show is. I do. We were talking about donkey shows, though. Krista would rather talk about donkey shows than mucus plugs. All right. <laughs> I think I'm hilarious, guys. You're not. Bro, you think you're some kind of sex guy? No, I never said that in my life. Oh, Why he the fuck is. Would I say that? I would. It's the best I ever had. Well, thank you. Anyway, talk to her. I, I didn't say shit. They're just being an asshole. And assets abroad and troops abroad, abroad and imperil our nation. No and spam also in my the chat. FBI and the Department of Justice are prosecuting insurrectionists and domestic terrorists. So because they're doing that, now the FBI and the Department of Justice are detested by Republicans. They hate law enforcement Why if law enforcement is going to focus on domestic terrorism yes. and investigating their sports. cult leader for trying to destroy our Constitution, destroy our country, and imperil our troops. Here, play this clip of Tucker Carlson. How badly does Kevin McCarthy want this job? 20 of his colleagues have just publicly disavowed him loudly and again oh, and again. God. Oh my God, even Tucker's saying it. Yeah. Well, who's going to be Speaker of the House? Okay, can we fucking do it? You guys all freaked out over Nancy and now, now you can't even make a decision who's the fucking Speaker of the House? Like, Jesus. I know who should be Speaker of the House, and I think it would be hilarious. Give it a Bernie. Now listen, listen, listen. All of you. Listen, this is just outrageous how you guys are acting. Outrageous! I, I'd love to see that shit. Oh my God. Bernie as Speaker? Shani, what would you do if you were Speaker? Oh, I'd be, I'd be horrible. Oh my They'd hate God. Me. Are you kidding me? I'd call them out over all their bullshit. Can these people ever live in reality? Is that that hard? But James? Americans will say I'm the best damn speaker of the house ever calling them out over their bullshit. No, they actually do need somebody like Lindsey Graham to come in there and go, Hey guys, we really have to get along here. Okay, we're looking pretty bad. Listen. <laughs> Aaron, people are saying you're destructive come and you're not. On. Don't insult him. Leave, with leave the Bernie of alone. He is old, I mean. But still. He's old as dirt. I don't care. He's beautiful. I I want I want in my background that that Bernie meme where he's Ew. sitting at the inaugural with his little cute mitt at the mittens inaugural? and the and the face mask on. Did she I, really say that? I I want that in my background so much. I love Bernie. I, I adore that man. Anyway. What? Okay. I've never, literally never heard He's her talk about Bernie Sanders. He's just cute for me. Like, I just, I would, I would love to have Bernie, like, Bernie on my shelf. Right. One of those people, Football like, I alert. put, like, Bernie Football on my alert. shelf. So, like, whenever I need, like, Bernie, I'll just pull him off the shelf and he'd be like, this is outrageous. And, and it'd be amazing, you know, and his hip. You know, oh, hands will fail and everything because he can't talk without his hands. 
I'm already there. In fact, be on the lookout, guys, because I'm going to put a poll on my community tab. And I'm going to uh, put some options of some other cows to cover and other fins to cover. And I'm going to let you guys vote on it and decide what we cover next. I figure that would be fun. Hey, Fancy Jane. We would never do otherwise. Like what? We can think of at least two things. First, release the January 6th files. Not some of the January 6th files and video, all of it. And not to some phony committee that will hide them, that in fact is designed to hide them from the public, but put them online. Release them to the public directly so that the rest of us can finally know what actually happened What's on up, January perpetual 6th, 2021. Entropy? It's been two years. It's long overdue. It's our right as Americans to know. And McCarthy could tell us. Second, Kevin McCarthy could put Thomas Massey of Kentucky in charge of a new Frank Church committee designed to discover what the FBI and the intel agencies have been doing to control domestic politics in this country. Oh. They've been doing a lot. But no one in Washington wants to talk about it. This topic is effectively off limits. It has been. In fact, no one's talked about it for almost 50 years. Now let's go back to the clip that opened this up, play the full clip of Hannity with the Fox alert saying that House Republicans are now on the verge of becoming a total clown show. Play the clip. Oh. Here with the Fox News alert. It is day one of the 188th Congress and House Republicans now are on the verge of becoming a total clown show if they're not careful. But despite the cheering and the elation from Democrats and the mob and the media, it's not a dire situation yet you know as they the great reporter scott mcfarland uh, said, all right goes, if this taking is back my spirit republicans uh, are acting oh now, wait did i say that right hold voting. on i think i'm dyslexic and said it the wrong way um taking my spirit back thank you for hanging out with us today awesome. I, I love you and actually get something Hi, Melissa. done um, and speaking of clown show here Oh, I'd love to be a fly on the wall in those meetings. Did I see the video? Oh, that you know they're uncle saying some nasty shit to each on. other. Did I see the video where the uncle confronts Shani on Drader's channel? No. Is that one of Drader's newer videos? Maybe we'll pull that up and I'll watch Politics it. Politics to tell you the thing. If y'all would like to watch tell it. Tell you the truth. I think I've been trained enough through all the harassment and bullshit mm. to be able to be very good. Oh, yeah, actually, that is something we're going to be doing. Um, I am going to start having more people on my panel. Um, I've got a couple of people lined up, like Payne Lash is going to be one of them. Um, he's going to help me cover some uh, King Cobra stuff. So there's definitely a lot of stuff like that in the works and on the way. So be on the lookout for that. Or maybe I just join the Republican Party just to fucking troll out the Republicans. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you in the Republican Party? To troll the Republicans. <laughs> and just so you guys know, if any of you guys ever want to come on with me, um, you know, I am totally fine for that too. Um, as well as any like recommendations that you guys have on what to cover, what you would like to see. Um, just contact me if and and um, whether that be through Discord or Twitter or Instagram. Um, just let me know if you're interested in that, and let me know if you whatever recommendations you have, and I will do my best to make that happen. Jeff Goldblum. Yes, that one. They're gonna redo another fly. How much do you bet? Probably. They're probably gonna reboot the fly. Probably. Could you broker a piece with your trolls? I would like to. Hey, Drag, you remember Joseph Pierce? Me and him are friends on Facebook, Joseph Pierce and me. And, like, he's raging right now because they're redoing The Exorcist. They're going to release it during Halloween of 2023. And he's just raging right now. You do not have to freaking ruin this movie, too. But Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Michael. <laughs> Uh, you're friends with on Facebook with him too? Yeah, Joseph is a sweetie pie. I love him so much. I always like talking to him. Yeah, he is a sweetie pie. A cool dancer dude. He's such a cool dude, He's man. Like, we want Michael. We want yeah. Michael. I love me some Goldblum. Oh, oh, I do too. I do too. 
He's awesome. Yep. Bright bug love. Whatever I got my calendar marked. Yeah. He's one of them. I mean, you know how I feel about Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Mm, of course. I mean, I love it. Leonard Nimoy, Jeff Goldblum. I mean, come on. That's like a freaking just. Oh, Melissa, actually, master- she never came on with me. We were going to, but it didn't end up being something that it's just she wouldn't have known what to say about a lot of it. Jeff Goldblum, she was still like, just like very like barely knows anything about Shani or whatever. So we didn't end up doing it. She can, uh, you know, it can always be something that we can do though from where she's at now. Um, she can always join me another time. You know what I mean? Ending. I mean, that's probably the greatest ending of all movies. Is the oh no, Marco, and then she's screaming. <laughs> I'm so sorry to hear that, that your sister was in a car accident, but at least she's okay. Sending lots of love and prayers and well wishes to her. Great ending. I recommend watching the 70 version of Evasion of the Body Snatchers. It's a great movie. I don't care. I don't care what anyone says. I love that movie. Have you thought about running for a city council seat? You could work out some local reforms. Average Americans need to exercise their rights more. I could start that way and work myself up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Shani, getting into politics. She's the badass politician that doesn't give a fuck. Mm-hmm. Shaddy, could you play one of the victims in a horror fl- flick? I would love to. I do, Wama of Two. I do have an email. Yeah, uh, I would love that. Dro- I'll drop that it in the chat great. for everybody. I wish I could do what you do. I really, I type really good, but I talk like a mush mouth stumbling over my words. Oh, God bless you, Ted. Shit happens, bro. Dude, be like, be like a Twitter dude. Like, you can make money on Twitter memes and stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of running involved um, with that. He's yeah, right. dude. He's right. I just dropped the link in the chat. I dropped my email address for anybody that wants to use it. But I will say, give me a heads up if I don't get back to you quickly on my email. I don't check it quite as much as I check Discord and Twitter and all that stuff. So just keep that in mind. But One of those movies. I could be the they disabled be girl that survives the killer. Like they've never done that in a movie is have a freaking like no, disabled person say, survive. You'd be the first chick to be putting your arms up and fucking right, you just cut, you wanna fuck, come on. That'd oh, your brakes over running from you. Uh, trying on. to get home at a decent Stop. time for your treat. Bitch. What do you Shut mean your treat? You don't want me, me, right? You aren't attracted to me. Remember? The villain. Did you forget? Well, he keeps coming back, of course. <laughs> But you just beat the just shit out of them the whole movie. Just That'd kidding. Be amazing. That would be a great movie. <sighs> Disabled woman slash superhero. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, baby girl, you haven't missed a whole no. lot. You want to play Chet at the end of Weird Science? <laughs> I don't remember that movie. I don't remember it either. We need to see Weird Science then, because that's like right up our alley. I remember it being good, but we yeah. tried to watch Biodome, and that's horrible. Like, it's not even watchable. Yeah, it didn't age well. No. It's not a good movie. Yeah, it didn't age well at all. Oh, Some thank of those you, baby older girl. movies, I think, are like that. Like, of yeah. a certain era. Yeah. They, they, they're just outdated. Which is funny. It's got very Beavis and Butthead, like, humor in it. Kind but of. Beavis and Butthead is timeless. Yeah. It's just always good. Yeah. For whatever reason. Oh, thank reason. you, Amanda. Yeah. I appreciate that. We should that. all the Beavis and Buttheads again. Yeah, I'm we definitely going to look into that. That should be a mission. That was really good shit. I just wish black characters didn't die within the first 30 minutes of all those films. No, 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 drag. If you remember... I don't know what I did last summer, too. Brandy survived. Yeah, she did, didn't she? Brandy survived, dude. Yeah, she was that's the first like one movie. But she was like the first black person to ever survive. Well, that's what he's saying. Yeah, dude. They killed them all the time, man. Pretty yeah. fast. 
He's right. Have you watched Beast Drag? That was great. You would really like Beast yeah. because they did survive. Watch, well, check that movie out. There. Yeah, you'd really like Beast. It's good acting. Yeah, that's a great movie. If I was in a horror movie, I'd just be in a rascal. Okay, Radiant Shadow, I will look that up too. Oh wait, were you saying that? You were saying that to somebody else. My bad. Make that a date night with Miss Drag. Yeah, you really will like that movie. It's intense. Yeah, it's really good. We should watch that again. Actually, that's a good movie. That was good enough to watch again. I want to see Maverick again. Oh yeah, Katie. Drag has seen Maverick. That was so good. Yeah, he loved it. Yeah, it's just so good. It's a master movie. I love Paramount. <laughs> yeah, Paramount kicks ass, and then you get Star Trek too. You get everything Star Trek. That's the reason why I got Paramount, because I'm like, Star Trek, I miss it. I need Star Trek, my baby. And I'm like, three ninety nine, really? Yeah, there you go. Yay! I can see it now. Nice, Jeez. Radiant Shadow, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Made Mrs. Drag watch the first one before we watched the new one. Yeah, oh, the original. You did? Oh, yeah. What did she think of Top Gun? That movie aged pretty well. Yeah, they are paying for Paramount. Three ninety nine Netflix step step up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yep, they're Netflix paying. They're $20. paying for Paramount Plus because you know priorities. Has yeah. Beavis and Butthead. I'm just saying. She got bored. She got bored, went to sleep. I'm, oh, man. All right, Firefly. Man, see you later. Fly. Thanks for hanging out. Women. Women, man. We don't need to know that, Pip. It's weird. Ted? Ted? Mentholated ball. Ted. Ted said, I put gold bond menthol powder on my genitals instead of baby powder. It's so icy. I'm not okay. Oh, Jesus. Ah, you're burning your balls off. <laughs> the fuck, dude? But I just want to say, God bless Val Kilmer, you know. <laughs> How immature can you be that that's cracking oh, you up man. that much? You got to get some Val Kilmer love. You my know? baby. Like, come on. Oh, my God. That just tears me up seeing Val Kilmer like that. Because he's Sick. just, he's so beautiful. I know. It made me sad, too. Cookie. I want to do cooking streams, man. Pray for your yam bag. Yeah, dear Jesus, please heal Ted's yam bag from his terrible mistake. Amen. Yeah, he won't put mentholated uh, powder on it again, Lord. <laughs> Just heal him. That, that's an icy hot mistake. I cook everything. Yeah. I would smack I her for that challenges. fat laughing alone. <laughs> oh, God. I could do a lot of shit. You could, but you won't. Aww. That's Thank the problem. Thank you. You're welcome, babe. <laughs> Clacker bag. Clacker bag. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I I I love all the different names for men's testes. Sick, teach my boyfriend something. He burns rice like. Did you guys get my cream soda with this pizza? They didn't have. I don't oh know. my god, man! Most places don't have cream soda. If drag ever freaking visits, I have to get cream yeah. soda for the dude. Yeah, definitely. That like, would have to be a thing. Like we need to tell like. Mrs. Drag, get drag cream soda. You might have some. Maybe. Might. My, my taffy sack. <laughs> okay. 
That was a post by Tom Bonier who says, oh, the, the Republicans are doing the classic, if you want pizza, you're going to have to come to my office move. Advantage, Kevin McCarthy. And what he's referring to Aww. is that there was supposed to be a pizza party, a pizza party that the Republicans were going to hold after the speaker vote. But Kevin McCarthy... They were going to have a pizza party after the vote? A Yay! A pizza party. A pizza party. Yay, we have pizza. Oh my god, Republicans are so fucking dumb and cringe. Aw. It's like they got I'm out of I'm so Emma. glad, Emma. And that they canceled the pizza party. Aw. <laughs> okay, Mama. You didn't vote, Mama so we're you. canceling pizza. You guys don't get the pizza. Mm, you didn't yeah. vote. <laughs> you didn't do your homework, Jimmy. Jimmy, you don't get any pizza time because you didn't do your homework. Mmm. Wow. Uh -huh. Oh my god, they're so fucking They're sitting in their desks. Ha ha. Uh -huh. You didn't get your pizza. Ha ha. You didn't get your pizza. You didn't get your pizza. That's the Democrats. They're children. Yeah, school pizza parties were the best. <laughs> no food for you. <laughs> Fix your hijab. <laughs> Wow. He canceled wow. the pizza party and he moved it into the office that he had moved into here. Do we have the clip as well of Kevin McCarthy earlier in the day before the vote, uh, the three roll call votes where he did not secure the speakership? Just play a little bit of this clip of the uh, moving crew moving Kevin McCarthy into the speaker's this office. This is sad. They can't get a leader. Vote. How humiliating. Here, play this clip. What? Recycle bin bins. So yeah, so Kevin McCarthy canceled the pizza party and then moved all of the pizza boxes oh. into his uh, fake speaker's office. So he actually said, no pizzas for you, and he took the pizzas actually out. There was already pizza. Where'd they put... Where uh, did they give it to homeless people? They better have. Please, what did they do? That's our tax money. <laughs> did they just waste a bunch of fucking pizza? They better have given it to uh, homeless, a homeless shelter. They better have. Well, I can assure you they probably did Massages not. Massages and milkshakes is what make real men. That's hilarious, Drag. I like it. God, these people are fucking children. So that they could have discussions there. Um, but it is a total and utter clown show. It's not a on the verge of being a clown show, what we observe today. It is a total and utter clown show with... Marjorie Taylor Greene is calling Matt Gates a traitor, and Matt Gates is calling Marjorie Taylor Greene a coward, and Marjorie Taylor Greene saying, you don't know the art of the... No, he took the pizzas out. He canceled the pizza, period. What did he do with all that pizza? Where'd it go? Yeah, where did the pizza go? Wait. What yeah, that? man. Baby, don't hurt me. Yeah, I, don't I can't stand wasting food. No more. Hate that yeah, shit. Yeah. God, I got Worse. stupid shit stuck in my head. <clears throat> it's nuts. Fucking assholes. They're acting like elementary school kids. No. No. <laughs> no. No, you're not being mugged. But like the Republic like they wasted a bunch of fucking pizza. <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck you, Republican Party, for that bullshit. Do you know how many people love fucking pizza that you could be giving that shit to? That's tax dollars, and you're wasting it? Fuck you. No pizza party for you. You go home. Watermelon. Right? Your taxes getting wasted daily? Fuck these assholes, man. And Bobert saying, 
you are bullshit and just cursing and it's just some bizarre bizarre they're stuff fucking cussing each other out today and that's what's going on and fox and then you have donald trump saying that he's not necessarily still supportive of kevin mccarthy where he says we'll see what happens we'll just see how it all works out and then donald trump issues a statement saying oh there's just so much unnecessary turmoil taking place in the Republican i really hate it right when they talk politics all of this is his any account of I don't know about y'all, but do you guys like like it whenever um uh they talk about politics because it drives me nuts. I'm just a little turtle, man. I just go forward and 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 just see where the tide goes. I don't. I'm here to work for the American people. <laughs> and then he sinks his head back in. You know. Mitch McConnell, no, he didn't blow it. Trump blew up the party. Yeah, Pizzagate. Exactly, Rook. He closed that Pizzagate. He was like, fuck that shit. Um, yeah. That's been a theory. That, that Trump was a ringer to destroy the party. It might be. It could be. It looks like it's happening. Yeah, I know. Mitch okay. McConnell Mitch McConnell's he was wife, a time Chow, who, by the way, was... Uh, in Donald Trump's cabinet. He was a Donald Trump cabinet secretary of transportation. <laughs> yeah. and Donald Trump attacks her in racist and xenophobic terms. He says, look, what's really going on Jesus. here is just everything's such a Le Marco, right last time you talked the politics, there was a bar fight. Passed. And that's oh, what's shit. really uh, to, uh, to blame here. Oh, then you had Kevin McCarthy earlier in the day on Tuesday saying Hi, that Matt Gaetz would rather have Akeem Jeffries be speaker than Kevin McCarthy. You had Kevin McCarthy yelling in the basement of the House floor the before uh, he did not secure the Fuck. votes on Tuesday saying, I earned this, damn it. I earned this, damn it. And then Boebert saying to him, bullshit, you didn't earn it. Oh, my God. Kevin McCarthy was yelling, I earned this. I mean, whatever, dude. You guys got to come together and agree on a leader. This is nuts. This is embarrassing to me as a Republican. You oh, need to stand. Please. Somebody needs to stand up, and whoever stands up like that should, probably should be the leader. Right. We have to come together and get a fucking leader here. This is a joke. Yeah, they're acting like fucking children. It's more about politics to them than actually doing something for the fucking country. I want the ball to play with the ball. I want the gavel to play with the gavel. Drag, order a fucking pizza, dude. You're getting pizza after work? Yes, Liz. Clinton's are besties with the worst people. Epstein, Weinstein, the Democratic Party protected Harvey, but no one knows why. Yeah, I don't know why. Because they're all fucking perverts. Yeah. That's why. Yeah. They're wow. all into... Let's say pederasty. I think they're all into it. You want some of my pizza? You ain't having my pizza? I'm a fat girl. I need to eat. <laughs> what? Oh, That's God. what's going on, folks, in MAGA Republican land. And as we've always said, these people cannot govern. They, yeah, sure, they go on their Fox and they talk about the green M&Ms and they talk about testicle tanning and they really <laughs> mad about pronoun. Testicle tanning? Are they, are they, why are they so worked up with people's junk? Why do they want to be in people's pants so bad? I'm not understanding this. And they're always talking about release the laptop of Hunter Biden because they all want to see his penis. So weird. What like, the hell? why do Republicans want Hunter Biden's penis so much? It's just a fucking dick. Tan your balls. Right? What's the purpose? Tanning for what? A nudist beach? Like, yeah, well, like... How does your balls look when they're tanned? Exactly. I don't know. I have no idea. Probably like dark black almost because most guys I think are probably reddish and testicles. I don't know. Fuck. I'm done. Whatever. 
Yeah, stop this testicle tanning conspiracy. That's some ego feed and mind stuff there. Ball tanning. Yeah. I'll let you guys know you don't have to fucking, like, tan your balls because women don't give a shit. So. How do you, you can't yeah. speak for all women, thank you very much. You don't have to tan your balls. And they, the, the rage against pronouns and they attack librarians and they attack school teachers and they, um, they, talk, they attack Dr. Seuss and say, oh, Disney is too woke, woke this, woke that. People want people who can govern. Okay, there are real serious issues taking place here in our country. We got to deal with issues like health care and jobs and education and protecting a woman's right to choose a right over a bodily autonomy, people's right to marry who they love, protecting our veterans, our allies abroad. And the MAGA Republicans are just in complete and utter disarray. I mean, how embarrassing, how humiliating. These people are not leaders. These people are not... <laughs> or an old bowling bag. <laughs> not capable of governing. They what should the be hell? nowhere near, nowhere near our... Uh, Capitol building at all. And could you imagine if they controlled the That's House some of ego if you have to tan your during fucking the 2020 balls. election when they were objecting to the electoral count? Could you imagine what they would have done then? Or insecurity. My balls aren't dark enough, man. They're too pink. I look like a fucking child, man. They need to be more brown, dude. I You're looking... <laughs> if you have to tan your balls, you're looking at your balls way too long in the frickin' mirror. Probably. Shani, are you really gonna talk like, about this, like, yeah, I think in true. depth for fucking hours? Like, move on. Let's just move on. We don't need to talk about anyone's tanned balls anymore. I'm sorry. That's just ridiculous sounded to me. <laughs> My age is showing. Yeah, they would have just thrown... It's like, like, women frickin', like, um, bleach in like, their asshole like, and vagina. I don't oh understand God. that shit. I don't like that at all. You wouldn't, I would you? I see porns with chicks with that done, and it's like, no, you want to see brown. You want to see... What? The colors, natural. Yeah, it just seems like a waste of money with me. You want to see like, brown? I like anything natural, bitches, anymore. Did he just uh, say he wanted to see brown? Constitutional chaos, which they've been trying to do at each and hot. every step. Ew. We'll see what happens, no. but here we have Fox shouting Ew. out and saying clown show. Well, Fox, this is your crew. I like a natural. complete and utter clown show that you've enabled, that you've aided and abetted. And the next thing I look you haven't forward had to else is the Fox defamation red. lawsuits. Um, going to trial, the Dominion versus Fox lawsuit set to go to trial in April. Excited. Yeah, when that's people... true. I don't know about Brown, but I do know there's some shit that's awfully gray down there. Oh, crap. What did I just do? Hold on. I accidentally pressed something. Later, bro. Hit subscribe, will you? Also, check us out at patreon.com. There we go. Oh, We're back. yeah. He's so happy. We need a palate cleanser after that stupid shit. There you go. Look at that. That's that's it. You see? He's like right in between her tits. Yeah, and he gropes her And he's too. looking right at her fucking nips, man. Yeah, and he gropes her tit. Well, play yeah, yeah. You have to play what? it. What? He gropes her tit. Oh, he didn't. He didn't actually. Okay, His I need to flip to this over it. to premium. Sorry. <laughs> hey there, Vern. <laughs> so this is the untrue, the untold truth of Jim Varney, a.k.a. Ernest. I love Ernest. I thought that would be a good palate cleanser is us doing Ernest. Ernest is nostalgically. At my age, I gotta be careful not to sit on my balls. Ah, fuck. No, that ain't fair to say, though. Hi, Desi. Mo, because, look, me and Shani are basically the same height, Um, so. Jez Gypsy Jezebel, I am monetized. Um, You said, if so, I'm going to have to start camming up if you want to keep reviewing other people's content. New rules, I guess. Where are you getting... I've, I haven't heard anything about that. Technology. 
it's the best pretty much if it, if you can keep it yeah if exactly you can keep it working <laughs> sad face shanny you're just uh, a stinky Autumn, bum. Thank you for the hundred bits. Thank I you. love the rainbow unicorn. It's perfect. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here to join us today. Do you remember Ernest P. Worrell, the first viral superstar? Know what I mean? Yeah. He was huge before smartphones you're blocked, and Ashley. that strange new app called Tickety Talk that all the kids are on nowadays. Today's the day, Vern, when Ernest will go down in those big, thick history books. So come on, let's look at the colorful life and tragic ending of Jim Barney, the man that stared straight into the hearts of all of us in the 80s and 90s. Amen. But if you think Ernest was all Barney accomplished, or that Jim himself was a bumbling fool you'd be sorely mistaken very Jim mistaken. Ashley are you talking making... about um you can't post comments here or on Shani's twitch those who were thank you thank you Ernest I loved him as a kid man I do too I just loved him as a kid oh Jesus my heart no it's okay how you doing brother <laughs> Man, that's great. Hollow, so you said as long as you're pausing and adding to content with your voice, it's fine. So you don't have to show to cam up. Like I was gonna say, that seems kind of like um bullshit. Like a lot of people don't want to be on camera, but anyway, I'll I'll look into that more. Thank you for the heads up. Well, thank you. Oh, baby, they're ranch. Yeah, we get a ranch with our paisa. Now, of course, I'm not gonna eat this right away because I can't. It's too hot for me. But let's 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 wait. Let me let me get the camera on me for a second. We gotta we gotta have the big reveal of the pizza. Dun 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 dun. dun. Look at that. Oh my god, that thank you so much. Oh. Oh. Are you happy? Baby, look at this. Oh. Oh. That was amazing. Look at that. Yaz. Oh, thank you so much. We're going to enjoy that. Yeah. A couple plates. Okay, baby. Yeah. I got to cool this off. It's very hot. Let me put it down here. He'll lift it. Wait. Uh, I need to find a place to let it. Oh, I'll hold it for the minute. Of course you will, Shani. That doesn't surprise me. Aw, thank you, Fancy Jane. You want to hear the food moans? Oh, you smell. You want to smell it? What you think? Okay, you're gone already. She's like, okay. <laughs> Have I ever had a garbage plate? No. We just had a McDonald's and pizza yesterday. I know. Oh, okay. Lucky you. Yeah, thank you, Gypsy Jezebel. It Jezebel's. says, recycle this pizza box. Mm-mm-mm. Domino's carryout. It's like a pizza-scented air freshener for your car. Except you don't hang it from the mirror. You don't hang it? <laughs> you don't hang it, guys. No, I've never heard of a garbage plate before. I have. That's like every breakfast shit. Oh, really? Yeah, I think so. Like half okay. and eggs and shit. Ooh, this is hot. Is it? Yeah. Is that fresh? Ooh. It is. Nice, hot, and fresh. Yeah, can you get, put a slice on the plate for Yeah, me? yeah. That'll help me. Here. 
you might want the plate real quick. There we go. That's you, right? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, look at that. It's got peppers and ham. Right, girl next door? Oh, that's so yummy. Oh, my. Oh. Oh. Yay. 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 Ooh. Wait, you got your ranch? Oh, I got ranch? Yep. You got to dip it in. I never had an extravaganza. Before. I hate hearing really? them eat, you guys. No. Like, oh, the They're smacking good. and stuff. It's just really good. Ugh. Cannot fucking handle Thank it. Thank you so much. Thank you. They make the most, like, disgusting sounds. It's almost sounds. cooled down that I can handle it. Sorry, I have temperature problems. Yeah, you got more than temperature problems. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's so good. Isn't it? Now, Domino's Pizza has gotten a lot better. Mm-hmm. A lot better. Like a pig at a trough. Exactly, mm -hmm. okay, BTB. BTP. I agree with that. I'm definitely trying it with the ranch. I'm going to dip the crust in ranch. Dip it in the ranch. Yeah. Mm. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll be right back, guys. <clears throat> I need to go grab something real quick. Oh my God. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. mm. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Mm. Oh my God. So good. Oh. Uh, we can have pizza all day long. A slice a little here, a little there. Oh, I love that. Yeah, that's the way to be. Yep. Mmm. Mm -hmm. We're making the cats salivate. They can sense more we're liking food. Mm-hmm. They're like, oh man, that smells good. Oh. Nice cold Dr. Pepper. Mm -hmm. I absolutely love how they've made now their crust by default is like a breadstick. Yeah. Oh my God, that's brilliant. And they should never stop that. Mm hmm. Oh God, that's good. Dr. Pepper. They're actually really good on sales, actually, more than any other soda right now is Dr. Pepper. Ain't that cool? Sales off the chart. Yeah, Dr. Pepper's winning the soda freaking uh, wars, and I'm for it. Yeah, I agree. I just personally believe it's the best soda. Feel good in your stomach most it of the time. It does. It's very medicinal. It doesn't make you sick. No. It's the opposite. It's very much like a de digestive. Okay, like if I'm I back. could have like I should I should drink more water. I know I should. But if I could have like a Dr. Pepper and then water all the time, I could like Yeah. Uh-huh. Bullshit. You wouldn't drink water at all. Come on, Shani. Gotta try to do something with the water intake. Mm. Sure. Oh my god. Mm. Their ranch got better. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, Domino's got a lot better. Their meat tastes a lot better. Mm hmm. It's like COVID forced people to buy better ingredients. Oh my god, that's good. And I dig it. Solid pizza. This is more like a pizza. Mm. From a shop. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
she they said Dr. To Pepper is medicinal. Up. So thank you, COVID, for that. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Mm. You want to get into some Jim Barney? Yeah. All right, let's do that. I'm done with it. Mm. Oh, here we go. Mm. Stop with the moaning for fuck's sake. Mm. Close with him said that he was funnier off camera than he was on. Ernest was lovable, goofy beyond belief, and very relatable. We all know someone like Ernest. That's why the character was so <coughs> successful. I'm looking straight at you, Uncle Glenn, and I'm your host, Nostalgic Nick. And let's jump on in and see if I can channel as much contagious energy as Ernest. <laughs> I'm thinking of a color. A yeah, color Auntie one. Jesse, like if you enjoyed the shit this that video, these two say, please give it a thumbs up. Don't like they, they, oh my God, they, they really couldn't be more insensitive and shit if they tried. Episode. So a young ignorant. Talent. James Albert Barney Jr. Oh was my born on goodness! June. Look at that face, little baby. I had to pause on the baby face. Adorable baby. Little baby Jim Varney. Oh my god! And his little hair is sticking up. And look, the little baby has more teeth than you, Shanny. Oh. Isn't that crazy? Very cute. Well, William and Zach were such cute little babies. I miss having babies. You like having babies. But you don't miss having teenagers? Mm. Like, I, does she not get how she sounds when she says some of this shit? Or she just doesn't care? Oh my god, Mountain Mama, little piggies. So cute. Little baby piggies. June 15, 1949, in Lexington, Kentucky. As a child, he had a knack for learning poems and stories to entertain friends and family. His mother soon realized that he was imitating the cartoons he was watching and immediately enrolled him in theater classes. He was only eight years old. Varney recalled this time, saying that he had a loud and clear speaking voice, which made the classes fun. He continued his theater career into his teenage years, even winning state titles for drama in high school. Wow. And Varney was performing professionally in nightclubs and coffee houses. That's awesome. Houses by the time he was 17, but he had a little to learn before becoming earnest. He's just an the apex uh -huh. of clean comedy. Jim Barney got into television in 1974, appearing as various characters on Ralph Emery's country program, Pop Goes the Country, which was a spinoff of the Porter Wagner show. Hmm. Tell them they can have the free tickets, okay, please. Tom, I'll pay for then in 1976, he joined another crew. Hi, you Dave. How are you doing, Dave? As he became a regular cast member on the show, Johnny Cash and Friends. And in 77, he began That's scratching awesome. that wacky improv itch, becoming a recurring guest on the Norman Lear-created parody late-night talk show, Fernwood Tonight. Barney created Virgil Sims, the local mechanic who offered automotive advice. I don't know, no, he just could do that southern accent so well. Yeah, he made it his thing. Mm -hmm. I heard that's what Larry the Cable Guy did. Really? Yeah, his 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 voice is fake. I didn't know that. Yep. You could probably tell that by voice analysis. So is Gilbert Godfrey's voice. Oh, thank yeah, you, Dave. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad you like it. I, yeah, I thought that one. Is there a video of Gilbert just talking? Mm-hmm. Normally, like a normal person? Yep. Okay. I want to see that. All right. Okay. Not now. No. <laughs> Also in 77, he got a huge breakout role, cast as Doom and Gloom Broom in the television version of Operation Petticoat. So enjoyable to watch, you 
who was one of only three actors rehired for season two of the show. They even passed on the legendary Gomez Adams, a.k.a. John Astin's renewal. Then he was part of the notorious flop, Pink Lady and Pink Jack. Lady? Again, using his versatility and improv skills to morph into different characters. Barney also toured as a stand-up. I don't know what happened to Larry the Cable Guy. We should look that up. What happened to Larry the Cable Guy? I think he's around still, but he does just small shit. Huh. He's not involved in huge shit. Oh anyways. my god, that's such a beautiful hairstyle. <laughs> I love it. It's hey. so retro. I just got your um email, Mama of Two. 70s. Thank you for your that, you for your like email. Your I appreciate era. that. Mm -hmm. Or sixties, he's you know. Free-spirited. Fucking 40s. You feel like the 40s? Sort of. A more polite culture. Well, I might be like a... Beast. Um, I agree, Dave. No, I, I'm at her. I agree. Um, you said, I think Baby Rev kicked the child because he was jealous of the attention that Mommy Shani was giving them. Baby Rev is the only baby allowed. Yep. I think you might he and be right. Williams would remain friends until his passing. Oh. Yeah, people, they used to drop them and things. That looks better for the documentary footage. Barney was great at making up characters <laughs> and entire <laughs> backstories that he would then utilize I in love future that projects. They even started advertising him as Jim Ernest Varney for things. Like when he That's true. That's true. You just skip the truthful comments and just go for the trolls. You are trolling yourself. Pain went away awful fast. She's still in pain, ma'am. Oh, shut up, Rev. Jesus, I can't be happy and laugh? That that deserves a bye-bye. Yeah, go fuck off. That if you want to have pizza and if you're envious of the pizza, go get a pizza for yourself. Yeah. Christ. Do what? Like, what the hell? Pain went away real fast? Uh, no, honey. <laughs> no, you're wrong, baby girl. Why? Because I'm watching something? <laughs> like, what the fuck? People in pain can experience joy still. Do people <laughs> get that? Yeah, I did hear that girl I next hope door. I get that. And I believe it. I believe that's possible. <laughs> what the fuck? BTP, you think people that Red are, covered for Shani? A lot of people, I mean, that's possible. I, I would not rule anything out with these two. What I really would. Fuck? Yeah. <laughs> no, Shani, you guys are just prioritizing the most important people in the chat. That's all. I'm, I'm prioritizing the whole chat, though. That's the thing. We prefer people that can chat well. Yeah. And aren't just throwing railing accusations for bullshit's sake. Yeah. And being an asshole. Oh, thank you, Dave. Like, I let appreciate you that. Let have some fucking joy. Like, I know, man. You can't have some joy because you'd enjoyed some pizza? Oh, I, I shared joy. That means pain is gone. No. That's insane. No, motherfucker. It don't work that way. I'm yeah, sorry. It you doesn't can mean the pain has gone. Happy at the same time. I'm sorry you're so ignorant that you... Oh my can't God! Even and 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 you've never experienced pain like I have, so you can't even conceive such things. Shani, if you were in that much pain, you wouldn't be on here streaming in the first place. <laughs> like, with it's clear that you're not in all that much pain. Because you're sitting here shooting the shit. If you were in that much pain, it would show. Like, it's like she's so full of shit. Side Johnny Cash and Chris Christopherson. Ernest oh. came to fruition in the early 80s. Could you imagine being no. doing that with Johnny fucking no. Cash? No. What an honor. I had what no idea. Honor, you Johnny Cash bro. Neither did I. What an honor, dude. Legend. When Varney joined a local advertising agency in Nashville to help pay the bills and made connections that would change his life, he began working with John Cherry of the advertising agency Cardin and Cherry. Their goal was to bring comedy back into commercials. You are important, Ted. 
You are important. I get better every single day. What is fibromyalgia like? Oh, here we go. Pretty much like you've been beat up every day. While being Emperor Palpatine with electricity going through your body. Let me, let me just... Uh, there's a visual so you can... Oh no, here we go. Aw, oh, awesome, BTP. Thanks for being here. I'm so glad you came and hang hung out with us. Wait, let me, let me, I gotta do something so they can see this. Man, it looks painful. Yeah. One minute. One minute, guys. Yeah, I gotta move. I gotta move my window real quick. But it looks like this. No, the fuck, she doesn't have that's no marks the like visual that. representation of how fibro feels. What? So. So. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Yeah, but there's no oh, way to yeah. to know or to prove. That she's ever even been <coughs> diagnosed with fibromyalgia. Like I said, it feels like you get beat up every day. There's no I'm test hoping. for it. There's no really pr proving it. My girl. It's what they they uh, diagnose if everything There's else is pretty this much one. been ruled out. This is out. a good visualization of it. Today's illness, Eddie, well, it is probably would be better uh, if you actually look like fibromyalgia that, you know and cancer, pain. of course. Yeah. And not call you a liar. Like, this, you know? is, this is how it feels with people. If people want to know. And that's every day of my life. No breaks. When you go to sleep. Just horrible. So when people make fun of fibromyalgia, Aww, I thank question you, Dave. You're being so sweet. how they really researched it. Yeah, I like drive right. My Notice arms the on voice change. Mm -hmm. A lot of the times, I am rubbing her. Yeah, he is. I rub my baby girl. Ew, we don't need to know that. I love her, but. <clears throat> <clears throat> That's why when someone says I have fry, bro, you should really feel bad because yeah. they're under a lot of pain, which means a lot of stretch, which means, you know, sometimes they can get a little cranky here and there in life. You would, too, if you felt like that. Yeah, I used to make the mistake of, like, looking up shit online, Googling, um, looking at WebMD. Bad, bad, bad choice. Now I never Some do days that. are better, though. It's not as bad. Because it literally will just... Other days it's worse. It's spiral. usually when it's overcast or cloudy or cold out. Because shit can like really cancer does pop rainy. up. When, you know, the chance that you are actually having a sign of cancer is bad. very rare. It's better just to not but look the at the show must go on. And if you're having issues, you just go to the, the doctor. Don't Google you're it. You're welcome for me educating you on the visual display of fibro. Horrible. Don't make fun of people with fibro. It's not cool. No. You don't understand. Specifically at the local level. The first ad they produced was for the Nashville Purity Dairies. And their first character was Sergeant Glory, the drill sergeant that everybody wanted to please. But that was just the beginning. Let's stare straight into the gold mine of a simple buffoonish Ooh. redneck who always Ooh. seemed to be himself in the Like I used to do that when I was a kid all the time when he'd do that. The Ooh. I did it too. You did it too? You didn't. When Ernest was in the lexicon, he was everything, man. I know, man. The best shit ever. I love when he dressed up as that old woman with the, with the gray oh, hair look, and the glasses. God bless your Aunt Autumn. I'm sorry about that. 
Yeah, every people think she's whining. It's not right, I, Debbie. I'm telling you, it's not. It's torture. Yeah. She, it's feel sorry it's for like Shani Day. It's like imprisoned in your body with pain. And I feel it coming off you. Like, I feel it. Yeah. Hey, Vern, it's Ernest. Right, Ernest Kevin? P. Google World. is Shani's Jim doctor. Arnest, yeah, truly. exactly. I, notice I'm not having much freaking diet stuff as much anymore. Because I know it affects me really bad. Something Radiant needed. Shadow, you said fatigue, nausea, vomiting, yep. sudden drowsiness. Chronic character um, wasn't the sharpest. I thought it was the flu. I was wrong. The one time WebMD saved me and I was a paranoid hypochondriac, hypochondriac ever since. Radiant Shadow, I totally feel you there. Like I definitely had a, a period where I was just like very very um a hypochondriac worried that something was wrong with me constantly and yeah it's hell I'm offended by that it tasted okay though. thankfully I learned to stop doing that offended. and got a, do a doctor and now I've been doing a lot you better for be the last over a year and a half but we oh wow, Radiant Shadow. Because his heart was always in That's the right place. Crazy. Ernest's first appearance was in 1980 for a commercial for Beach Bend Raceway Park wow. in Bowling Green, Kentucky. Thank God that your mom did that, Radiant Shadow. At first. That could have been a lot worse. Came a call wow. The Ernest character was unique for many reasons, mainly for his addresses directly to the um, camera, yeah. as if he was speaking to I a friend. Think often you said, uh, what do you think her excuse will be? Uh, on come the tenth, I think she'll say they got it rescheduled, or she can't get a mammogram for six months. Anything to buy time. You're probably right. The other thing I think that she'll probably do is act like she got tests done. Like, oh, I'm just waiting for the the blood test to come back. I'm waiting for this and this to come back, and it'll she'll just eventually never say anything else about it and move on. That's what she does every time. Like she literally did this same thing in June. Just you know, with six months ago or whatever. Inside. Yeah, exactly. No, drag, that's, huh? and drag. It's crazy. I'm telling you, man. I can put my hand on her and I feel it. It's like it's like pulsating out. That's it, not how energy. fibromyalgia works. It's insane, though. It's like a You're vibration full of shit. and a warmth. It's nuts. And G-Man said he felt it, too, but it's like, whatever. He would deny it now, probably. He, he would, because he's an asswipe. Absolutely. Oh, thank you so much, Toe Tapper. Shani has all the diseases, but she is not monstrously obese. Stop hating, oh Carrie. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, I, I gotta Please. stop. I gotta stop hating. I'm being too Meditate. hard on Shani, am I? <laughs> Thank you so much for the super chat. I really appreciate okay. that. Take a bre deep breath in. Take a good breath out. What is she doing? And keep doing that until you are emotionally leveled and not feeling the need to unleash your wrath on a perfect stranger who did absolutely fucking shit to you. <laughs> My fibromyalgia lump. is wonderful. And it is great. Shitty. And it will put you in oh a state God. where you feel like you don't have to lash out on others. Really? Namaste. Namaste. Oh, Marco, would you believe me if I said that LSD new game, you're excited only three times when it comes out, completely my cured my depression? <gasps> They're coming out with Hold a Pikmin on. 4. Let me turn it down again while I'm talking. Um, th that LSD only after three times completely cured my depression and other things. I was anxious all the time. I don't say people try that, but it helped me. Wow. That's really interesting, Marco. I've heard things like that too, before. Before that, it helps with that. So, and like um, things like micro dosing it. You know what I mean? The troll shouldn't write paragraphs. Takes us too long to write. 
read. Yeah, right. Exactly. It's like, Jesus, you leave me a big giant book. And it's hate. Oh, it's just judgment and hate and shit. Like, fuck that. I don't got time for your shit. Right. When in Florida. No, Shani, you never have time. Florida. You you're just so busy all the time. Uh, thank you, Shaw of Thirst, for the super chat. You said, Dear Shani, from one big chick to another, your tata issues would be solved with soap, water, a power washing, a clean towel, and some gold bond. There you go. There you go, Shaw. People that he known Thank throughout you for his the life. super chat. The character I appreciate became so you. popular that in 1988, it received its own TV series, yeah. Hey Vern, It's Ernest. And hey he Vern. began hey to Vern. rival Pee Wee Herman. Barney was so talented yes, and portrayed multiple characters in a single episode. He rivaled Pee Wee Herman, dude. Of course. Pee Wee was the shit, but... I don't know. Who who do you, who do you See, like more, Ernest or Pee Wee? That's what I'm worried about, Radiant Shadow. You said you tried mushrooms a few times, had a great experience the first time, then a horrible one the next. Felt like I was dying for eight hours. I just wanted to see the sun again. I went through something very similar many years ago. But, yeah, I took, I took mushrooms with some people, and uh, they didn't end up feeling that much. I ended up feeling a lot, and so I ended up up by myself all night, and it was not fun, and I've never done it since then. <laughs> never done it again, because it was just, uh-uh. Nope. Not doing that again. Not going down that road again. That's... And he won a daytime Ooh, Emmy for Outstanding um... Performer in a Children's Series. Wow, so he got an Oscar? Because or, well, Barney was well, 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 well. like his Ernest. In fact, he reportedly had a near genius IQ and was said to be occasionally exasperated with fans who met him and assumed that he was exactly like Ernest. Then it was time for the big screen. In total, ten Ernest movies were made. Five independently oh, and five with Disney. The first few were contracted by Disney after Ernest upstaged other characters at the Indianapolis 500. Disney knew there was money to be made with this oddball. And soon these family-friendly films were constantly being rented from video stores. The films were simple and low budget. Oh, awesome, Marco. You should Ernest make a video about it. That one's so good. They're all good, dude. I know. My son friggin' loved Pee Wee and Mr. Bean. Mr. Oh, Bean, that's me. Me too. I love Mr. Bean. Me too. That's me, pretty much. Oh my God, Rowan Atkinson. Oh. Rowan Atkinson is probably one of like the greatest comedian, silent comedians ever. Without a doubt. Right, Kelly? Dude, like, he rivals man. Charlie Chaplin. Shady I need to Stoner say that. Talk. But he's even, he's even like more. He's pretty like. I don't know. He can do dark comedy too. I've seen. He him can do show. dark. He can go dark, really. He's a great actor. He's smart, too. He is. He's a really smart guy. Ernest was, too. Blockbuster. Ugh. I want it back. Right, the Nina? smell. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Written and directed oh, really, by Missy? John Cherry of the Act. You're starting ketamine? I've heard about um, microdosing ketamine to cure... Or to treat depression. Have you guys heard anything about that? Because I find that really interesting. Like they they give you a very small amount, so you don't like. It's not like you're getting messed up on it or anything. But apparently, it really has like a good effect on people with um, depression. Nice. So I would Ernest love to look into that. I see. think that's my favorite of all the Ernest is the Christmas one. Yeah. <laughs> Ready and Shadow. Was... You got to take the dog out so he can stop farting and gassing up your room. <laughs> the dopey freaking cops. That sounds like yeah. Noah, my Noah. That's a great one. Saving Christmas in probably the most well-known Ernest venture. Another fun part of these films was He Hall's Gaylord Sartain's collaboration. 99% of the time, his character named Chuck. But after the first test screening in Burbank, John Cherry was sat oh, down wow, by Disney execs Michael Eisner and Jeffrey Katzenberg. Yeah. And Cherry feared that they were going to cancel. Not fun, right? Not fun at all. Uh, that if you ever anybody if you ever do take um lsd or mushrooms or whatever stuff like that do not i repeat 
do not, when you go to the bathroom, don't look in the mirror. Just don't do it. Because it's going to fuck with you. Big time. At that time. Like, he knew movies. <coughs> they need to go back to what they focused on in the beginning. Cartoons. Wow, Marco, that's which awesome. Which are geared towards children. Because that's yeah. what they do best. Yeah, I don't agree. Don't be making alien movies. Don't be making Star Wars movies. No. That's yeah. Not, just not your place. No. Go back to Donald and Mickey and Jasmine and, and Aladdin and Goofy. And Pluto. Yeah, and Beauty and the Beast. Oh, that shit. And mm -hmm. Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Yes. And Scrooge. Yeah, right. That's... Bring back DuckTales. Bring back Tailspin. Baloo. Yeah. The bear. Bring back Baloo. I love Baloo. Yeah, Baloo is great. Bear necessities. If you want to repeat shit, repeat shit you know, not things that you want to fuck up. <laughs> and claimed in an interview that he thought it might be the record. Take that, Flo. Paper, rock, scissors. Oh, why use all this mathematical, analytical? I'm starting to say bullshit. Hi, Glass and Kissimmee. Ernest inspired a lot of merchandise yes. and cool Hi, Expert There was sounds. even a talking Ernest doll. Really? I can Jesse? only guess what it had to say. No Ketamine has helped your friend with chronic pain. That's awesome. Yeah, me too. In 1985, Jim Varney co-wrote with John Cherry the film Dr. Otto and the Riddle of the Gloom Bean. The character yeah. Ernest even introduced... Lorton Girl says, ask someone to ask Shani about her aid SS was going to give her six months ago. Laugh out loud. Oh, yeah, I remember that. I remember that. Crazy shit. I want to see some crazy freaking shite, man. Yeah. <laughs> the whole thing was a borderline earnest flick, which helped Jerry and Barney sharpen the idea. One of Jim's other notable roles came in 1993, taking on the challenge the Beverly of Hillbillies. Night in the of the Beverly Hillbillies, a task he took seriously, as the original was his family's favorite program in the 1960s. Oh, he wow. nearly didn't get the role, as the studio feared he was too well known for Ernest. Luckily, his screen test proved that Barney was the one to strike oil again. Oh, the other actor considered for the role? Just the man with the velvet voice Sam? and the stash of the century. Yep, Mr. Sam O'Neill, man. Sam uh, man, or Sam Elliott. Sam Elliott. I knew it, man. Yeah, you could tell me that's just the shape of his face. All right, Corey. Well, Sam Elliott's Enjoy got that walk. nice, smooth voice, and he just Duck makes tails. the women Woo. just be like, He's got Every day mm -mm -mm. Hi, Duck ladies. Tails. I can make your cooter scene if you would like to. Oh my god. All I have to do is just stop. talk to you real slowly and make you feel real good. Hi Mel. Hope you're doing good as well. Yeah. Um, I don't think Shani has many subscribers. Last that I heard or checked, I think she's got like twenty something or thirty something subscribers on her Twitch. And then she's got like 1200 followers or whatever i i already know that he's such a good looking man like, let's see oh, how many people are over there right now watching what? like he truly is a good looking man back in the 70s bro. there it are don't matter yeah, it don't yeah. matter what age people he is. Watching her. no don't Woo! Mm -hmm. he's sexy as shit boy Oh, yeah. Also in 93, Barney played Rex in the Dennis Quaid I know, Mom was too. film Wilder Nate. I read someone Written say something breaking. about it and that and it popped in my head. Now I can't stop saying that. DuckTales, woo! -hoo. First two <laughs> Toy Story films. Yeah. I knew you'd come back, Woody. Hi, poetic Barney justice. would jokingly say that the role was a Hope stretch for him. Good today, he babe. followed that by instructing the interviewer that it was indeed a joke. Wishes come true. Jim Varney was a kind, generous... You can't see our faces? Um, oh, I think... I don't know for sure, um, Tracy, but I think it's like maybe five bucks. Five bucks per um, person per month. And so she's got like, you know, around 30, I think. He would say, on, I'm rich I can and double I'm check on that. Let me see. Let me oh, see. what a funny guy he is. Yeah, he just, and he was an entertainer just from like the start of the Yeah, I, he just wanted to make people happy. That's that I I love people like that. Yeah, I do. 
man who never met a stranger. And when he was offered the opportunity to work with the Make-A-Wish Foundation, he jumped at it. He happily put on his denim vest and khaki hat to fulfill hundreds of brave, terminally ill children's wishes. Varney was a lifetime heavy smoker, and when he was diagnosed with lung cancer in August of 1998, he reportedly threw away his cigarettes and quit smoking cold turkey. But unfortunately, it was too late. He underwent surgery to remove most of his right lung that same year, but the doctors discovered that the cancer had spread to his brain. He underwent radiation, which sent him into remission. Varney didn't let the cancer slow him down and kept working on his project, Daddy and Them. He portrayed the only sober man in a family of Southern alcoholics. This role was the wow. dramatic role that Varney had always dreamed of playing. Varney passed away at the age of 50 on February 10th, 2000. We want to say thank you, Jim for always making us laugh, whether it was on the small screen or the big one. His final earnest endeavor, Ernest the Pirate, had nearly completed shooting at the time of his death, but it was unfortunately never finished. But it sounded like a knee buckler for sure. So let's talk. Do you have a favorite Ernest adventure? I have to go with Saving Christmas. I'm a sucker for a good Save, Christmas. Save, yeah. Book. And what are some memorable commercials? Sucker for Christmas. Like the one where the window slams on his fingers? <laughs> Get in the comments and let's honor an outlandish actor that always brought the funny. Know what I mean? And if you would... Aw, that was endearing at the end. Beautiful. Yeah. I, I'm going to say, though, that this that's weird because I could have sworn that, that, that Ernest died recently. But it was 2000. He died. Yeah. Back. I thought he that died was... a long time ago, babe. I died. I could have sworn that. I 23 heard. years ago. That's insane. Wow. Right? Isn't that 23 years ago we lost Jewel? Or, oh my God. Where am Oh my. We lost Vern. Vern. Watermelon. Jim. Guys. Watermelon is sitting on the pizza box. It's warm. Ew! Watermelon. Is there He's still floofing. pizza in it? You see your floof in it? I, Wait. Watermelon. So you're going to let your cat sit what on the box doing, of girls? pizza that you're still eating? That was a pretty good palate cleanser, yeah. Yeah, floof, see? Yeah. Um... What's your deal, Flo? Do they not get what's on their paws? You're Think about the what that fucking girls. litter box looks like. What are you doing? Are you warming your butt up? Yeah. Are you warming your butt up? Oh. <laughs> She's in I would love it if that ta if it just took a shit right there. Yeah, Tracy. Someone did buy them another the pizza. Farts, probably. What's your deal? She's food? keeping it warm for you. Yeah. Watermelon. Watermelon. <laughs> Don't give me pretty eyes. Watermelon. You're sitting on the pizza box. Hey, Floof, what's your deal? Huh? Why are you Floof in the box, huh? Watermelon, get down. Watermelon. Watermelon, get down. She that cat's she's like, fuck defined. you. Yeah, she's like, this feels good on my butt. Wow. <laughs> she's like, what? Haven't you ever seen a cat on a pizza box before warming their butt up? I have to warm my butt up. My butt must be toasty. Yes. Yes. A toasty asshole. I love my toasty asshole. <laughs> we all know who boss is in the house. Yeah, she's the boss. Watermelon the ninja. Wow, wow, wow. All right. Watermelon. Get off the pizza box. The cat is not going to get off of it, okay, Shani? So. Down. Watermelon. Get down. Uh, I can make her head move. <clears throat> get down. <laughs> Watermelon. Get down off the box. Right, Tracy? I completely agree. Your eyes. 
Man. I really would just Ooh, love oh, it if the cat it. took a shit. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, watermelons. Oh, what's your deal? It's hungry. The cat is hungry, idiot. What? <laughs> Come here, baby. It's okay. Oh, no, Marco. Anytime. You're I found it really in interesting, the stuff that you were it's saying. Fine. You're not in trouble. She's like, I saw these. I just wanted my butt wombs. I don't think so, Linda. I don't think she is. That's it. I've had the same chihuahua for 13 years. Haven't had a cat since I was a kid. Oh my god. We didn't made someone get a cat. Alright. Yeah. Get it, Renee. Yeah, cats are cool. Get a Kit Kats. <laughs> Cats are cool. <laughs> oh man, are oh yeah, we're watching the Ace Family shit, right? Yes. Uh, yeah, I'm interested. I, I want to see what that's. Yes, yeah, so that's that's the next. Oh, look at that. That's the Rev stuff. That is the Rev stuff. <laughs> Ew, yeah, baby. There you go. You're cute. She's fucking disgusting. <laughs> we don't know anything about the Ace family, and we keep hearing all these references yeah, the name. about the Ace family. Okay? I don't know who they are. I don't know if any of this story is true. I don't say attack. Don't attack these people, okay? No. Um, but apparently they're controversial. Yeah. So I want to know what it means when they say the Ace family. I'm sick of it. I want to know. Yeah, I want to know why people are so about them. So all right, well nasty, then go nice ahead and get to it. I figured so I'd see Hasanabi react because I'd like to see his take. He's a truth. He's a truth. Truth. You know, seeker. So I figured he'd be a good representation to play like the devil's advocate if he sees anything that's like <clears throat> so it's not official. accurate. All the and bullshit I know, I know, that she said you know, about he has close cut ties with certain people and he knows certain people, so he would be the most accurate to get this take from. So oh, that's please. why I chose him, dude. So it's official. Shani is a reaction channel. All that shit she talked about how reaction channels are all, they're not creative. They don't come up with their own stuff. Now she's a reaction channel. So looks like you don't really have a problem with it. Like you said, that was just, Hello, you only have a problem with it when they're talking the right about opinion, you. Home of eight, whacked with too much free time and families. My God, do I love families? Whoop. Whoop, whoop. Humor aside, the family is an important staple in the many societies that we do indeed live in. As a concept, it has been around for longer than I can remember. And although many of us do have various goals, there are many people who would just like to settle down with a partner who loves Thank them you and Bernie's a mom kids. Jeans. It's a completely fair perspective and one that I hope people have the opportunity to fulfill. It's definitely something that I would like to do at one point in my life. Though I'm not entirely sure when. However, I. Oh, he wants to have kids. That's so sweet. Oi. Y'all, she watched the most hated family in America. I think many of us have a very idealized version of how these things really? play out. And although it often takes. They're the most hated family in America? Right and, and a few Why? more for some, yeah. and a few more for others, and maybe a few more on top of that. It's still something we like to Damn, hold on to, really, which babe? is where the idea of family the building comes uh, into play. The Twitch site Lots says 350 per 1,000 views. Represent a life that we may so she only makes 350 per 1,000 views. Then she's not making shit. That these people can place themselves in the vlogger's position and that the life they envision can be channeled through a relatable individual. There was a time when a majority of audiences on YouTube liked oh, to envision baby. their lives as you the sweet, baby. wholesome ones. Hi, Yanni Bear. Oh, do cry. So many of those lovely vloggers have earned themselves. However, at some point in the last few years, I've noticed a shift. I noticed it in my Emma Chamberlain video that, hey, I guess people have feeling kind of cynical now. And I mean, who can blame them? The world is a depressing place, and I guess everyone is just kind of in that mood. 
And out of that rose a new lineup of stars who were slightly more controversial than the previous ones. There are positives and negatives. There's a newer video. Do I miss having a little baby? Mm. I like babies. Yeah, you just don't like having to take care I of them. I really do. I love babies. Yeah, you they're just so don't sweet. You just don't so want to have to take care of them. Innocent and and they're just so cuddly and oh. You're you're an awful person, Shani. Like I couldn't imagine like anything more beautiful than just a little tiny baby. And yet you let your kids go. You gave your kids up to be with this fucking loser. You abused your kids. You didn't feed I, them I, properly. I would hope so. But you want to act like you're, oh, I just well, love babies. Huh. Yeah, I think so. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you love we yourself, We got our fur Jenny. babies, though. Yeah. Oh, my God. So. We got our fur babies. We got our fur Are babies, though? No. Oh. No, I'm God. not crying. I literally have sleep in my eyes that's been there since the morning. Oh, my baby. Baby. Oh. Oh. Ugh. Yeah, oh Shani, God, you're not fooling anyone. Wow. You didn't really care enough about your kids to make sure that they were okay. Don't don't start playing these bullshit games on here. Like, oh, baby, and then you just told on yourself. I said, oh well. The content course at least we have our the right, fur babies. Like you lost custody of your kids, and you have the fucking nerve to say, well, at least we have the fur babies. God. Do I have to watch Hila? I know that you're friends, Sasanabi. And I know you want to give them a shout out and your connections to them. I get it. But I have to be tr Team Trisha. Yeah, I agree. It's but, my code. But if he's got the best docu on these people then I guess yeah true that's you know we want to know about them the son is ass man says America deserved 9-11 some people do think that that's an opinion Hi, Danny Quinn. How are you doing? What's up, Jesse? He's Turkish. Right, Jesse? Yeah. You wouldn't well, want to be touched if you had been... fibromyalgia. It would yeah. hurt too bad. So. I mean... Do you guys want, like, some palate I can't cleansers here? someone forever for that, though. Let me pull it up. It's rough to say, but we were putting our nose where it didn't belong. Mm-hmm. We liked putting our nose where it didn't belong. So, whatever. What happened, happened. America bombed their people, just saying. But anyway, let's move on from that. Yeah, I'm not saying they deserve awesome, it. America Caitlin. didn't deserve it. No. So glad that you're no. here. Like I said, war is horrible. But I'm just Thank trying you. to relay different other people's perspectives. So, yeah. you know, don't hate people for different perspectives. I'm sure Hassan's take on it is that freedom of thought. Don't go meddling in other countries' business, man. It's a bad idea. Westboro. Uh, the the link to this family oh the Westboro Baptist Church oh yeah I could do I could spend a whole day on the Westboro Baptist Church mm -hmm. yeah. trust me on that man yeah it is good to play the devil's advocate Shani yeah yeah no because I'm a better person than to say something like that all the time. Oh, yeah. Uh, I 
I'm not doing that. Shani, what a what a moral, uh, amazing. Um, what the fuck, dude? Just... <laughs> I, I forget her. I can't her. even say it. Content core is better. We can do the content core one. Anonymous user with another hundred, dude. Holy shit. Dude, right. that's crazy. I got we got an oil baron in the chat. Asexualizes his kids is so terrible. Wait, really? Oh no. They probably want to hear it for a clip. Probably. Um apparently apparently a lot of stuff happened between this video and now. And then a lot of stuff happened between this <laughs> it is video intrusive, and now, Ted. even so I, maybe What's it's up, better Pop to watch Puss? the fucking yeah. content court is not better. H3 content court is hella poggers. They already got is it a Misty pizza. Pain for content? Maybe. I don't know if you saw earlier in the stream, Coxpus, but they've already gotten a pizza and cigarettes and Delta 8. Like, they're all, they're good to go. In a way, it just meant slightly more loud, obnoxious, and less subtle. Oh, dude, they just... And they have their Amazon wish list now that they put out, and people are buying stuff off of that. So, yeah, they're, they're getting all kinds of shit. The trolling is really working really well. I've been keeping up with him at all. Yeah. This was a case in every genre, and eventually the penny dropped in the family genre too. You know, you don't have to pretend that everything's perfect. How about conflict and storm? People love melodrama. You just need energy, some ideas, a bit of money, and of course a partner and a kid. I mean, hey, they can't be too hard to find. Especially if you're as dashing as the man known as Austin McBroom. Uh, I enjoy catching the ball. I enjoy just having a glass with the teammates on the, on the field and off the field. Yeah, Ooh, Kevin. She's yeah. quite smelly, too, for Austin sure. Austin McBroom is the husband and father of the Ace family. Now, he is an individual who is obviously known primarily on YouTube. However, at one point, it seemed his career was... Nah, I'll say it for $20. Jesus. $20. Twenty dollars. Make it worth it. And just in case anybody's wondering, what she's talking about is there are the people in her chat right now. Keep asking me too. There are people in her chat right now asking her to say "fuck Carrie," and they're saying they said, "Oh, I'll send you a dollar." A dollar, and she said, "No." Make it twenty dollars and she'll do it. Was not destined there. As so, that clip showed, he was a very these people are not going to stop. Individual and was highly rated in the basketball scene. And to be fair, the dude had some moves. He could shoot some hoops. Given his problems, you could say he was kind of low-key media figure. He had a previously they established audience. They just don't want to let it die. And here's an old screenshot of his 2015 All I can Twitter. say is, if they hate me that much that they have to pay money like that to get someone to talk shit about me, like you're willing to pay Shani? Really? Damn, dude. I don't know what I did, but you must really, really hate me a lot. To write inspirational tweets. One of the elements that was very noticeable on his Twitter prior to the creation <laughs> right? of his channel was yeah, love Shani his said, oh, Catherine. make it 20 bucks and she'll do it. The story behind them. They saw each other a couple times and then decided that actually they had feelings which led them to initiating this relationship and the subsequent birthing of their daughter, Elle. The run-up to their child had a fair bit of coverage Bye, on Twitter and a nice bit of hype surrounding it. So I guess at that point they decided that their life was interesting enough to start a YouTube channel. Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. This is our first Q&A. You guys sent us a bunch of questions. Oh, yeah, thank you, now, baby girl. Now, when I looked at their old content, and I saw that their first video was a QA, and a I thought that they were pulling my leg. That's some ballsy confidence in your character to open your channel with a Q&A video. Now, from looking at an old Social Blade screenshot, it's possible that they had some other videos up, but deleted them before launch. So I guess they just used the already existent clout that they had surrounding Austin's basketball career and his relationship to launch the channel. I agree, they Marco. They were called the incredible name of Austin and Catherine Bloch. Mm -hmm. I completely okay, agree. So why are they such bad people exactly I'm, I mean I'm waiting for, yeah yeah I, I mean they're putting all this like I, I I see the manipulation tactic to make it seem like they're bad people well per se we're at but, the very beginning yeah but you can see the manipulation between the music it's very like mysterious and yeah. you know I don't know it's backstory
I grew up on Miracle. Okay, I'm just going to time out everyone who keeps mentioning this stuff because I don't care. Uh-oh, okay. she's getting pissed. She's timing them out for continuing to talk about it. Out. Wow, it's starting to backfire on them, they isn't scam, it? They're ignorant, they exploit their children. How are they not? I don't know anything about these people. I wouldn't know. Yeah, they, we have, they haven't gotten into it yet, honey. Yeah. Not working out for you guys anymore, is it? The initials of each family member's name, Austin, Catherine. Now, now even Shani's done with you guys and annoyed by it. <laughs> Asia family didn't quite like, have the same Good job. Uh, it started off on a fair wave of momentum and have since built on that, accumulating over 17 million subscribers in the space of three and a half years. So what's the big deal? Family blogs are here to stay. Well, although vloggers have always taken on their fair share of drama, there seems to be something more about the Ace family, and even I more agree on Dead Ramen. I think you're right. Austin McBroom, in that he may not be practicing what he preaches oh. and treating those around Brian, him with the respect that you turned me into the FBI. Family oh. is a family what am I going to do? Grateful. We're doing our best as far as using our platform in order to I hope that was supposed to be a joke. Because if not, you're really fucked up and ridiculous. Oh, thank you, Odo. Did it for the two months. Currently on a two-month streak. Awesome. Thank you so much. Awesome. They're so phony. Ah. Why did everyone have to use God like that? I don't know. Don't you know God's going to judge you on that shit? Like if oh, you yeah. Truly 100%, believe in God, Danny. you got to be real on that shit. 100%, Danny. 100% they wanted a reaction. And, yeah, I did end up giving it to him. Um. I just, I've had my fill of it. It's been going on now for months and I've not said anything and I stay quiet about it and I don't react. And then it just gets to a point where they're doing it to a, a place where I have no other option but to address it. There's no ignoring it. So yeah, that's where I'm at with it. Like I know I'm not fucking perfect, but I don't, I don't like be like, No, 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 no. I know if I do something wrong, God's going to slap me down real quick. Oh, thank you, Mama, too. I appreciate that. That's how I feel. Thank you, Poetic Justice. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you, guys. Thank all of you for just for being here and supporting and, and, me. And that's and how a true believer Treating knows. me so kindly. Knows. I really like, do appreciate fear it. Fear of God is the beginning of wisdom, okay? If you do something wrong, you're going to get it back. God's going to spank you. I'm telling you, you're going to be disciplined. And, you know, maybe eventually when you have, like, three or four God spankings, maybe you'll learn not to fucking do that again. Because oh, when yeah. he hits, he hits 100%, hard, so you Sabella. don't do that shit again. A hundred percent, Sabella. Man. True. Don't be using God. Oh, speaking of using God... Donald J. Trump Jr. Oh, thank you. Love you too, yeah. Jesse. Donald Trump Jr. is selling the Bibles. That's weird. Hey, Theo. You're the same Theo that was just in there um, the telling her like, to say shit, right? No. Are That's you going to really go give her 20 bucks no, to say we're supposed fuck Carrie? Uh, government and, and, and religion separate. Stop with that shit. Yeah. Correct. Oh, thank you, Debbie. Oh, no, you don't want to spank it from God. Thank you, Hippie Riri. They, they gotta be doing it for the God cloud. That's so marketable. Like, you guys, are, you really cloud. are awesome, and you make my day, and y'all are the reasons why I'm doing this, because I just enjoy hanging out with you guys. Like, that's the beginning and the end of it, and <clears throat> I just feel really uh, grateful and lucky that you guys want to hang out with me. So, thank you for that. I love you guys. Young. How big are they on YouTube? I have no idea. My brother-in-law was shouted out in one of their videos and got 20k followers on YouTube because of his shut the fuck up. Are you serious? 
Oh, I love you like too, you Miss Micah. The opposite at the base. Thank you, DJ. Yeah. Thank you, Sant Ready. 17 million? 20 million? Things and inspire people. And that's really All right, I got to rebrand, boys. Sorry. Uh oh, Shanny Band, you again, Pirate Hacker. For people. And if you can't already tell, like, that's just in our nature. And that's what we love to do. I found me grateful for many things, but sometimes more than words is necessary. Did they steal that shit from us? Uh huh. Hey, Mandalorian, you're back. Because we were legitly helping people. Yeah. <clears throat> Fuck. <laughs> These people are bullshit all All hugs to you, crimes forgotten by Which time. convince people that Thank you believe you. it. And that is what has been in question over the last <laughs> so, couple years. Ultimate, I'm your favorite cunt. <laughs> well, in, in a situation you. very recently involving much more serious claims, although I have a lot to say about the validity of those. This is not going to be just about Austin. In fact, What's Catherine that, is probably going to be receiving a fair bit of scrutiny as well. So don't worry, everyone's going to receive their fair share of discourse. Let's have a discussion to see if the Ace family are really ace as they proclaim to be, or if behind the candelabra, they're not quite the role models that many see them as. Well, fellas, I'm ready to get up and I'm do with my you, thing. Citrus. I'm with you, Citrus. Don't man, do you know? controls. And yes. That was a James Brown reference because, well, I'm a sex machine. Yeah, we, <clears throat> we're we not going to feed the trolls. We're just going to let the trolls keep feeding Shanny. This part with a quick disclaimer. If there's one red flag that will immediately make me question a creator's design. I'm sorry. Usually if someone says they're a sex machine, they're probably not. They're probably very lame and disappointed. Bro. She's true about that. It's the ones that don't brag. That's the ones you should be looking for. Oh, here we go, Shanny with the sex talk. Oh, thank you, Brian, for the super <laughs> chat. He's not. That's why it's. I'm not. mostly quiet in the background. <clears throat> oh, wait. I'm mostly quiet background watcher for a little over a month. Enjoy your streams a lot. Thank you so much, Brian. I am so glad that you're here and that you're enjoying them. <clears throat> Sorry, you guys. My voice is kind of scratchy. Hold on. <clears throat> there we go. Um, thank you, Brian, so much for the super chat. I really appreciate that. And I'm glad that you're here and that you like it. Hope to see you more. No shot. This can't be the case. So they faked pranks. I don't believe it. These are real. They're real okay. boys because there was never a standard presented by an audience that we'd expect them to make the content genuine. Feel value for oh, stunts. Thank you so over much. Tippy toes, runny nose. Thank you so much for that. You said, I watch you all the time. I'm a silent watcher, always in the back. I find you to be the best YouTuber, always so nice and truthful. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. I wish there was a better video on the Ace family. This is boring as shit. I'm just waiting to see you. Like, what, what controversy? I'm not seeing any controversy here. Yeah. They're just a family. Yeah. That choose to vlog. Yeah. I don't see the controversy. <laughs> yeah. Undead Ramen. Uh, that might be what it is, said. right? My voice is going out from Sloan screaming. Sloan covers them better? Oh, okay. <laughs> I like Sloan. Yeah. You guys really are the best. Oh my god, he's got a bunch of shit. Yeah, it's like separate videos though, right? How, where do we go with this shit? It, there's too much, man. It's out of context. Alright, let's start, I guess. The Ace family must be starving for content because they're creating fake stories at their children's expense. It also looks like they're running from their problems and their failures. So let's get into it. You may be surprised, but I don't hate the Ace family. What I do hate is YouTube 
family channels. These channels exploiting their children for financial gain and putting them in vulnerable and compromising situations. I mean, these kids are going to grow up one day and realize that their entire identity has already been established online from when they were a child. There's a few stories we're going to be talking about in today's video, but I have to give a shout out to this creator named August the Duck. Yeah, it's massive manipulation of your child to like do that. Like, your child coming on a video once in a while is one thing, but, like, giving their whole lives out like that, it's like, what the fuck do you think your child is, a zoo exhibit? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. It's weird. Thank you guys so much. Like, seriously, you guys are making my day, and, like, really, like, it's, like, I'm getting kind of choked up. Like, you guys are so sweet, and I just cannot... Thank you enough. Like, I really can't. You guys are the best. Thank you so much for being here. Like, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. You'll behave. Hi, Cat. Like, it's so far. <laughs> Just sent you Trump's tax release, TikTok. Can we see? If not, I'll be right back. Huh. Okay, let me see. Thank you, Emma. I can't get it from here. Do I have a TikTok on here? I saw your comments. I saw your comment, Michael. Quit. They're not giving me a big head, you jerk. No. <laughs> uh, I don't think I do. I can't get it. I don't think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't even access my TikTok on my computer. I know, dude. The Kiwi Farms thing, it honestly cracks me up because... A, some of the stuff that's on there is they didn't even get it right. B, none of it is anything that's, like, a secret or somehow, like, exposing me. Like, I'm pretty much an open book on here. Um, and I do that, and I am that way. Well, besides, I'm, I don't, I'm not ashamed of any of it. Um, I've made mistakes and things in the past, but you grow and you move on. But... I own all my stuff. Like, I'm not hiding behind anything. So, like, you're, there's really not a whole lot that they can expose except for the same thing they've been saying, which is that I'm a bored housewife. And it's like, okay, you got me. I'm a bored housewife. <clears throat> Oops. Yeah, they just, Dinah, they just paid for YouTube Premium. <laughs> they literally just got it. Because priorities, you know, when you get money and you need things like food and things to survive, it's always a smart idea to spend it on, you know, stuff like YouTube premium. But, hey, whatever. I guess they got the money to do it. <laughs> Danny Quinn, you're not a housewife, but you're bored. Well, then you can still be in the board club. We'll, we'll let you come in the board housewife club, even if you're not a housewife. <laughs> AC, uh -huh. you're working, but you're also spoiled as fuck, right? I don't think that's it. I don't think that's it. What, what I think is funny is they're saying how boring I am, but yet they keep talking about me and and then showing up in my chat and watching my channel. So if I'm that boring, I, I really don't understand why they're here. It's like, it doesn't really make sense. Huh. Because you won't find me on any of their channels doing that shit. Okay. Hey, Theo. My child is 17. What are you talking about? He's a base, He's pretty much an mm. adult. So why don't you uh, worry about your own kids um, and not worry about mine? 
<clears throat> You're a terrible housewife. <laughs> yeah, I'm not I'm not claiming to be the best one myself. <laughs> Let me see. Right? It can be hard work. Keeping your house up and doing all that kind of thing. Like, it is a job, you know? Especially, and I homeschool my son, so. Well, we could easily look up tax, always Trump's been tax release. Something that I've been doing, too. Okay. You know, but like I said, now that he's yeah. the age he is. Um, he's I'm sure there's someone who's already put this, this down on YouTube. Cunt's gonna cunt. <laughs> <laughs> false of defiance <laughs> well that let's just put it simply that's true yeah better to be a bored housewife than a boring 600 pound moocher yeah that's what I always think when when Shani uh, said the stuff doctor. about being me being a boring housewife what she said was by I was a boring housewife wife with a husband that worked all the time and I'm like yeah I would rather be that than have a, a husband or slash boyfriend who isn't willing to do a damn thing to help support the family like why would I want that like sure if if I had my way would I spend every waking moment of my day with my husband yeah but that's not realistic like you got to pay bills you know what I'm saying and so you know I respect it. I would much rather have that than have somebody who won't leave my side but isn't willing to lift a finger to do anything to help support us and pay the bills. Like, fuck that. That's no way to live. Had a bank account in China. Hmm. We'll talk about that. Uh, in 2016 and 2017, Donald Trump had a bank account in Ireland, a typical place for reducing, reducing corporate tax liability utilized by many companies, including uh, Alphabet, the parent company of Google. In 2016, 17, 18, and 2020, Donald Trump had a bank account in the United Kingdom. And in 2016, Donald Trump had an account in the Caribbean nation of St. Martin, a popular but not the most popular place for offshoring money for the purposes of tax avoidance. Now, you might say, David, sir, he's a businessman. He has accounts. What's the big deal? There's a lot, of, a lot of question marks around some of these things. Now, generally, when a president has bank accounts in another country, there are a number of questions that we would ask. Now, this is for a normal person. When you have someone as corrupt and poorly intentioned as Trump, there's other factors which we will get to. But in general, president with foreign bank accounts, conflicts of interest, okay? U.S. president has bank accounts in other countries. There may, may be financial interests that conflict with the interests of the United States. Just obvious. You know, all, I all think I anti -Semitic grab a couple of um, palate cleansers for us to watch or something because citizenship they're getting Israel, a little uh, like boring here. American Jews maybe have dual citizenship with Israel, but they don't want to talk about this conflict of interest. Money in other countries, this could affect decision making. It could lead to actions that are not necessarily in the best interests of the country. Two. We've talked about it before with Trump. Vulnerability to foreign influence. U.S. president has foreign bank accounts. They could be vulnerable to influence or coercion from other countries, and it could put the president in a position where oh, they really? make Cocktopus? a decision based on the interests of foreign entities or of Trump's interest in those other countries than what's in the best interest of the United States. Three, lack of transparency. Because remember, Trump worked for years to hide this information. U.S. president, foreign bank accounts can be difficult for the public and for Congress to know what are their financial interests, and that can lead to suspicion and mistrust and subterfuge. Legal issues, U.S. president having bank accounts in other countries, questions as to are they compliant with tax law, are they compliant with disclosure requirements, etc. And then, of course, there's perception. However, for, for Trump, that's not a big deal because the people... He did everything legal, though. That's the problem. Like, everything he did was in tax code and stuff. Mm -hmm. and That's why he said from the start, if you don't like what I've done with my taxes, you got to change the laws. Yeah, that's true. Because <laughs> it is all legal. 
You know, I really don't care about the Ace family. I'm skipping this shit. It. It, we, I, uh, the criminal psychology stuff is so much. Wow, better. for real, yeah. Christmas? It's he so read your better. comment word for word on a video. It really is. He was covering and pretended it I was like his the own idea. Wow, better. That's not cool. I do got one though. That's really good. Oh, cool. Yay. Maybe you should change the stream title. Kelly, they no, really are. They're be, they've they been more more boring no, than normal this past, like, what, week or so. I think it's like when they're getting everything they want, like, and people are giving them money for food and cigarettes and Delta 8, they can do this shit, and they're just, like, yeah. boring as fuck. It's like, it doesn't make for very good content, that's for sure. Yeah. Like, Dahmer and Gay Scene, all of them. Yeah. Exactly. That's some fun shit, actually. And you learn stuff. That you do. It's great. She loves you so much. Being a girl. Being a little baby. Are you being a ghost? Yeah. Can I have a kissy? Mind no. Me. Mind me kissy? No. Give me a kissy. 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 Oh my god, Shani. Girl. Whoa. <laughs> She's a little baby. If only they loved the kids as much as they yeah, love the cats. Fuzzy pops. She's a pretty really pretty sad. Yeah. Really She's sad. A pretty, pretty girls. And we are fuzz. Oh my god, Shani and Rev, true crime streamers, yeah. I, I'm liking this a lot. We're like, not. A lot. <laughs> We're not. I get into it. Yeah, that's it, cool, yeah. yeah. That's yeah, true. Yeah, Debbie, it's I good still good. have mine up. It's, it's, I it's, haven't it's, taken my Christmas tree down yet either. Wow, so, really wow, I need okay. to. Yeah. I like, I love, I would, I Callie honestly Anderson. wouldn't mind having one year round, but I know that would be not good. I saw else. a couple minutes of this, and this bra. This Plus, I guess if I had a Christmas tree up year year round, it wouldn't be special to use it at Christmas. You know what I mean? It would lose its its um. I don't know what the word I'm looking for. It would lose its magic. I just wanted to tell you that I love you, and I miss you, and that I can't wait to see you in the morning. Oh. I'm going to give um, a little bit of a trigger warning while we're watching this with them. I've seen some of this documentary before. It, it involves kids, um, violence against kids, um, murder of a child. So if you are triggered easy by stuff like that, I would maybe... Um, not watch and come back in a little bit because it is oh my God. pretty upsetting. Uh, they're just like currency, the bits. Yeah, they're like currency, I think. On the platform. This is bullshit. And one bit is one cent. Yeah. She's evil. Not good. I'm angry. It was the worst type of crime imaginable. After a lackluster attempt to hide it within a lease storage unit, the concealed body of a tiny child had been uncovered. In just a few seconds, you'll witness a dramatic scene as a terribly distraught woman slides off the couch, bends over, and appears to start praying. However, you'll soon learn that the horrendous tragedy behind this display of emotion could have easily been diverted, if not for a twisted and shocking motive. Hi, Christina. God. How are you doing, Christina Blackfeather? I hope you're doing well. I don't know how people... I hope you had a good New Year's. I do want stuff like this. Like, you gotta let go of, of everything that's, like, decent, you know? <laughs> that's in you. It's true. It 
It's you, true. You want another piece of pizza for yourself? Uh, a little later. A little later? Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh, no. I'm so sorry to hear that, Christina. Can everybody leave some hearts in the chat for Christina? Since her uh, significant other is in the hospital right now, not doing well. Um, send him some love and well wishes your way, Christina. So in, the, in this container, there's like some e Oh my god. And that smell. Oh my god, how could you do this to a baby? How could you do it? How could you kick a child in the head? How could you do that? How could you starve a child, Shani? Later, maybe. Oh. Bye -bye. Oh, you're smoking the smell of this. Sir? You, is it you and your wife that yes, you live here also? Yeah, okay. Are there cameras? There's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There. The responding officer is securing the area and awaiting the arrival of the sergeant so she can bring him up to speed. Aw, thank you, Otto. So, we have the complaint in the chain. When I get here, you know, it's sad. Barrel, I check it's in there, it's in there, and I look in this blue barrel, and there's some deep talk in there, and just things. Like, what are you talking about? I keep checking, but it's in there. I see nothing in there. So, I do what's in that bag. There's okay. a bag in the barrel. Like, it, there was a duffel bag. So he's like, I used that knife that's sitting on top of the box on his car and cut open that bag. And as soon as I saw the baby's arm, I backed away and called you guys. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah, see, I don't see how people can get to this point. I don't see how people can get to a point where they kick a kid oh in the head. Oh my God. Really messed up. Like, this is horrible. It's a baby. <coughs> Just a beautiful life. I can't get it. I don't get it. I don't fucking get it. Officers continue to secure the scene, and a chilling comment is made. More kids? I, um... I can tell you that uh, I can pull, pull the information of his friend from the U-Haul that he drove. Uh, it was, was the stepmom, so it's not part of the problem, yeah. That's why they came back to look tonight, because they drove all, he drove all the way here from Reno with only three boxes in. That's, that'd be phenomenal. If you could get the license plate, that would be great. Well, I'll know everything about that as soon as I can get uh, the guy's name. So we got the name of Tyler, but... No last name? Uh, would that guy have checked in with you when he got here? No, but uh, if I can get around about I agree, Dave. The energy in that in, I agree. In, in that scene is so dark. Very. Like, there's a spirit in that area, dude. I think you're right. You feel that, I, too? I feel it and see it. Yeah, man. Like, satanic. Very. This is fucked. This story's gonna be really fucked. You see the triangle up in the upper right-hand corner of the footage? Yeah. Let's move back. Mm. Jonathan Cleck would be going, what are you telling us there? And then he'll be like, look, dead sheep. Yeah, dead sheep. Uh, all right. You know it's true. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> but he is a really nice guy. And he's the, he, no, and his stuff, there's something to it. There definitely is. That's why they got rid of him. Yep. Now, watch, you guys, watch how, um, well, how would you end up having that? Rev, oh, when Shani gives the, the vape to the to Rev, notice how Shani holds it the entire time. Like, he can't hold it. He can hit it a couple times, and then she's grabbing it back from him. Like, she's in control and in charge of that vape. I think it's hilarious. She's so blue, controlling blue of everything. Theater. Okay, with the blue thing, it was yeah. Monday. Okay. Yeah. And, and then later on, he brought the stuff that's in the other unit. Yeah, because I... I called him. I 
Okay, I don't mean a Satanist per se as, say, an Luciferian, someone who follows Crowley hey, and Red magic. Feather. Is that a little bit Hi, more Sky specific? Woman. I'm not, I, I refuse to say Hi, as a Peaches. Christian that How are you doing, Peaches? I don't believe Satanism is positive. Well, so I certainly cannot understand why your archetype would be a person who literally wants to destroy all mankind. So kind of weird. Yeah. Wiccan is witchcraft. Yes. And there's Crowley and Satanism. Right, Red Feather? Yeah, magic. he had to ask her for a donut yesterday. So, mm -hmm. Yep. And how many of those did you think he ended up getting? Yeah, I get how people are drawn in, in, into it too, Autumn. Mm -hmm. I get it. I get it. Lucifer is the light brainer. So is Jesus. Lucifer is false light. False. Jesus is the light. Yes. So Lucifer is the brainer of the light. Hey, Red Feather. I also wanted to tell you thank you for last night. Um, I I saw you in there when all that was going down. Um, and I really appreciate what you were doing and what you were saying. And you're taking a lot of shit for it. So thank you for that. And sorry that they were coming after you like that. Um, but it meant a lot to me. So thank you. That's the protector. That's what he was meant to be. Yes. Knocking back asteroids and shit, you know? That'd be sick. Could you imagine seeing him up there protecting Earth from asteroids and shit? That's but like anyway, I'm not going to debate Lucifer. I got, I, I want to do this shit. This is good shit. Yeah. What's wrong with you? I am so damn suspicious. Your wife keeps, you know, bring a bug and I told him, you go, if you're trying to get caught, maybe, you know, I thought it was drugs. Right. If you're trying to get me caught up or something, you know, because I, I spread it off wrong, don't get in a bunch of I know, Red Feather. I just felt kind of helpless about it when it was going down, and I just felt bad for you. I was like, damn, this is not cool. So I just wanted you to know that I apologize for that, and um, and I appreciate it. No debate pervetry in my chat. No debate pervetry in my chat. It Oi. is not allowed. What is that stupid Go to another channel if you want to do a debate, debate with someone. No one gives a fuck. Oh my <laughs> god, it sounded perfect. Everyone here wants to see what the fuck is happening with this crime, but yet you want to come in here. Oi! You want to come in here. You want to start a mess around. Well, I'll tell you, Fluffy McRuff, <laughs> you can eat assholes in hell. Uh, yeah, go let him alone. Yeah, she, yeah, she said it. She was like, yeah, yeah. God, that was hilarious. Um, yeah, that Poetic Justice. They showed up um, last <laughs> night when I was doing the goddamn podcast. Um, they showed up there and were, were causing problems there as well, so. I think it's actually all Sam right over here. I think it's black or Puerto Rican, something like that. Is he darker darker than you? Yeah. Darker than you. Or, well, not really darker than me. He's kind of like different sh shades of dark. Okay. You need, I see that person and all I see is Corey Feldman. Am I right? What the flip? Corey Look, Feldman. It looks like Corey Feldman, the thing with the freaking question mark. Shape. Huh? Yeah. The shape of his skull. Am I right about the Corey <laughs> Feldman? What? Just you can barely, like, what skull. What about yeah, him? I that so. makes you think it looks like Corey Feldman. He looks like Corey Feldman. Okay, so Corey Feldman did it. Case closed. Fuck. Yeah, baby girl, it's still up on the goddamn <laughs> podcast channel. <laughs> Hold on, I'll grab the link. So if anybody wants to go and check it out, they can. All right. Well, let's go to another video then, I guess. But he's saying his race is black or Puerto Rican, so he's black or Rican. Cardi B? Yeah. Cardi B did it. The drawing or the drawing. Um, give me a minute. Yeah. The drawing. Drawing. 
it, 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 it's, it's so fucking Corey Feldman. <laughs> Cocktopus breath. That podcast sucks. No. Totally Corey Feldman. If it sucked, I wouldn't be there. That's right. My dude. There's the link in the chat for anybody that meet. didn't get a chance to watch Maybe. it last night. Yeah, see? I got some eyes. I'm onto it. It's Corey fucking Feldman. I know it. So he's, he's slim and short. Okay. Do you know anything about him being married or anything like that? He's married to that good girl. He's married to somebody? Yeah, he's married to that girl. The girl came with him. Oh, there was a girl with him when he came yeah, yesterday? And kids. Oh, there was kids with him? Oh, oh okay. Dane! He brought his wife and kids to the freaking murder site? What? What? Dude, they they never make it through these videos. Like they pause so often and talk so, and then they just go off on like tangents and ramble. And it's like, can we just get to the freaking video, dude? She's definitely black, but you don't I have any idea what her name might be. Okay. How long does your camera store? Oh, we'll go way back. Can you look up something for me? Yeah. That's George Gate. So that's, is that the yours or is that it right there? That's the yours right there. Okay, right, but not the guy that we're interested. How do I hit pause? Oh, just right there. Oh, you gotta be honest. Okay. Make a mental note of the white car, as this will be important shortly. The phone number to the guy we're looking for, do you have it? Yeah. We need it. So they can look up the number and get the name right here. So he's from Reno. Right, Patty? You sure Kenny's kids have seen a lot worse? Probably. So Friday the 11th, they showed up with the van and the hatchback. Yeah. The hatchback. And then the 14th, the hatchback is with Joe. Mm -hmm. Okay. So they ran his phone through the computer system, so they came up with. So they came because of the smell of, like, dead bodies or something. Yes. Ah, oh, man. Bro. They thought they were going to get away with this shit. No, they yeah. it wasn't just a smelling of dead bodies. Somebody went in that um, uh, storage unit and saw the baby's arm, and they called the police. Oh. Like, it, you got you got to be clean. Don't do shit. Stay, stay within the law, and you're cool. Don't do bad shit. Yeah. yeah, man. Just don't do it. Like, they got 4K shit, and they can go in and out, zoom in and out and all around everything. Yeah, just don't do it. Yeah, it, it's just dumb to do a crime nowadays. If you're thinking of doing something because you feel like you, your situation is going to be better after it's done, and it's illegal, Oh, really? Just don't Peaches? do it. Peaches? I didn't even see that. Are you talking about like <clears throat> this stream or one of the, one of the ones that in the past? There's cameras everywhere. Somebody's gonna see. Yeah, yep. Scott fam, they are basically they are ba yep. basically a reaction channel now. <laughs> if you can believe that. All right, Odo. Yeah, bro. That's how they got a lead in the Idaho Four. White Elantra on cam. See, it's always the cams. You can't get away with shit anymore. I wonder if this Odo in our chat is a fan of Odo from Deep Space Nine. Possibly. I'm really hoping that's the case. Me too. Because Odo kicks ass. Right? Yes. Ah! Yes! I love it. Right, Odo Patty? Did it. Mother of the Year He's giving advice. Sure, Jan. Show ever, right? No, he was good to be put in the show because he kind of has that like um, grumpiness that um, Bones had. Yeah, and his voice is like that. Too. Oh, okay, yeah. Peaches. It sounds kind of... Yeah, it it sucks, but, you know, it's just one of those things. Sure. Isn't he in something recently Can't, that you Nothing I can see? really do about it. I think, actually, yeah. Oh, Willow, the new Willow. Is yes, he's in Willow. Is that what he's in? He is always accusing others, so I thought Will Odo did it. That, he's, he's dead now? Oh no! What? Who? I was wrong then. I swore we heard he was in something recently. Okay. Oh, that's wrong. Oh, Jesus oh. bless. Yeah, that sucks. I didn't know that. Now I'm depressed. A baby girl. 
Yeah, Renee Aberjonas. Yeah. I could have sworn there was some movie he did recently. He was we a were, genius. We were like, we we'll, got we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. Oh, well. That's sad. Died back in 2019. So it has to be something around that time. Maybe, that yeah. yeah. That's it. So he got his uh, driver's license I'm number. Sad, and, um, if you look on the other backside, that's his credit card that he's been using. <laughs> Man, what an idiot! He even left his credit card information, uh -huh. his his ID information at the place he was storing the body. Oh uh, no! Like, did they ever think that bodies decompose and stink? Yeah. Let's just put this in storage. Why not? That, that nobody will ever know. <sighs> not gonna smell it. Nothing. It's, it's gonna be fine. Yeah, Shady, they're not quit scratching your head. It's not smart. That's why she has all these bumps and different things all over her body. Why is the dad? She won't like, stop scratching up to the fucking mom. Put that bitch in jail. Yeah. She just keeps scratching, and then she goes and scratches somewhere else. Scratches somewhere else. Yeah, maybe. And spreads those germs body. all yeah. over. So we'll just go with this name as a as our possible suspect. Send a message to uh, to Reno, give them that horsepower, and see if they can confirm an address for him there, or confirm that it is a good address in Reno. Sure. Have the supervisor send a message over there. So what briefly? What is her story as to why they decided to check things out today? Those was it she the one that was seizing her shoulders? <laughs> that something was wrong with the boxes. No, so he was not acting right. And she, has no she just thinks something's weird with, about him. He's acting paranoid. She's okay. like, seems really nervous, really paranoid. They leave. All three. She, yeah. She convinces dad, hey, that dude's weird. I need to go over here and look and see what those boxes are. Okay. So she convinces dad to come over here. They come down here together to look inside those boxes. Okay. Because she did not get a good vibe from him. Sacramento CSI and homicide units have just discovered that a most dreaded class of cases has landed in their laps. Based on the driver's license information provided by a manager of the storage facility, law enforcement has set their sights on a young man by the name of Tyler Anderson. The 23-year-old resides in Reno, Nevada. The Sacramento Police Department contacts their counterparts in Reno, Nevada. Would you guys like um, a palate cleanser or two? Or do you want to keep watching this? About his stepmom and on. how the dad helped get rid of his toddler daughter after they kept her in the apartment in a messy bathroom for days? Jesus. I can't understand what's wrong with people. What the hell, dude? I watched this one literally yesterday. It's so fucking sad. The stepmom is insane. Ugh. Yeah. Drop the wish list. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Tear. Nevada. And it is soon established that Tyler is married to 23-year-old Avriana Anderson. Around this same time, back in Sacramento, police discover that Tyler's phone is pinging nearby. He's soon located and taken into custody. The Reno Police Department's robbery and homicide unit dispatches two detectives to the apartment of Tyler and Avriana at approximately 1.30 p.m. on May 16, 2018, the day after first responders were dispatched to the horrendous scene at the storage facility. As Avriana grants the detectives entry to her Reno residence, the convoluted horror story slowly begins to unfold. Even yeah, at first glance, I will. The apartment is noticeably We're unkempt. slowly adding the things to it as we think the about them. Floor, and the kitchen is filthy and littered with spoiled food. Avriana agrees to travel to the main station of the Reno Police Department, where she will be interviewed by the detectives. Tyler, on the other hand, asks for an attorney shortly after a Sacramento detective informs him of his rights. It's not until July 5th, 2019, after more than a year has passed, Boy. that Tyler emerges to explain his long-awaited version of events. Shortly after his arrest, the, the... The question is, why didn't you, like, report your child missing? That's it. That's the same thing with the pig farming woman. Any, yeah. no any normal person... When something like this happens and someone is horribly hurt and going to die, maybe, you're calling 911. Yeah. If you're a normal person. 
Yep. Oh, really? End of story. Okay. If you have somebody that's end up hurt and dead and nobody called about it, it's because somebody did something bad. That's, that's true. I think that's just like a baseline. It's common fucking sense, dude. Yeah. I think so. Okay, whatever. Um, here we go. Let's watch some some um rage from Rev. An hour. This is from like this. Would your January twenty first, twenty twenty two. Pathetic ass review this. If I just stood here for an hour. Because apparently I'm so fucking fascinating to the individual. Like, I really don't even care if I said his name 15 million times with the N-word in it. Do you get what I'm saying? By the way, I'll, I'll let you guys guess who he's talking about here. Like this. Would your pathetic ass review this if I just stood here for an hour? Because apparently I'm so fucking fascinating to the individual. Like, I really don't even care if I said his name 15 million times with the N-word in it. Do you get what I'm saying? There's a guy on YouTube, a big fat A big one, a big fat fucking He's got these black rim glasses. He's got all these people that give him money because I don't know why they give him fucking money. But I just want everybody to know that everybody that follows that guy, he is the biggest, most disgusting, sweaty, fat that you've ever seen. Day after day, I have to see my face on this guy's YouTube page. I report, I report, I report, I report, I report more. I report even more. Nothing. Weren't we supposed to get a little nice little box in our settings that we could check that no individual could use our content without permission? Wasn't there supposed to be a new feature a little checkbox. Hi, Mustela. You're going to get what's coming to you. So, yeah, you see that I took my videos down. It's it's for fears of these games. You know, Kevin Costner. Uh, uh, <laughs> Field of dreams. If you build it, they will come. Well, sure. That's a great thing, isn't it? That you can have this this thing, YouTube. It was always the coolest thing to me. The concept that anyone, it doesn't matter who you are, if you if you happen to be blessed that you could buy a computer, then man, you can do it. You know? You can get online, you can you can make opinions, you can you can get your opinions out there. Hey, that's pretty cool, right? YouTube, express yourself. That was their motto. It was express yourself. What's their motto now? We heart maps. YouTube's motto now is we protect, enable, and love on maps. Oh man, did you guys see? Did you guys see that a huge YouTube user was calling out the P-word activity? Uh -huh. That King Penguin guy? Uh -huh. Yeah. He said his his title was YouTube, you need to pick a side. King P no, that's actual penguins, folks. Holy shit, we almost lost Arnold today. Jason, we almost lost Arnold Schwarzenegger today. That's rough. Nick Akato talks about him, because because he's done... Uh, criticisms on Nick and stuff, you know. Um, YouTube really enables and helps a lot of really bad people. And I'm just standing here going, like, I'd really like to start some kind of actual productive radio show, or uh, radio slash TV, which this that's what this is. Podcasting. Whatever. Is that possible? Am I able to do that, folk, huh? Without being harassed. Without, for what? By who? Who listens to this guy? Turned Certainly a lot more people than, than me. But they're talking about me. My picture plastered all over his stuff. I got seven, pe ten people in here and he gets 250. But they're talking about me. I want money. I want money. I've been, uh, my name has been absolutely trashed so bad. All lies, all bullshit. Child abuser and all this, uh, bullying autistic kid, all bullshit. You want to call, nah. you want to call yelling at the sun for smothering a cat possibly. You get to get him on you now. Instead of putting him on the floor, you're going to kill the cat. Oh my God. If that's bullying, then I don't know what to tell you, man. Gavin, okay? 
Honey, you need to get back on the highway. I wanted to check on him. Is he? Can, you see Can him? we go park somewhere so we're not like in the middle of traffic? Can you fucking use your fucking head and get off the side of the goddamn road and go down and park somewhere smart? Shut the fuck up. If he's okay, I can get back on. No problem. Get the cat on your lap, you fucking idiot. <laughs> if he's on that floor again, you are getting your ass beat. Do you hear me? What? Piece of shit. Jason shit. William Egra. He straight up just called the kid a piece of shit. He's I will beat you. You're and you're he's a piece of shit. Stop this. No, I won't. You're not a mother. You don't say anything. That's a father saying, son, I'm gonna kill your ass if you <laughs> Oh my god, oh, yeah. yeah, no, I definitely meant that. Listen to this part. He actually says it's a father saying, Yeah, I'm gonna kill him. Kill the son. Like what? What? Father saying, son, I'm- William Egra. Stop this. No, I won't. You're not a mother. You don't say anything. That's a father saying, son, I'm gonna kill your ass if you- <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, yeah, no, I definitely meant that. <laughs> Are you kidding me? But th this is the stuff we get capped for. Total bullshit. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to go here. I wanted to open this window. I wanted to go to YouTube and I wanted to type. Uh, 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 uh. You can see I've already searched for him recently. Okay. Because the reason that this is not tolerable to me is because it has affected my real life. You got that? Constant harassment of me and my wife has caused me real problems. I don't care what useless shit opinion he has of me, okay? Everybody's got opinions, just like your big hairy asshole, okay? White asshole on that individual, guaranteed. Prison sex individual. Can you believe that this was a guy that I was on friendly terms with, too? Isn't that nuts? Literally did nothing to the guy. Only gave him money. But, but man, I would have never gave him the amount of money he made on me. 72 grand? I want money. Definitely. <laughs> and no, I don't want to buy your, your means, dude. Trying to get up in my email saying, how about we talk about some financial restitution? How about I take your ass to court and sue you for death? and slander and lies. I'd rather that and maybe get a lawsuit that's way than that than what any peasly, measly grand or whatever you'd give me maybe. From all the bullshit that you put me and my family through, are you kidding me? There's a lot more than just a grand in that lawsuit. You stole our porn that was behind a paywall on, on OnlyFans. That is illegal. illegal. Do you got that? You're not only violating my rights, my wife's rights, but you're violating the rights of the company OnlyFans. When you, like, all these, it's like, oh, no big deal that people's OnlyFans stuff gets hijacked. Yeah, yeah. Do you realize that that's a person's business? And you have stepped, you stepped in and said, I'm just going to take your stuff. Stealing. You're stealing, stealing. It's, it's like, it's, you know, I, and everybody gets all butthurt over Metallica. I loved the Napster back in the day too, okay? I don't use any kind of BitTorrent or nothing today. I don't do it. I buy the shit that I want. But Metallica had a very good argument with saying, look, we recorded. You got to go to the fuck. Did they ruin everybody's fun, including? It sucks. We loved because we were stealing shit. Huh. Now, with my book, they tried to make it a suck. I, I put the Tento Saga in digital form to a product, which you wouldn't have a clue how to do, dude. But you're making plenty of money, dude. You're... Okay, well, you guys got to know who you got. I am done. This is the only video until I am sick of seeing my words twisted and everything screwed with and the perception of everything in this one direction that this guy is who doesn't know me from fucking. I am sick. Of I feel you're going to get what's coming to you. 
I feel, I feel like my life is threatened by this guy. I feel like every single thing courses through my veins, all blood, is that danger because of this guy, because he will not let two people just... And he twists everything and makes everything what it... You have to understand that if you're listening to this guy, you're listening to a goddamn demon. God a demon? Okay. Let's go back in here and see what they're saying. Hey, does anyone have um the link to uh her um Amazon list? A little bit. Her Amazon her wish browsing. list. If anybody has that and can like, share dang, it, dang girl, I would I'm really appreciate Get your head together. That. You're in front of cops. Why are you like not alert? She don't have her cocaine. Like, why are you not alert? Be alert, girl. Be alert. <sighs> Ooh, I'll take one too. Yeah, dude. Give you a nice big one with lots of the, They said there's a reason. I bet she's pregnant. Yeah. That's possible. Sorry. God. She just killed a child and she's already bearing another? She's gonna have another one. Gonna have one. No, 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 no. No, no. She let me see if I can find a child. Let me see if I can find that Amazon Prime list real she quick. She took a baby um, for her own selfish reasons. It's probably linked somewhere on their stuff. Jason's a happy boy. So good. The Sacramento. Yes. Okay. Did you know who this friend was? No, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't know. That's how we're getting separated. You know, I don't really know him. I guess. Well, Avriana may be trying to distance herself from Tyler. Possibly because she's planning to blame him for everything. Mm. Her potential defense being that she didn't know anything about what he did. Yesterday, what did you do yesterday? Yeah. Yeah. Coke. TVH. Ready to start eating healthier? Meet Kachava. Kachava is the world's healthiest all in- <clears throat> Avriana. Man, she did the same stuff that Foodie Beauty was doing. <laughs> like, why would you take that stuff? Look what, how it makes you all freaking weird and shit. Mm. I don't think so. Did he say what did you do yesterday, like, as an activity, and she started rolling off drugs? Yeah. I wouldn't know how it is, like, but I see people on it, and I'm like, fuck that shit. Ugh, the sound of them eating, I can't mm -hmm. handle. Mm -hmm. It's awful. Alright, I think I got the list, so hold on one second, guys. I'm gonna pull that up. <laughs> Cocktopus. <laughs> I don't want to know. I may be trying to appear like she is being truthful and cooperative by revealing her illegal drug habits. However, her laughter before responding could be an indication that she's intentionally trying to show her indifference. She's confident that revealing her drug use won't get her in any trouble. By revealing this information to the two detectives sitting um, in front of her. Blossom, they're eating pizza. All right, I've got, I've got the um, Amazon list. Hold on, I'm going to pull it up for us to look at. See what all is on their little list. I want something. Mm -hmm. She high on something. I so. <laughs> she don't seem right Talk in her mind. <laughs> He told her cocaine she was expensive, something. so she's safe from it's it. It's fucking weird. That's funny.
Is there anything on the wish live forever or not? No, I don't know. I haven't added nothing. I haven't looked at anything. I don't know. He adds everything to the list. <laughs> I don't do nothing with it. <laughs> That's it. You got two nice big slices left. Okay. Big ones. Oh my God! They I only have two slices of that pizza truth, left. In a lot of ways. Not much. They only have two slices of that pizza left. They've almost ate that whole fucking pizza in like what, an hour or two? Holy shit! Yeah, damn. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and look at this Amazon wish list right here, because I'm curious, what do these folks have on their list? We've got it. What? The first thing, oh my god, Loom deodorant cream tube, underarms, and private parts? And private parts? What the fuck? What? And it's $36? What the fuck is that? Oh my god, all right. Then we've got a, oh my god, a $55 microfiber wearable blanket. Okay. Because that's what she needs is some other freaking, uh, uh, what do you call it? Like a, um, what is the thing she wears all the time? Why can't I think of anything? Like a cardigan or whatever the hell you want to call it. Um. Let's see. Oh my gosh, an air fryer. Dude, why don't they just get the one back from uh G Man? Like all they'd have all they have to do is go get it. But no, they're gonna get an ask for another one. That's a hundred bucks. Oh, pots and pans. And that's it. That's the list. Wow. Not a bad price for the pots and pans. Um, but I can't believe like they have no shame. I would never, <laughs> ever put something for my private parts, a deodorant cream for my private parts, on the list. Like, are you serious? That is just so fucking gross and cringy. I can't. I can't. That's it, though. That's all that's on the list. So, nothing too crazy with so that. Don't well, you worry about that little baby girl. She's in Jesus' arms. And she being spoiled. What a bitch you are. Doing that to that beautiful little baby. So you guys want to go to the Yeah, I do. Okay. Fucking cokehead. Yeah, yeah, I do. You know what I mean? Say yeah, I love it. Lay out of Why are you laughing? I want to tie your hat. Yeah, I'm going to tie your hat. We've had a kind of day of um... Dude, all around she's all around. so <laughs> if Rev is the one that did the Amazon Prime list, do you think he picked out the deodorant cream for her? Maybe he was like, dude, this bitch has been stinking. I'm going to get her some of this cream because I can't take it no more. Like, Oh my god. Oh, watermelon taco. Ooh. And I agree. That is a good time to use that word. Is when a woman is so despicable that she goes against her own human nature. No. That's the only time you should be using the C word like that. You want one of these? He no, does no, love to smell his fingers, and I've always found that really weird. <laughs> oh my god, Cocktopus Prime. Oh, shit. Cocktopus says at sprinkle? this point, Shani no. just needs oh. to shove a urinal yes. cake up there. Oh my god. 
Well, I always go for the glazed chocolate cake. Oh. I know, I'm not doing That's that. That's awful. <laughs> I'll take the Homer donut. Okay, you'll take the Homer the donut. The Homer Simpson donut. Okay. Oh. All right. Some good shit. Uh, uh, starved and abused her stepchild. That's disgusting. Like, you starve for your babies if if they're hungry. Yeah. That's what I always did. What do you do? ...to lay on and how their daughter Callie really? came to be. It's July 5th, 2019, more than 13 months after his arrest and Avriana's account. I was with uh, Leonie in Sacramento. Wow. with Brett when she got pregnant. Just a couple months later... Avriana came along and lay on. All right, guys, I need to go do something really quick. I will be right back, okay? Right back. 4K camera, but their fucking mic is shitty as fuck. Not very good. Nah. I'm hearing them, though. Yeah, I am. But I'm just saying. Could be better, yeah. You're right. Yeah, I'm gonna see JCS, too. It's good shit. But they need a better mic for this. Yeah. Tyler says that his mother brought baby Callie to meet him for the first time. Despite this normally being a joyous occasion, Avriana was not happy about this, to say the least. You know, she wants us to spend time together. She and my mom were never, uh, they never saw her eye. They were never, they had a good relationship. So she was upset. And, you know, she saw my mom. So if you don't come back. This type of threat is a form of manipulation and is an obvious red flag for an unhealthy relationship. Tyler tells the detective about another occasion where he spent time with Callie when he was granted a furlough for Christmas of 2012. This time, Avriana was livid. Yet upon his release in March of Jesus. 2013, he moved into her apartment. Shortly thereafter, while... Like ladies? Ladies. Pin cushion face, too. Ladies? Uh -huh. Please stop doing this to your face. I know you if you make if you, it makes you feel like you're edgy or something. But you look ridiculous. So like a pierce in here and there, that's one thing. But to pierce everything, please stop doing this to your face. Yeah. Like especially septum piercings. Holy shit. Let the guys have that. God, that like not. like Please stop doing this. Yeah, I agree. You're, you, it, it, it. it does not look good. No. It doesn't look good at all. Little pops of beauty, not overdoing it. Yeah. That 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 shanty yeah. fashion sense one oh one. Thank you. <clears throat> back back to the program. Yeah, man. While Tyler was visiting <laughs> Callie and his mother. Avriana attempted to take her life and landed herself in the hospital, according to Tyler. Avriana's jealousy toward Callie was a huge red flag that should have worn Tyler away early in the relationship. Yet, he stayed with her. In the fall of 2013, while Tyler was in the... Heck yeah, I have my nose piercing. It's a little pop of beauty. Mm -hmm. Not overdoing it. We don't want to look like Pinhead, ladies. We don't want to look like Pinhead. No. I agree. No. No. Too many piercings can be troublesome while kissing. You know what I mean? More than that. Yeah. What when is your perspective as a man? 
when you st I I'm gonna say that women that have too many piercings in their face look like a pin cushion and it's sad because they're pro they're they're probably attractive otherwise you want to split your ton someday cool that's cool it's a pop you see what I mean too much of anything is always a bad thing and I'm I'm saying that as a cigarette smoker mm. In, in Watermelon, she did a warrior cry. It's out of line. Hey, dude, if you want to do that to yourself, that's fine. Too much weed is never bad. True, and most likely you don't have that as much money as you think you have, and, 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 and you'll never go overboard on it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not saying people can't do what they want. You can do whatever the fuck they want. It just looks bad. With Jenny's fashion advice, that's what you get, man. You can do what you want. It just looks Shanny Sh Shanny's fashion advice 101. If if you disagree with me, you disagree with me. I don't care. It's your body. Do what you want. Industrial period. The process of seeking full custody of Callie, she went to live with her father and Adriana. Look at those little at balls. Time, she was just 13 months old. And they agree things were good in the beginning. In hindsight, however, this short span represented the calm before the storm that was quickly approaching. So I was working on with Adriana. Uh, I would come home and it would be her hair looks like my first best friend Damira. Mm. How could you do that to the baby? Yeah, man. Think of think of you get a job and they don't allow piercings like that, and you got all this piercing scar in. <clears throat> Love her little puff bonds. I know it's so cute. Oh, baby. How could you hurt that? I just don't like that. Mm -mm. I don't understand. Uh uh. How you can hurt that? You can't do that. Uh, amen, Scorpion. You gotta do what you gotta do. Can Rev have another slice of pizza? He looks hungry. I'm stuffed. I had four pieces. He's had more pizza than me. I had four pieces. I had half the pie, and I'm leaving you the other two. There. And I had one and a half. Yeah, exactly. Or, no, two and a half. Yeah, I ate four pieces, man. No, one and a half. The last one was a baby. Yeah. You don't have to protect that woman, dude. She was just a baby, and I just remember looking at her and I'm like, oh my god, she's yeah, so cute. Yeah, kind of monkey, yeah. And I remember when the first night we got her, I cried, I was holding her and I cried, because I was like, My satin skills. Adriana presented an idea to Tyler sometime in early 2014. She disguised the real motive behind her proposition.
You love polishing off a whole pizza? I can't do that no more. Not alone. No. I, can't, I can't do it. Yes, the one girl says she's never been happier, but she says she started doing it right after. And it's, oh. Huh. According to Tyler, he believed that Adriana felt as if she was a mother to Callie. I think and we wanted to have ensure she married. remained wow. in their lives. It would turn out that this could not be further from the truth. In addition to wanting to get married, Adriana also wanted to have a child with Tyler. His mother had warned Adriana not to go playing house with her son. However, it seemed this was precisely her plan. A baby would further bind them together in the already volatile situation. How many Pearsons you got, Absinthe? What Pearsons you got, girl? Oh. Ooh. I wish I could be. 17. Wow. Holy shit. What was the most painful piercing? Everything except down there. Oh, I was pierced down there once. I want to do it again. Both boobies. Ah. The boobs are the most painful, bro. I ain't doing it. They're all gone. Yeah. They're all out now. Yeah. Yeah, I screamed out loud. Oh my lord. For the boobies. I chicken out at nipple piercings. Yeah, me too. Like, fuck that. My titties are my titties. I love them. I wouldn't do that. Situation <laughs> would continue its trajectory toward inevitable disaster. Despite any trepidation Tyler may have felt, he went along with Adriana's plans. The medication that she was taking her bipolar depression medication was probably the reason why she wasn't able to get pregnant. So she stopped taking that and, uh, uh, It's unknown if Adriana gradually stopped the medication she was allegedly taking under a doctor's orders. It's important to note that it can be dangerous to suddenly stop taking medications prescribed <laughs> to treat mental health disorders, and it can cause a sharp increase in symptoms. The first son shared by Adriana and Tyler was born on Halloween of 2014. It was no coincidence that soon after... Well, you know... If she stopped taking her meds and she fucked and freaked out and did something. Oh, that's a hard one, man. Yeah. Tyler would arrive home from work to find Callie exhibiting noticeable injuries. over time. Though Adriana's story was a bit different, the ugly truth was beginning to show itself. I don't know about discipline, so if you talk bad, you want to talk in your mouth until you don't talk bad. Discipline, however, should never leave a bruise on a child. Research shows that physical punishment, such as spanking or hitting, has been linked to the child displaying increased negative behaviors, including aggression. If you... I would have to agree with that, actually, because of how I raise the boys. I don't raise my hands to them. I don't. We talk things out. Right. And they're not very aggressive at all. Which is good. Like... There's no need to do that to your children. They can they can understand if you speak to them.
Yeah. If she would do something that she wasn't supposed to do, I'd be like, okay, you're going to stand in the corner, you're five. You'll stand in the corner for five minutes. That right, stuff, you know, like, how I was raised. That's, that, that's what, you know, that's, that's how I was raised. So I really go off how I was raised. Avriana is clearly agitated. Her demeanor is confrontational and defensive. She's showing clear signs of discomfort. She's rubbing her off. Dude, do you realize you're so messed up and you're a drug addict probably because your mama was all freaking crazy on you? Like, you don't have to freaking be so harsh on a child. They can reason, dude. It is. She's trying to justify her actions, Autumn. That's why I think she's talking about how she's raised. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's true. <sighs> she is itching her arm. She did more than cocaine, dude. I bet she did heroin too. Maybe. That's why she's so. Uh, Maybe. Mm hmm. This is on Explore with us. Arms, which is a self soothing movement used by individuals who are beginning to experience increased anxiety. No, no, no. Tyler places blame for the abuse on Avriana as the primary caregiver. All right, However, I'm as back. her parent, he I'm is back. legally and morally obligated to protect his child and remove Sorry about her that, from guys. an abusive environment. That's true. Tyler wasn't the only Dude, I cannot believe what she just said. Like, is she fucking serious? Literally, he kicked her kid in the head. Like, what the hell? Um, let me see. Oh my gosh. I'm not going to say the person's name out loud just in case they do not want their name shared. But thank you so much for the $50 PayPal. I really appreciate that. That is so kind of you. Truly so kind of you. Thank you so much. It was a terrible sight. Callie's tiny hand had been badly burned. When Tyler allegedly inquired as to how the injury had occurred, Avriana claimed that the water was too hot that morning when she had washed Callie's hands. The explanation was completely implausible. It wasn't an honest mistake, but rather an intentional, cruel act. You'd burn a child's hand. That's just fucking wrong, man. You'd kick one in the head, Rev? That's just wrong. You're horrible. You guys are horrible people. Like, these people don't know how jail is to people who hurt kids. You, Rev does. You want to tell the audience what happened to you? After oh. you kicked Zachary in the head? Oh. What happened to you? Because you deserve that shit. Why, well, it's... What happened was... Um, oh! You know, I went in... Uh, I went in... To... Separated from the other situation from general population because uh, I, I had suicidal ideation. So after I was out of there, uh, they put me in the step down unit. And after I was out of there, they're like, okay, now you're going to gem pop. And I, cause I was never there. So I, when I got to gem pop, everybody's like, well, what's your charge? What's your charge? And then they got my papers out and read my papers and they found out what it was, you know, that, that I had been physical with an autistic kid. And uh, the, I, luckily, the guy in the bunk next to me was a Christian and he had a bunch of Christian buddies around him. And he's like, brother, I just tell you right now, uh, with, with, with the charge that you got and I want to look out for you, okay, you should tell them you want protective custody because I couldn't protect you even. I've been here forever. Everybody knows me, but no, like I couldn't protect you. So he said, I suggest you have your, your, your breakfast in the morning and you go and talk to the, 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 the guy, what, what do they call him? The warden. You, you really need to talk to the warden to get the hell out of here because 
like basically I got in there and it was like, you're, I'm going to kill you to me. Like there was like three or four different guys that said to me in a matter of five minutes of being in general population, we're going to kill you tonight. So don't hurt kids ever. Okay. Never, ever do it because when you get in there, they're, there's like a target on your head. You don't do it because it's wrong. Oh yeah. Yeah. It was Don't bad, do it because it's wrong. They found out what the charge was. All of them. Like the entire cell block. It's a good lesson to learn. Yeah. Not to put your hands on children. Yeah. And I kept telling him, don't get physical with the boys. Yeah. And he did I'm it anyway. You, and he did it anyway. It was mental, man. It was it was because yep. I was going through the shit. No. But I'm glad it happened in that way and it happened and, and I what? and I paid for it in that way because now I real I did learn the lesson. What? Yeah, it was so traumatic to you. You realize, wow, this is how it's going to be. If traumatic like, yeah. to you? For that charge even. Yeah. Traumatic nothing, to you. Nothing sex, to, you know, uh, uh, pedophilia or anything like that. It, but they feel the same way about physical abuse, especially if it's an autistic kid. And you're right about that, Coctopus Prime. There are better reasons to not hit kids than how inmates will treat you. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, of course. Because you're hitting a child. You're hurting them. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, Zachary doesn't know any better sometimes. Know any better than what? So... He didn't know that, though. He had to be taught that in, like, such a fucking horrible manner. I was mental, dude. No. I know. No. Bullshit. I know you were. Bullshit. But I'm glad it's in your head now. There, She's smacking Jason in the face. She's like, fuck you. Yeah, let's just make fuck be you. lighthearted about this. Fuck Bitch, you. you don't have your kids fuck because you. of that. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck Is this you. a fucking joke to you? Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. I love you. Fuck you. And, and Fuck you know, you. I'm just going to say it one more time. These, these are the people that people are donating money to. These two. <sighs> this is the people face. people That's are right. donating to. They're supporting football? these fucking <laughs> idiots. These horrible, despicable, <laughs> disgusting She has restless of tail garbage. syndrome. Oh. I'm glad Jason knows he messed up and yeah. can repent for it. When it yeah. comes to the child abuse, I, that's I have... why I took him no. back. No. No, fuck you. Fuck you. It's because of that. No, it's not. But if he ever did that shit again, holy shit. How's he gonna do it again, no, dumbass? You don't have fucking no, custody no, of the no, kids. No. You're not gonna get another chance after that. I'm done. Yeah, of course. Another chance? You don't have mm -hmm. your kids anymore because of it. Of course. Mm-hmm. I ain't putting up with that shit. Oh yeah, you are putting up with it. That's why you're there with him right now, and your kids I hope you are don't gone. Do it again and prevent yourself from getting into that place where you, where you did, did it in. Yeah, exactly. Ugh, the father denied he knew anything about the abuse. I hate them. Like I just straight up hate these people. <clears throat> and if anyone, if you're what getting are you money talking to them, about, oh drag. my god! I hope you don't reach out to G-Man if he does it again, because that would be very awkward. What the fuck? Look at these two smug fucking assholes, dude. Never mind. I don't fucking care. I did. I missed a super chat. Okay, hold on. You gotta switch it back to the. <clears throat> Oh my god. God, that I fucking mic. It was my fault, you know, that I was the reason because if I don't, they already think that she's me. <clears throat> oh, there it is. Firefly. Thank you for the super chat, Firefly. He said, get trolled, bitch. Bish, I mean. Thank you for the super chat, Firefly. I appreciate that. Uh, I guess, yeah, maybe it was a point to lie me. And then, uh, you know, my aunt asked about the, um, her hand injury, and that's when I 
Firefly, I'm assuming that was supposed to be a joke, right? You weren't being serious with that? Like, you're just making the joke, like, that when someone gives somebody money, that they're, they're trolling him, which is, like, you're being sarcastic, am I right? Or was that, or were you being serious? <laughs> to lie to his family. Either way, CBS thank you for the $2. <laughs> shows the dynamic of their relationship, and, if true, how he potentially favored his wife. Bra's a fucking cuck. Bruh. Wow, like the one right next to you? You're fucking weird, dude. If over the well-being oh, it was of his own child, well, damn. in addition to the concerns about potential abuse, Tyler's family also well, thanks worried for the that money. Kelly wasn't being fed. <laughs> hey, Feel free to give more. His family has said that she wasn't eating enough or something like that. And I, I think that's another reason why they called. But why were they shit up? I don't know. Um, I don't know. I guess you should say that she was thin. But thin was an extreme understatement. What was the end result of them checking on you, checking out? Everything was fine. They closed the case. They closed, they closed the case because... She clearly wasn't being abused. You guys can't judge her before. DJ, oh my god. DJ said if Shani lost all of her teeth, she might get a job working at a truck stop glory hole, as you sure as hell wouldn't want to see her face. Hold on. Doing anything. Oh my god. Okay. So Firefly, you are you were kidding, right? Am I understanding that right? Yeah. So that's how that went. Stupid drama. Yeah. You know, two days. Yeah. Yeah. So he feels. Yeah. Firefly. Yeah. You know, you know, yeah. You know, you know, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, I think that with the with Firefly, I got the joke, but I get how it could have come across like that. And I think because of everything that's been going on, specifically everything that went down yesterday and last night, people are just kind of on edge about it. So I think Fire, you don't you didn't take it personal, Firefly, right? You knew it was just a misunderstanding. And I got got that it was just sarcastic. I think some people just weren't sure. Like I said, because of everything that's been going on, it's like, you know, we're kind of on edge and um, easily, they, it's easy to believe that it might be somebody that is trolling because they are doing that a lot. So, but I got you, Firefly. You were making fun of the trolls. <laughs> of text messages within the lead detective's narrative confirms this. He continues with details of physical abuse Callie would encounter at the hands of Avriana. She would use belts, she would use wind spoons, she would use brushes and comb, you know, she would just, she would not, you know, have yeah. stop you know, No, like, and I appreciate the protectiveness, like, I appreciate that. You guys, like, you have my back, and that means a lot to me. So, thank you for that. From the bottom of my heart. Oh, thank you, Array of Sunshine. She just enjoys hitting that baby. That's what it is. Yeah. She's just a wicked freaking witch of the West. She's a mommy dearest. Yeah. That's what she is. Mommy dearest. Starving her child. Starving her children. Starving her mm. child. Like, fuck this bitch, man. I don't like her at all. And that's she why we don't like you. She's just saying about that beautiful little girl. And that father just fucking is so cucked that he does this. This is like my mom. All the fucking awful shit she did to me. And my fucking dad fucking just stands back and lets it fucking happen. Really? That was my <laughs> really? fucking life. It's just that little fucking girl. Kind of like how you step back and let your boyfriend kick your kid in the head and did nothing. And your younger son was the one that had, or your older son was the one that had to call the cops on him because you did, man. This is triggering. Yeah. And CPS had to <laughs> make you take your kid some, to the emergency some feelings room. Feelings from me, man. Because you weren't going to do that either. Get the she's fuck out of here. I mean, I can't believe like she has the nerve to get on here and act like Please she's save. fucking pissed. Like, are you serious, dude? This is you and your boyfriend in a nutshell. Should have cut that fucking bitch to the curb. You can't always save her. That's a fucking threat to your child. Yeah. Look what happened to your child. <coughs> she was telling you her intentions the whole time. So is your man. You deserve to go to well, jail say for that. You were neglectful of your child. Oh. Then you deserve to go to jail right with Bullshit. her. You deserve to go to jail right severity. with her, Shanny. Tyler tells of one particular like, evening is this when bitch he crazy? Home from work and encountered what could only be described. She can't as a be this fucking like. Sight. Oh my god! And yet the question why is still left unanswered for now. Maverick is the alleged family dog that Tyler claimed Avery on. She put the baby in that fucking cage. No way. Mm -mm -mm. That's awful. Be for real. What? Hmm. That woman's Sharmuta. She's wild. Bitch. Just evil, yeah. The spirit of Lilith. 
What? Mouse. Now you're just gonna go weird with it. Spirit of Lilitu. That's what you are. Jezebel spirit. Yeah. Disgusting. Crazy. And How what are you? How you do that to a child? Got a wanted. Then left his care solely Jenny. up to Tyler. He was Jenny. Kept are you forgetting what the fuck your apartment looked like when you moved from Colorado to Pennsylvania? Are you forgetting what, what we saw? Wait, your kid's room? What they were living in? She would handcuff them? No way. No way. That's insane. Wow. Wow is right. No way the father didn't know about this. Do I do I need to no, pull up the he video? Had to. Let me you know, let me pull up this so is I can bullshit, show you guys what yo. what her uh what what her kids were living in. Give me one Who's second. On since Tyler had allegedly told Adriana not to use her hands or objects as punishment toward Callie. Yeah, you know, for the first time I was getting her out of the cage, you know. Uh, but she goes, she's not crying. She's not crying and she's not, she's not hurt, she's not bruised, right? What the hell is she doing in this cage, you know? And around the fact that, you know, she pushed me and she pushed her right on me. She pushed me right on me. Tyler appears to be hiding his eyes, which could be an indication of deception. Dude! Why didn't you call the police when that fucking shit happened? Yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh my god, I hate this mother so bad, this stepmom. She's rough. She is so stinking, blinking evil. Fucking handcuffs? Yeah, dude. Like, that's insane. That's messed up shit, dude. Nah, man. This bitch needs to go fucking down, dude. Yeah. This bitch needs to go fucking down. I agree. Deception. Or it may be that Just he doesn't like want to see the detective's reaction to what he is divulging. His claims concerning Avriana's behavior suggest she is unstable and impulsive. This may indicate the presence of a personality disorder, as this extreme behavior suggests that Avriana lacks empathy and remorse, and has a poor moral conscience. Ultimately, we see that the abusive behavior continues to head in a tragic direction. The detectives return to a troubling issue, which they glossed over previously. Callie's unknown whereabouts. They didn't say anything, but I'm sure it's like some kind of anti-social, anti or narcissistic personality disorder. Or borderline personality disorder? Could it be that? Yeah. Here. I don't know if Here there's a go. JCS on this. Here we're gonna go. Let's see. The system failed them too. Yeah, there's that too. So messed up, dudes. She would stay with his mom, you know, and stuff like that. Contrary to Okay, just so we know, let's let's look at how Shani's uh house where her children were, what it looked like. Let's let's take a little peek at this real quick. <clears throat> this is one of the children's bathrooms. Oh, look, this is the litter box. This is the litter box that the cats that they supposedly love so much. This is how they're taking care of those cats. And look, this is the bed that one of the kids were sleeping in. This is the older child's bedroom. Just look at that. I mean, you're telling me that she's all been out of shape because of what 
they just showed when she was letting her own children live like this. Look at that. That is filth. Just disgusting filth that they had these kids living in. Like, that shit had never been washed. Oh, look, this is the bathroom. Oh, now they're going to show that stuff. I didn't want to see that. I wanted to show the rooms. Hold on one second, guys. Let me pull up a different one that has... <clears throat> Okay, here we go. Let's start here. Let's do this one instead. Look. Just look. This is this is the kitchen, and then they're about to show the boys' rooms again. Look. This is one of the son's rooms right here. That's where her son was sleeping. Look. Does it look that much different than what we were just seeing in that video? Because to me, it doesn't look diff much different at all. Just filth, shit everywhere, trash everywhere. The bathroom where the cat litter box, and this is one of the son's bathrooms, not Shani and Reb's bathroom. No, one of the sons, the older son, who apparently they were leaving in charge of cleaning this litter box, which wasn't being done ever. You know how long it would take for the litter box to look like that? A long time. They had to have not cleaned that for a long time. All right, now we're going to go up to the other child's bedroom. Or actually, this is Shani and Rev's bedroom, which they were living in filth and squalor too, but it wasn't quite as bad as what the kids were in. <clears throat> Look at Shani's side of the bed, it's so much dirtier than Rev's. Their bathroom, just shit everywhere. They were cooking food and shit up there too, which is disgusting. Look at all this trash everywhere. Now this is the, uh, oh, this is a closet, which is junk strode. And then um, here's the other kid's bedroom right here. This is the other child's bedroom. And just wait till you see this bathroom in this child's bedroom. Look at this. Just really take your take a minute and look at this. This is the bathroom. This is what she was letting her kid live in. This. And she's got the nerve to get on here and act like she's so shocked by some shit. Like, Shani, you're basically, you're basically doing the exact same thing. It's just so disgusting and wrong oh anyway back to this dumb bitch is that worth the coke it's possible that Avriana's admission is her way of trying to deflect responsibility or explain her neglect of their sons in Cali the detective leans in toward it <laughs> are you having withdrawal sy symptoms honey Probably. Are you, honey? <laughs> like God, I can't. You didn't care stand about up. that little girl. You getting high was more important than taking care of that little girl. <laughs> yeah, like, and so fuck being you. with your boyfriend was more important than taking care of your kids. I don't feel any sympathy for this woman. Abriana now. Uh, yeah, and I don't feel any for you knees. at all. This is done to show that he is engaged, and he wants to try to get her to mirror this open demeanor. Often, suspects will assume this position when they confess. Abriana fails to confess, but she does explain more about Cocaine's recent role in their lives. My relationship has been ch You know, and... Um, let's see. Is no one in her chat calling her out? Not really. Not really. Anybody that has called her out, she immediately blocks them, so... Most everybody I see in the chat right now is just kissing her ass, like usual. So what usually happens after you guys do that kind of stuff? Um, we talk. We talk. Everyone's okay, but we talk. What are you all talking about? Uh -huh. She makes 
makes a powerful statement when she reveals the dire condition of their relationship. The drug use, which she alleges has very recently become a regular habit, just adds more fuel to the already raging fire. However... I love that they wear best dad ever. That's called fronting. Hmm. Oh, yeah, you would know her, all about that. Blue all up in her hair like she has no kids or anything. What? Blue all up in her hair Trying like she has no young. kids? What? It's all about the freaking vids. It's all about the freaking vids, isn't it? Oh my god. Well, people like her, I swear to god. Anyway. Is that what you were doing when you dyed your hair blue, bitch? Where, was that you were running around like you didn't have your kids? Babies are are there to because of given blue to hair. You, my God, even if you're a step parent, they're giving you by God to share each other's love. Um, talk to your and boyfriend. You just take advantage of God's gift and throw it away like it's garbage. Are you fucking serious, Shani? Where are your kids right now? Where are your children? Oh, fuck off. I love my sons, and they love me, and they're not damaged in any way. Oh, bullshit, so they're not. fuck off. Bullshit, they're not. Gotta make everything so goddamn personal all the time. And so do you. Piece of shit. You're the one that gets on here and talks about all your personal shit. This is a common theme in relationships Child between Child abuser. Addicts. When they aren't using, they have nothing that connects them. Y'all want to hear what Tyler's was said? Is different. Hold on, There's... let me read the comment out. Never forget what your boys have gone through because of you. You don't have to admit it. The Lord knows, and so do you. So don't forget that while you react to this case. Woo! Woo hoo hoo! Firefly! That was good. Yeah. These aren't the only times that was Rihanna good. confesses her deepest, darkest, most horrifying secrets. In fact, she also makes a shockingly damning statement to the police. All my kids are small. I mean, all, all my kids are small. Uh, even her. All she, my kids. I mean, she's not fat. They see my four-year-old. He's not fat. Small kids. She, she, she's not fat. What does that have to do with anything? That's right, Jules. Check my wish list. Okay, Patrick. Here, baby. I don't know how to do that. Here we go again. You're getting married, Nathaniel? Oh my god, congratulations. That's awesome. After such a I'm so happy time, for you, Nathaniel. It's clear that Adriana knows much more than she's letting on. Just how much does she know? That's the million dollar question. But detectives are determined oh my to get god. to the heart of People it. Are so they soon sense airplane. that it's time to try a different Oh tactic. my god, I got this an air one is sure to throw Avery They got everything? Oh, are, are you hearing this? Stuff. Are you <laughs> hearing this? <laughs> oh my god. Did you just hear that? God bless you. I'm so blessed. <laughs> you really Thank are. you, Jesus. Jesus Somebody just good. bought them oh the god. air fryer so and the pots and pans. Guys. Oh my god. Yeah, you guys are My ready. my my heart ring light. Yeah. <laughs> I can have proper lighting. Yes. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> You're excited. Thank you so much. Thank you. Wow. Um Wow. I don't know why I deserve this so much, but thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, like, sincerely. Like, wow. It was all me. Oh, jeez. Oh, thank you, Patrick. God bless you.
Thank you. Oh, thank you, watermelon. These, this is the people that these motherfuckers are supporting. These are the people that these motherfuckers are giving money to. Be mad about this one, maybe, but I don't care. That was so sweet. And that was Thank Jules you. that said that. The hater's going to be mad about this that one. So Laugh sweet. out loud. Thank you. Oh. Yeah, you're really showing oh, her. Y'all are really trolling her good. I can't wait to have proper lighting. Yeah. <laughs> keep excited. I'm just going to keep doing true crime because I, I don't mind this so much. It's like right up my alley. <laughs> <laughs> but this girl. Oh my god. Me off. But thank you for that little like I sweet feel you, Sha. I thank feel you. you. Jesus I'm bless I'm, you. I'm oh about god. there myself. Honestly. I don't feel like I deserve it. Yeah, you do because you're gonna use it and you're gonna make you're gonna Yeah, I am. Yeah, I'm gonna use it for everything. You make good content. <laughs> she makes good content. Yes, absinthe. Wow. <clears throat> hey, keep on funding this bullshit. <laughs> you, you ain't hurting me by doing it. That's for I damn can't sure. Wait for them give, to give. Prove you want to give yeah. this bitch her your entire paycheck every month? Hey, more power. Yeah, to it does mean cooking streams. This is gonna be awesome. Guarantee, Guarantee you, she doesn't fucking I'm, like, do cooking I, streams. Thank you. She won't do cooking streams Thank you with so that much, shit. guys. You guys are just being just incredible right now. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, my God, baby. I know. Oh, I, this, no. It's unbelievable. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It's unbelievable. Do you like Huey Lewis in the news? Sometimes. Yeah, I do. <laughs> The power of love. <laughs> and just think, like, there's so oh, many, Oh, like, that's what he's doing. He's the power of love. There's so many, like, people that are out in the world that really, really need help. And it's like, you know, from military vets to children. I mean, we're talking about children in poverty, children dying of cancer. There are so many people in need in the world right now. And the fact that people would give money to these two over that really it's pathetic like it's pathetic and it's sad because it's like damn dude you what's your what's the point of this like who do you think you, you think this is trolling shanny this is trolling her you don't say that shit anymore because nobody's buying that nobody's buying that this isn't trolling her. She's trolling you. The air fryer. Are you fucking Definitely. stupid? You're giving Shani exactly what she wants. You. And it is having absolutely no effect on what's going on with her kids. So you can go ahead and fuck right off with that bullshit too. This isn't keeping her her kids from going back to her by buying her shit. Like, are, are you fucking serious? That's your argument? Come on. Oh, thank you, Billy, for the super chat. You said, I'm low-key ready for more cooking streams. She is a terrible reaction. I hope her simp trolls get her all the gear she needs. Right, Billy? Well, that's what's funny, though, is she'll get all this shit, and she won't do those cooking streams. Are you kidding? She's going to do what she's doing right now, sit on her ass all day, and 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 beg for money and food and Delta 8 and shit, and people will supply it, and she'll just stay there and sit there and do nothing. So. Just like. I am bad mom. Good for you guys. I am bad mom. At Thank you all. again, Billy, for the super chat. I'm very good mom. You see, I just pop them. When they come near me, I just pop. You know. What, you do that to like your kids? Like that gopher game. Pop. That's what you do to your kids? I'm a good mom because I know how to play gopher. Mm-hmm. Is that why you don't have custody of your kids, Shani? Fuck this bitch, man. Bro. 
Is that why you don't have custody? Love. Thank you, Patrick. Thank you. Yeah, Pat she'll show emotion with that. He's so sweet. Oh, <laughs> Melissa, it's enabling. It's way enabling. What was that? And everybody knows it. Like, everybody knows it. Did you get noisy because he moved a little? So double, keep like, doubling no, down, I you guys. Like, keep move. making yourself look worse and worse and no, worse. It's okay. If you think that that's trolling. I, move her. Yeah, I, know. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you because you're She's a fucking idiot. She's making noises. She thinks I'm going to move her. <laughs> oh, oh shit. She's like, I'm so happy here. I don't want to leave. She doesn't want to go. She's a drama queen. She always cries yeah. every time you move her. I know. She like, does. no. You know what? Like, I'm. I was just thinking about it and kind of had an idea that maybe like I should do. I could do like a some kind of fundraiser and try to raise money for like a really good charity or something. That would be. I think that would be a good thing to do. Like maybe. Um, you know, something to do with, like, giving back to um, military veterans or something something to help children, like, something like that. Like, that's what I would like to turn this into because I do. I really appreciate the um, donations and the things that you guys, the super chats and all that that you give. But I, you know, I don't need it. I'm doing this for fun, not to make money. And it would feel really good, like, when you see stuff, stuff like this over and over and people like this getting money and it's like, it kind of like starts to harden your heart. You know what I mean? And I think that maybe like the way to deal with that instead of just stewing and being mad is to turn it around and do something. What, what these people aren't doing, which is actually help people who need it. So maybe it will, maybe I'm going to set something like that up. Would you guys be interested in that if I did some kind of fundraiser like that and we could do something fun to, to raise some money for something for a good like, cause? I don't know. I that don't would know make me how... feel good. But Who anyway, knows? we'll we'll talk about that more later. I wanted my Coke. Holy shit. <laughs> I'll look into stuff a little Damn, bit. Damn, man. That's rough. It's Put a dress on the list. Okay. I will. You have a hearing against your landlord. You're very nervous. Nobody's pal. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. That's so stressful. Will do. That's true. There are people here in our community. You this know what? Here, That's man. a good idea too. Maybe, uh, you know, help some people that are right here with us right now that need help. Because there are a lot of people that do need help, genuinely need help, that are going and every day doing the best that they can to take care of their family and do well. And it's really hard still. So, yeah, I'll I'll let you guys know more. I'm going to definitely look into doing something like that. <clears throat> <laughs> that cocaine. And just spend like a week of where all I do is take raise money for a charity. I'll even do it. I'll put do it in a way where the funds are, you know, dealt with by a third party i'll make sure to, to show all of the receipts and to make sure everybody knows exactly where their money is going to and goes to and things like that so it'll take a little bit of planning to do all that part but i will definitely start looking into that son was born the previous october mm. six months earlier it seems those last several months were quite a whirlwind a that's new awesome baby in addition to two other small children to care for oh by single dad while, life See you later. A dark secret. Detectives are starting to make some headway. Ariana's story has suddenly changed. Oh, that's a good idea, Linda. Over the past few months, Kelly every every month a different cause. Like I could do like something like a week each month. That's nothing but like just raising money to give to good causes. Yeah, like I love that idea actually. Was she poisoning the child? Maybe. I can get food stuff from all around the world. It kicked me off. Yeah, that would be fun. All right, can you guys hear me now? Yeah. For some reason, it booted me oh off for God. a second. My babies. 
Um, she's such a what I was saying girl. though is Melissa that's a good idea to where the money doesn't even come into my hands it just goes directly to the charity no, or, I or the cause I, so that's I a good think idea she was poisoning the little girl yeah she was complaining of stomach pain and, and it's like there poisoning. you know it gets um slowly hard to like it can get depressing it's watching this shit day in and day out you know what I mean so like I think that doing something like that too yeah, kind of like I don't know. I think it would make everybody feel a little bit better. Turn something negative into something positive. That kind of yes. thinking. The fryer videos? Yeah. The deep fryer is so cool. It's so easy to make a good meal with a deep fryer. Oh, thank you, Linda. I tried. Good minds, great minds think alike. You know what I mean? The cat likes your scent. That's yeah, why Melissa, that's, that's a good you. point. That way there's no issue with anything. That's probably it. The baby girl. They love a Jason's. It's my baby. Thank you, guys. Watching what she ate. Tyler takes us to the month of April, just a few weeks before police were dispatched to Joe's storage unit, and gives his account you know, of Kelly's recent help. What's sad, too, though, is, like, this shit that's being bought for them. Watch. In a couple of months, whenever you, you know, whenever they have to get out from living with the uncle or whatever might happen, um, they'll just leave all that shit there. You know what I'm saying? It'll just be like all the rest of the shit that they ever get in their life they don't they don't care about it because they don't have to work for it if you don't have to do anything and actually work to earn money you don't appreciate what's what's bought with it you you don't have any um you know it doesn't mean anything to you so it'll be just like the last air fryer it'll be they'll leave it they won't have it they'll they'll ruin it they'll do whatever and uh It'll be basically like flushing money down the toilet, like it always is. <clears throat> Can you react to the video? I want you to. Oh, Lord. I will. Just send it in my DMs. I don't know if Munchausen or if she's trying to poison her to death with no evidence at the end, so no trace. Are you going to do cooking streams now? Probably, yes. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Whatever. Why not? It'll be fun. It's for her health. I'm doing so good. Did I need to be the reason for her health? I guess so. The detectives are now establishing and getting on record. Aww, thank you, Toe Tapper. Caring is sharing. Thank you so much for the super chat. And I like that. That's a sweet thing to say. Thank you. No home remedy that so could much. save Callie. The detectives apply more pressure as they confront Avriana. They've grown tired of going around in circles with her. So, an important question, too, like we've asked in the last, you know, we're going to ask you, where is your daughter? Oh, Radiant Shadow, you're in Tennessee too? No, awesome. <laughs> Try not. You guys better be doing cooking videos because <laughs> I'm going to be reviewing them and using the Super Chat money to, <laughs> to fund my next cruise with Mrs. Drag. All right, Drag. Understandable. No, I know that's why they brought, bought that stuff. They want to know how to cook. <laughs> Where do you DM me? Um, oh, you my God. My... I can't. Yeah. Thank you. Like, this is literally cracking me up at this point. You'll put it in the chat. For what? Where? What? Um, my Instagram. Oh, okay, Radiant Shadow. I got you. Oh, shit. One minute. I'll do it real quick. Yeah, like, Lowe's Cal Productions. It's pretty crazy. Wait, I'll do it real quick. I'll do it it's real quick. It's pretty cray cray.
Right, nobody's pal? I feel you. I I'm feel good with you. The stuff. Good night, Marco. Thank you for coming by. See you next time. You can contact me here. No joke, I got nutritional. Paul said, "Fine again, That's cunt's awesome. gonna cunt." <laughs> oh, so true, so true. You are Misty. All right. Awesome. You guys are so sweet. Thank you. After oh, react true, to the Whitney. video. True, Whitney. They won't be able to do their cooking streams right. unless they donate more money to buy them food. <laughs> so that'll that be the tomorrow. next thing. And Carrie Gold. Yes. Carrie Gold. I gotta... I gotta... I need to find my notepad. Let's go. I have my pen, but I need to find my notepad. And I need to write down, like, recipes and stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, awesome. Is Simply Carrie tweet? Gold Butter worth it? Completely. 100% it's worth it. Everyone who has tried Carrie Gold had said thank you for telling me about this. She, she got no a heating pad and way. she got some um, so, yes. private part cream. I'm not kidding That's you. That's all I use is Carrie Gold. Ever she got private part cream. I did the Bulletproof coffee every mo morning at one time. Yep. Oh, man. Now I need to get it in the grocery shopping. Yeah. Just try it first with, like, some toast. You won't regret it. Definitely. Or, or even what's even best is Italian bread. You don't toast it and you just put butter on it. Mm -hmm. Trust me. You won't regret it. It wasn't, uh, <laughs> Admiral, like it wasn't Vagisil, but it was something else. It was some kind of, like, so cream. cream. Yeah. It was underarm and private part we cream. We love some carry gold. Yeah. It was very weird. Watermelon. Do you like carry gold? She loves cream. You love cream? She loves cream. You're cream girls? Yeah. Loom cream. Is that how you You're say it? You're a cream girl? L-U-M-E cream. She's a pretty cream girl. She's like, oh, I love my cream. Mm -hmm. It's so delicious. Uh, a good girl. We know. What we're saying is that we know that you and Tyler both took that's her true, over to Pulse California. Defiance. So that's why I'm asking. If someone sent cat litter and cat food, it wouldn't be so bad. Exactly. TV footage. Yeah. Why don't you come back with your daughter? You come back with. You come back with, but you don't come back with her. Why? We see the detectives utilize us. Wow, this woman's really fucking stupid. She never thought of an excuse to give. I guess not. Yeah, like, she's not good like most you. Most people think of an excuse. She's she's just completely silent. Mm -hmm. You didn't even think it up, did you? Mm -mm. I agree, Dreaming Fool. I totally agree. Stacia says love to watermelons and gavins. Yeah. Watermelons. You're getting loves. You're getting loves, girls. Yeah. You're getting loves. Yes. Yes, I loves. Oh. Oh. We get the chins. Oh, you feel good. Yes. She's a good girl. She is. She's so pretty. I know. She loves that blanket. She does. Step of the retechnique known as positive confrontation here. 
when they confront a Rihanna Aww, with the fact that you. they know Callie didn't come back Jesus from California, bless you too. she averts her eyes and is silent. If she truly had nothing to do with Callie's disappearance, she likely would have adamantly denied it well, instead she of froze sitting up. in silence. As Avriana appears to be contemplating something, perhaps a confession, she poses the next question. You may talk to Tyler. Yes, yes. And my concern with Tyler would be if he, he is saying something that is putting it on, on you. That's my concern. So I don't want to get that what you're doing. I want to get your version and your side independently. The detectives finally make it known that her act isn't working. And like Avriana, they're also privy to some horrendous information. So what do you guys know? We know about the bags. We know about the barrel. We know about the storage unit. We know about the storage unit. We know about your trip. Okay. There's no going back at this point. It's out in the open now. Hi, Brad and Cowboy. That's true, Linda. That is true. Oh, awesome, Danielle. Tell Tatum I said hi. Man, she's acting. Yes, make, make her think he's putting it all on her so she tells the truth or starts making up a story. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Catch this woman. My sister, Sunshine. Like when he's when she goes to her husband, she's always like, "He said what, huh?" And and she's like getting more viciouser every time. Yeah, more viciouser. See, they see the narc in her. Yeah. <laughs> they see the narc in her. Mm. I don't like this woman at all. It's raining in Ontario? Not snowing? What is going on? It's 60 degrees here today. I know. It's 60. That's wild. Yep, it's building. She's not going to be able to t take much more or she just wants to sleep. That might be it. I'm crazy. Yeah, I am so the idea of revealing what happened to Callie seems to bring up real emotion, but it may just be that Avriana is only okay. concerned for herself and is aware that she's likely yeah. going to jail after this interview. The latter is the more likely explanation given her demeanor up to this point. It's also likely that she's thinking of her two biological children, as she knows she's at risk of not being able to see them again. Whatever the explanation may be, we'll finally hear two accounts of the recent events surrounding the death of Little Callie. Unspeakable details will be brought to light, but the lack of consensus between the stories will leave you reeling, wondering where the horrific truth actually lies. Really? Please be forewarned. The details you're about to hear are quite disturbing. That's gotta be really bad then. Oh no! Well, you got a trigger warning. What did that stupid bitch do? Oh, these parents are despicable. Okay, well, we got something else to watch really quick, guys. Let's uh, see what this is. This is on the Shanny for Life channel. And it was just posted. And it's titled, Carrie is a Lulz Cow. So let's watch it together, shall we? All right, chat. You guys ready for some carnage, Carrie style? That's right, Carrie. Your mommy bird has lured Jules. That's right, Jules tells all into my lair, and I shall unleash my unholy wrath upon her. We shall feast on Yoshi's bones tonight. Okay, shh, shh. here we go. Hey, Gary. Thanks for having me on. So what do you want to talk about? Shut your whore face! You talk too much, and you talk a lot of shit! What did you say to Shane, Jules? Is Shane in Shane's chat? You tarnished my sterling reputation, and now Shane is disrespecting me! 
and lying about me. I'm Terry. Do you know who I am? Do you want to mess with me, Jules? Are you sure you want to have this fight? Because I am not going to back down. And I take no prisoners. I run these YouTube streets. And if you think for one second you have the right to be smirked to me, Carrie, you got another thing coming, buckaroo. Why do I hear someone snoring? What? Why is this stunt doesn't sound anything like me? What the fuck? And I didn't literally said none of this shit to her, so okay, let's keep going. Is that snoring? No, Mr. Carey, wake up! Huh? W what are you talking about? Uh, oh are, god. Are fight oh some? wait, now they're gonna bring Michael into it too. Wow, great. Cool, cool. One again? Carey, is your husband trying to sleep while you're doing this? Shut your mouth, you fucking bitch! Don't you make me take up my Invisalign, the most advanced clear aligner system on the planet, and beat your- Invisalign? What? Invisalign? They think I have Invisalign? Okay. Weird. Fucking ass, bitch! Oh my god. Calm down. Why are you yelling? I'm not yelling. You're yelling. You're the lost cow. Not me! Let the guy sleep. Do you want to sleep? Are you on Jules' side or mine? What? Uh, I'm on your side, baby, but I'm sleepy. Please. I had a full day at work and I need to sleep. Please. Oh, I see. You're on Jules' side. Why are you, like, why are you telling me to calm down, Lucian? I'm not. I'm not not being calm. Like, what do you, why are people, like, oh my god. You've been talking to Jules about me? Oh my god. This kind of betrayal. I'm gonna have a panic attack. No, no, no. Wait, calm down. What's her name? Look here, Jennifer. Jules! Her name is Jules, damn it! That's right, Jules. Leave Carrie alone, you understand? Carrie is right on this, so you better apologize to Carrie. What? I am not apologizing to this angry, I'm so aware weirdo. Please, I'm so sleepy and tired. Please, Jules, please, end my suffering. What? Carrie, I am so sorry. You won. You 100% didn't make a complete ass of yourself. And you didn't show everyone you are just like the nose cows you cover. I won, right? I don't know what you want, Carrie, but <laughs> you sure want something. Are, are we good? Please, I, I have a long day tomorrow. That's right, Jules, you stupid bitch, fucking bitch, you dumb bitch. That's right, um, all the bitches. Okay, then. You have earned some sleep. Thank you, Carrie. Thank you, Jules. Are you talking to my husband behind my back, Jules? What? No. What is wrong with you? I'm not finished with you, Jules tells all. I'm hanging up by... Don't you hang up on me! What the fuck? That was so fucking cringe, dude. Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's the best that you got. And you gotta <clears throat> bring up that I have panic attacks, like, ooh, that's a that's a good look, because it's so cool to shame people for their mental health issues. Nice. Really cool. Hope that works out for you. Thank you. That's why I banned a certain person, because I said this several times, and I'm really tired of that person. Ugh. <clears throat> but you guys like i'm so boring <clears throat> i'm just a boring housewife with like nothing to do but apparently even though i'm that boring they can't stop talking about me or making videos about me or doing dumb shit about me so if i'm boring 
then what does that say about them? James Flores. Tyler then claimed that he attempted to leave the apartment to seek help from a neighbor. But Avriana blocked the door and prevented him from leaving. My heart is beating out of my chest, you know. And I'm just sorry. Mm-hmm. Well, that's the thing. Uh, <clears throat> God, my throat. That's the thing. Um, who said that? Kately. Um, that's the thing. The good thing about the internet and about all this is that the videos are out there. So if anybody wants to know exactly how I sounded when me and Jules had a conversation yesterday, they can pull that up and watch that. They can see how my husband and me sound on stream. They can do all that. Like, it's all out there. So I really like they're just making their self look stupid because it's not even remotely how it went down, how I sound. They're not like it's just not even a, it's not funny. You know what I mean? Like I'm all about like funny. Um, I can laugh at myself, but there was nothing funny in it. It was just pathetic. Um, Bunky's mom. Thank you so much for the super chat. You said, I have no words. I can't even believe they posted that mess, but you're getting more views than all of them put together. I guess they're getting desperate. Yeah. I don't know what the deal is. I don't know, honestly, but Hey, whatever. Keep, keep doubling down and doing all this shit. It's going to backfire. That's all I'm going to say. It's going to backfire and it's not going to be anything that I do. So just keep right on going with it. Go give Shanny some more money. Keep on trolling Shanny. Attended to their boys while he'd placed Callie in the bag. Silence Leds. Thank you for the super chat. You said had to drop in for another troll. Do you need anything from the store? I'll get you some stuff delivered for you if you can stand all this trolling. <laughs> Thank you, Silence Ledge. I appreciate that. Oh, initially, yeah. <laughs> the efforts to cover up Callie's death commenced immediately. They began by removing evidence from their home, including the rug where Callie yeah, lay yeah, during the alleged yeah. CPR yeah. and a sweater of yeah. Tyler's that he Oh, thank you, Bunky's mom, for the super chat. You said Sabella is right. Drag and all and all are behaving similarly to Steve McRae, so this is just going to get funnier. I don't know who Steve McRae is, so I need to be filled in. But if it's going to get funnier, I'm here for it. To make matters even worse. What do you mean, Lucien, that I'm going to yell at you? When have I ever yelled at you? ...to committing the crime of... How can you leave your baby and your toddler alone? You know, especially a toddler. Toddlers get into everything. I would think so. And a baby can technically smother themselves. I never left my babies alone. <laughs> Some idiot. <laughs> I only started left them alone when I knew they were responsible. Oh, Sister Sunshine. To be left alone. I do think that her son would be angry. Personally, I do. And I wonder that a lot. And she's even admitted yeah. that her sons watched this stuff. So 
Yeah. I can't. I can only imagine how they feel. Probably the garbage for two days. Oh my God, Autumn. I am so sorry. Holy shit. Oh. See, that's why you never leave a toddler alone. It could be so quick. Like, it's just a simple, like, turn of the back and they're into something. A toddler will keep you moving. Thank you, Billy, for the super chat. You said, great Scott joint was the only funny part of the Shanny for Life skit. Maybe they'll get better at doing you. Best to join in on the laugh since it's purely fictional. Yeah, so true. Thank you, Billy, for the super chat. I appreciate you. You took a you took a gift card worth hundred and fifty dollars and threw it away. Just gone. Yeah, Radiant Shadow. Um, there really isn't a history with her. She just doesn't like me. Um, once since ever since I started streaming. She doesn't like me. She's had shit to say about me. I don't know why, but that's just the way it is, I guess. Somebody, maybe ask her, because I don't know. <laughs> that's a good point. She has a story to tell him when he gets older. Yup. <laughs> My best friend's kid once threw away her phone. <gasps> oh, babies. They like to hear the sound of the knocking. <laughs> Sister Sunshine, I would always take Shani's mother advice. <laughs> Hell no. All you got was a gift card to Lawn House Horn Steakhouse. That's a good gift. Yeah, they that they got good food, man. Yeah, man. Lawn Horn Steakhouse is good. We know you love your steak, bro. Aw, yeah. some idiot. You're sweet. You're sweet. Yeah, firecracker shrimp they got. Especially when children learn they can flush things down the toilet. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Mighty. Look, marbles. I remember the one time in the habitat, Zach took the, his Batman. He had a Batman figure and he just put it in the sink and he let the sink run. And it was, it almost flooded the whole apartment. I, <laughs> you can't do that again, okay? Don't do that again. Oh, really? Uh, oh, really, Sabella? Well, that's not going to work out well bad. for him, is all I can say. I know, oh, right? Oh, my God. That could have been real bad. $60,000 worth of damage. <clears throat> You'll have a good story to remind them. Exactly. Radiant Shadow, are you on Discord or um, anywhere that I can find you? Because I could message you and we could talk more. Um about stuff just Sorry. let me know if you have if you have a discord or twitter or instagram so that way you can find me on there and we can chat more i worry i just let it go okay i'm not just let it go it's it's okay just let it go the sixteen thousand dollars let it go oh my god let it go yeah all right it didn't happen it didn't happen <laughs> I know. Sorry. I love you, babe. I know. Just kid shit. Fuck him. That's right. Hey, there's nothing fuck on em. your Amazon. Yeah, fuck yeah, them, girl. It got bought it. out. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I should probably take that down. Unpin it. Yeah, for now. How do I unpin this? Unpin right at the top. this message. Yeah. There we go. For now. Oh, thank you, and Radiant we'll, we'll Shadow. We'll get more stuff on it. Yeah, did I appreciate Zach that. Zach used his debit card, sixteen thousand yeah, dollars worth let's not. for an internet game. I really don't want to think about that. Did I see your DM? No, I didn't. One minute. Oh, I see. Yeah, that happened. That's what you want me to do? All right. And it was non-refundable. Do you get that? I called the car company and said this was not authorized. And they said, too bad. It's it's non-refundable because it was all in-game purchases. So I just awesome. have like awesome, Radiant. grand uh, debt. Shadow, no, thank you. I'll find to. you as soon as I'm off of here. <clears throat> 
So it's just out there. Yeah, join that. the Discord. Yeah. Anybody that isn't in our Discord, please rich, feel free. Sabella, Sabella just dropped the link in yeah, the chat. Yeah, dude, uh, I, I'll, I'll Come totally hang out with review us. it. It's a good time. <laughs> I'll just review it beforehand. I gotta, I gotta look at some parts, see if I have to cut out some things. Just make sure it's internet safe. You know, that was a hell of a time. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me, though. I thought that was lost. Thank you. Now that isn't how it works with with like in-game purchases, Celeste. You could just buy and oh, buy I and won't buy give up, Mama. Up too. Thank you. I appreciate that. So, cheering child rearing is fun. When I was potty training my daughter, she decided to poop outside. I ran to clean it up, but my daughter scooped it and ate it in a matter of seconds. Ah! Dogs are so gross. Awesome. Awesome, Radiant Shadow. Uh, she, even Watermelon was like, fuck that shit. Watermelon. She's like, that's gross. It's like, fuck dogs. I'm gone. <laughs> Did you hear her complain? <laughs> Man. Right, Red Feather. That pissed her off. Yeah, that pissed Watermelon off. <laughs> she was not into that shit. Like, I'm going over here. <laughs> Ooh, all my mirrors. No. A trivia yeah. bot? Well, watermelon says I need to do that. Rule, what is rule. a That's trivia pretty... bot? I didn't even know there was a trivia bot in Discord, but I am down for that. Ooh, I need to know more about that. The dog tried to eat diapers? Ew. Oh, my God. Oh, thank you, Kelly. That's rough. Oh, you've been dealing gross. with them longer than uh, as long as Dragon, longer than Jules. Be really wow, you've been here gross. for a while then. I'm just always gonna be cat, uh, uh, cut out to be a cat person. That's just it. Well, I was a dog person. I'm both. I just like both. Animals. Yeah, I like them both. <laughs> Some idiot. Oh my god. Thank god we don't have any infants. I I would hate to see a diaper being eaten by a dog. Oh god. I would vom. God. That's gross. I would vom and I could never look at the dog the same. Oh. Uh right, Mamo too. They just needed a vessel. They finally are I gonna get their vessel to dogs. cook I'm their not ramen too in. Picky. Yeah, I like both. <clears throat> oh, Sister yes, Sunshine, I think she's hundred percent. The yeah, cats exactly. are hundred percent taking dumps in the in the bathtub. <sighs> There's no way they're a affording a uh, cat litter. By disposing of the items in a dumpster. Yay, Joe! The war Glad you're there. In the days following Callie's death, Tyler asserts that the day after Callie <laughs> died, Ariana had devised. Uh, Shanny's greasy hair. She still hasn't washed me, folks. Absolutely diabolical. How long will it be? Yeah, babe, I know. A trivia bot. I've been telling Michael that he's going to have to make a Discord himself so he can be on there and join in the fun. But he hasn't done it yet. Maybe tonight we'll do that, babe. We'll get your setup so that way you're you are on there and we can figure out what's up with this trivia bot thing because that sounds fun to me. For sure. Tyler is rationalized. Then why didn't you call the police? Why didn't you? Shanny. Oh my god, you were so worried about your own self. Oh my god, dude. Shanny, you have no self-awareness whatsoever. Everything that she's saying, like, she could literally be talking about herself. I don't know, Autumn. Yeah, Hollow. Especially it was his own child. Who wouldn't call 911 for them? Yeah, exactly. Man. 
criticizing his behavior, but his claim about how he didn't feel that he or his sons were safe doesn't fit with going along with Avriana's plan to get rid of the child's remains. If you found that plan disturbing, you'll be appalled at Aww, Avriana's ideas awesome. that came next. Thank you guys. I just went up to now I'm at 2.63 thousand subs. Thank you guys so much to everybody who has subscribed. Truly, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. I appreciate you. You're awesome. And be watching out because we have some new stuff that's going to be coming up. Um, I'm going to be covering some different cows. And I'm going to be bringing some different people on with me to cover these cows. So I think you guys are going to like that. And maybe, maybe we need a change of pace. You know what I mean? Because Shani and Rev can get old real quick. Yeah, he even helped her put her in the bag. This is crazy. Right, Shani's greasy hair, Michael snoring. Yeah, and it's like, dude, <laughs> there's no, like, like uh, hiding that or whatever, like, I mean, if I was worried about it, I wouldn't bring it up on the stream when he does it. I would go in there and be like, babe, get up. You know what I mean? Like, I don't care. But that's the thing is like they're desperate. They're grasping at every little thing that they can because that's all that they got. So, but yeah, that was the only remotely funny part of the whole thing. Oh my God. That's how she's talking about his daughter. Call the police, dude. She's saving the grease for the this cooking stream. Insane. Oh my God, Floxy. Good point. They wanted the, her body to get hit by a train and just liquefy <laughs> or something. Like, what the fuck? She can wring out her hair Polarize in the skillet the to fry an egg. Oh, God. This was your child. Holy sh Jesus. Crushed. I, yeah, I guess so. Wow. Oh, really, Admiral? Man. <sighs> wow. That's messed up shit. I will, Patrick. We're going to do that tonight after I get off this. <laughs> you know, so that if you try anything, I'm going to be able to call the police and tell them that you have a body in your trunk. And back in the trunk, in the trunk bag. Back in the trunk bag. And then you keep the body and you go to work. She's telling me that that's her. I'm guessing that's her. We're going to have any leverage on you and not call the police. You're going to do that for peace. And have the opportunity to do so. Uh-oh, but Firefly, you got banned in her chat. Yeah, she's banned, she's banned the people left and right now. She's back to the old shanty. Callie's body remained in Tyler's vehicle for more than two weeks. Apparently, Avriana had poured carpet deodorizer over the receptacles that held her tiny body. She told you why she didn't. So that it wouldn't smell. Okay. Did that work? The sickening situation was taking its toll on Tyler. At least, that's his claim. She told me you're really like him. Yeah, and she said, no, you're not. You're going to get him in. So that I can get, so that you can get access. Right, Stacy. <clears throat> the fact that they talk about this innocent soul like it's just an object is gross. Putting the child in the trunk like used luggage. Yeah, I, I can't. Why does she need an air fryer when she has a hair fryer? How, how, how can you say you love your child and do that? <sighs> no way, no. Like, fuck this dude. He let all this stuff happen. You can get acid, that's the next thing? Mm -hmm. Tyler followed through yeah, that's so true. It's all Izzy. 
is what yeah, she's it's saying. ironic that they're talking about a parent not calling 911, and yet there she sits. Didn't call 911 either. Of course, she needed Rev to take the blame in time to get the story straight, too. You got a point. You got a point, Izzy. Oh, I know, I know that found in a storage facility autumn because people were smelling something they put her in a blue barrel in a storage facility and left her there I, I just had a strong belief that he would Tyler's story continues along the same illogical path it's been traveling down the detective asks why Tyler went back to Sacramento on the day after Callie's remains were located in Joe's unit. Okay, but what's your, what's your reason for going down there on the day you got to see, okay, wait. Okay, now, oh, thank you, thank you, Radiant Shadow. Thank you for that, Radiant Shadow. I appreciate yeah. you. Um, the great problems that I'm leaving, right, the suspicions I'm raising, his daughter's worried, right? She's there, so she's wondering what the hell's going on. So, I knew that he would look. I just knew he would look. So you were counting on being caught that day, yeah? Tyler portrays himself to be a victim of the situation, but it's clear that he was deeply involved. After all, starvation doesn't occur overnight. In fact, the CPS investigation confirms that there were concerns about Callie having been malnourished years before she died. Evidence is clearly suggesting that this was no accident or illness, but rather a calculated plan. In addition to information detectives obtained from the CPS report and the interrogations, two compelling accounts from witnesses emerged. Both revealed the horrifying true story about Bye, what actually Heather. happened to Callie. It's Have a good day or a good hungry. afternoon. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm so happy the boys are safe now. Oh my god. Where they are. They can eat and have full bellies. Yeah, they weren't eating enough with you, were they? Are you admitting that now, Shani? They weren't eating enough, were they? See, she just said it. No, I don't care if I have to work till the day I die. I will make sure those boys eat for the rest of their life. How would I get rid of a body? I wouldn't. Period. I'm not like that. Oh, they're so good and so happy. I love them so much. I'm just happy they're living their life the way they want to right now. Instead of being like so... Callie. <sighs> worried about shit. Yeah, worried about shit. Yeah. yeah. Worried about shit. Yeah. Behind the closed doors of Avriana and Tyler's apartment. It all began. And when Jayla, an old friend of Avriana's, traveled to Reno for a visit in early December of 2017. So Avriana would get with Jayla and start to drink and they call me in the middle of the night, not in the middle of the night, like 11 p.m., 12 maybe, to come pick them up, take them back home. Jayla sleeps in the living room and then Avriana and me are in the bedroom. <clears throat> Um, Lucian, you said we need to be allowed to follow who we follow and decide to hang with who we hang with and then be responsible for those choices. We'll become influenced by others. That's when it all becomes unclear. I'm not exactly sure what you mean, but I've never told anyone who they can and can't hang out with or who they can follow or that they need to follow me and not somebody else. Like, you're free to follow and, and um, hang out with whoever you want. Like, I would never try to control that or tell you who you can and cannot 
um, be around, follow, hang out with. So just making that clear. Well, thank you, Lucian. I'm glad that you um, like my channel or whatever. And uh, you said you just have this feeling about just liking her, understanding where she comes on from. Well, I appreciate that. <laughs> Tyler's claims that they kept their dog caged within the bathroom and that it was never seen or heard by a house guest isn't plausible. The detective digs deeper into the issue of Callie's whereabouts <laughs> during Jayla's visit. For the time that you were at the apartment, Tyler, did you like out of the room? I was sleeping at all hours of the day. When I was there, but Jayla stayed the night, right? Yeah, she left in the morning. Okay. It was roughly one month after Callie's body was found that Jayla spoke with the detective. Her story was chilling. Jayla stayed at the apartment for only one night, but it was more than ample time to observe that things were terribly wrong. Of the apartment's two bathrooms, she was only permitted to enter the one located in the master bedroom. The other bathroom was strictly off limits as Tyler and Avriana were housing their vicious dog, Maverick, within the confines of its walls. At least, that's the excuse Tyler and Avriana had concocted, according to Jayla. It's interesting to know that this completely conflicts with Avriana's previous statement, that Maverick is the sweetest little boy oh. and great with children. Jayla never saw the dog, nor heard noises from him while there. There you go. She also never saw Callie but did see Tyler and Avriana's little boys, whom Avriana doted on. Jayla attested to the fact that Avriana harbored hatred toward Leoni due to the pure and simple fact that she had given birth to Callie. Tyler having gained custody of Callie wasn't enough. In her efforts to deprive Leoni of merely watching her little girl grow up from a distance, Avriana forbade any posting of pictures and videos of Callie on social media. This behavior Jayla describes is definitely consistent with the idea that perpetrators of domestic violence often show very jealous and possessive behaviors, evidenced by her feelings toward Leoni. Jayla's short visit, the two also met up with Tyrese, an acquaintance who had attended high school with both women. The detective caught up with them several months later in January of 2019. And boy, did he have a scandalous story to tell. He told officers that he and Avriana allegedly engaged in an affair from December of 2017 through February of 2018. Tyrese estimated that they had secretly met more than 20 times at Avriana and Tyler's apartment. Wow. Part of his story mirrored Jayla's. He, too, was forbidden from entering the main bathroom. Avriana's excuse at this time was that it was dirty and messy. Unlike many of her other statements, this particular one held some truth mm -hmm. based on the condition of the apartment when the detectives arrived to speak with Avriana. Tyree stated that he witnessed the two little boys in the apartment during his visits. However, he never saw so much as a trace of Callie. According to Avriana, she was at Grandma's house. Of course, we know this to be a lie. Evidently, Tyree had been following the what the media's reporting on the case at one point during his interview tyrese broke down stating she did that that is so wrong the did that for so long she would not let me in that room with these two witness accounts in mind there is a strong possibility that avriana and tyler kept callie imprisoned within the main bathroom maybe oh they sedated her with medication so she wouldn't cry and couldn't be heard by jailer or tyrese it's also a possibility that Callie was so sick due to being chronically malnourished that she wasn't physically able to yell or cry. And Avriana and Tyler didn't want anyone to bear witness to her alarming physical condition. In addition to neglect, Callie's subjection to cruel, relentless abuse was, sadly, the only life she ever knew. Shortly after Callie's death, Tyler reveals that he and Avriana used cocaine, during which he alleged Avriana revealed her deepest, darkest secrets. 
and the truth about Callie's death. Why would you do that? Would you guys like another palate cleanser? Since this is kind of dragging on a little bit. gut-wrenching account of um, emotional and verbal abuse would be ex this one this it's this one i'm gonna play because it's fucking hilarious the sound is a little bit crispy and weird um but that's not because of uh please notice me but because of shanny and rev themselves the way that they uh recorded they were having some kind of mic issue or whatever but it's still funny as hell so let's watch it real quick we're gonna get really nuts folks and we're gonna we're gonna put we're gonna put a friggin' SD card chip reader in an SNES cartridge, and then boom, you get the EverDrive. And there's every SNES game ever made on here, plus hacks, plus fan games, plus which is called a homebrew, plus 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 plus. plus. <laughs> it's like in Mario when you get the when you get the mushroom, it goes da da la 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 la. And you power it up. You get yourself one of these. It's an SNES. <laughs> Fuck. It's an SNES. EverDrive. You have to look into it, but it costs a lot of money if you're going to get it with the SD card. They're going to say sell it. Uh, every place I go now, they no longer sell <laughs> Oh, God. You okay, dear? Yeah! Yeah! Sorry. But it's amazing, okay? Mm -hmm. That little SD card goes right to the top of this bitch. It's insane, see? See? And then you got a, you got a USB plug there, too. Or that might be mini SD, mini HDMI, but I don't think so. Like, right? And, and then you got a reset button in there. But it's got the cartridge, so that's the cartridge, right, for an SNES. Every drive, you get one. It, they're expensive, though, with the, if you can find the SD card, which is probably going to be close to $400 for that. But it's worth it if you love old games. <laughs> Ooh, sounds good, Radiant Shadow. I'm going to have that window up. Yes, sir. Yeah, baby. I did it. Oh my god, this is happy times. Oh my god. Oh, love you too, Billy Kay. See, this is an amazing stream, and people will like playing and I on a get jobs see what happened i don't need to listen to that i'm just ignoring it the makeup you look amazing <laughs> if you're <re> -re. <laughs> <laughs> oh god it's so good it's so good all right
Let's see. I'll do a couple more because there's some short ones on here that we can play really quick. And then, of course, I'm going to play my favorite of all last. But let's see. Here's a good one. This one. Prepare your eyes, okay? Prepare for your what you're about to see. Rev and Shanny, number six, six, six. <laughs> Just like that. Why do you want to bring both? That's up to you. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh god no don't do it rev later bitches we play the game always because it to be You gotta love it. You gotta love it. All right, let's see. One more. One more. Then we'll go back and check back in with the Shanster. Um, where is it? Here. This is my all-time favorite. I know you guys, so most of you have heard it before and heard it a lot. But for anybody who hasn't, you're going to like this. This is a good one. This is my favorite on Please Notice Me's channel. Sitting in the house that I grew up in With a big old horse with some big old hooves That won't get the fuck out of my bed She's me, hair is blue She just wants to fuck with you She wants your money and she wants your cash And she don't want her kids cause she gave them away She made me cut my hair And shave off my eyebrows And that is what I get for living with a lost cow I'm the Reverend Judas Individual. I ain't here to see who we draw. I couldn't rhyme anything with individual because I can't think the same thought for 30 seconds. I'm Rev. I'm Rev and I'm driving a car. I'm getting some gas and I'm buying some vapes and I'm gonna drink coffee all motherfucking day. I'm Rev. The Judas Individual. I ain't got shit to do. I just sit around. Making shit up and waiting for aliens with you. Get on my YouTube, watch all my videos, send Fancy me money, have my PayPal. I don't want to get a job, and if, if I, I got, got a job, job I will freak everybody, everybody out. out. And you know it, I know it, they know it. The ghost of my motherfucking mother even knows it. That bitch is haunting the cat. <laughs> it never gets old, dude. Ever. Bye, Kelly. Have a good night, Kelly. Sweet dreams. Everything hurts. I'm gonna pass out. I'm gonna pass out. I was out. supposed to drink too. Oh. I need help. Yeah, that one is my favorite for show. All right, let's see what this bitch is doing. Oh, let me draw. No I'm going to drop fine. the link in the chat you, you for sure? Please Notice Me's channel. Um, if you guys have not subscribed, go over there and subscribe. Give her some love. And, um, yeah, because she's got some great stuff over there. So definitely go check that out. And it, it's more than just Shani and Rev. There's Vaughn. There's Cyrex. There's a few different cows over there that she covers so question he's been building I bet up they were him. eating though
whole catastrophe is finally confirmed. And it's consistent with information Jayla also provided. Avriana harbored a pure hatred for little Callie. It had manifested from the unwarranted contempt she'd always harbored toward Leoni, and it was revealed in the abuse she inflicted on her daughter. As the interview was nearing a close, the detective confronts Tyler. So you didn't like the ex, so you took it out on the little girl? Fuck that bitch, man. Give her the death penalty. Wow. Mm. She don't deserve to live. And she don't deserve to. <laughs> she don't. She doesn't deserve to even grieve that child. Your daughter's cracking up, Sky Woman. That baby. I think you sympathize. Yeah, I do. All right, Vera. We'll be watching. Exactly, Stacy. on what was arguably the most disturbing aspect of Callie's condition when her body was discovered. As you can recall, the responding officers at the scene of the storage facility referred to Callie as an infant at times. Yo, buddy. That's how small she was. They thought she was an infant. That's sad. They're, the child wasn't being fed enough. You know all about that, Shani. Yeah, Katie, they're still going. Yeah, Petty Patty. She does that a lot. Now that they got everything they wanted, there's no point in, like, paying attention to the chat. You know what I mean? She's gotten the food. She's gotten her oh, Amazon shit. wish list, smokes, Delta A. Why should she... Interact with the chat. Oh my god, they don't even know. Oh yeah, wearing a, like, looks like jammies or something like that. Horrifyingly oh, she wasn't a skeleton. A mere 16 pounds. I don't know, Vera. She's ignoring everybody right now. You remember when I told you that William was almost a 10-pound baby? That's six pounds more. That was a toddler, dudes. Dudes. That was a toddler. These people are disgusting. According to the medical examiner, clearly she was the size of an infant at just a few months shy of her sixth birthday. She died an excruciating death of starvation that was a long, drawn-out process. It's likely the misery spanned three agonizing years. With this revelation, Avriana's interview isn't ending in the way she'd hoped, as you'll see. This is the deal. There's still an ongoing investigation, all right? We as detectives have to do our due diligence for the sake of this entire case. For the sake of, okay? There's still some things that we need to wait on for the autopsy and things of that nature. But at this moment in time, right now, we're going to go ahead and book you out of our county jail, okay? For child neglect. For child neglect, okay? That's going to be your charge. All right? Good. Oh. 
of shit. I have to admit. I don't deserve to go to jail for this. Oh, fuck off. Skywoman, yes. Someone bought the entire thing. Fuck off. You held that baby in a cage and starved her to death. Yeah. Shanny, you better watch judging other people what they do to kids because you're right there with them. Ugh. Dangerously close. Dangerously thin line between you and that. It's scary to think she's only crying for her punishment. No remorse on her crime. No. I don't deserve this. Ugh. Oh, thank you, Gabby, for that. Adriana I appreciate that. is just that. now realizing that she will face punishment for what she has done. Oh, what did I do to deserve this? What did I do, but everything you asked me to? Because you're Not a bitch. Not once in all the hours of interrogation did Avriana show this kind of remorse for Callie. This emotion is only for herself. In the end, there was a small semblance of justice for the little girl whose life had only consisted of suffering. Yeah. Tyler eventually gave up on his claims of ignorance and reverted back to his original story. He pleaded guilty to second degree murder. Oh, that would be, if that is the truth, Christina, that would be hilarious, but I'm pretty sure that it's not the case that they actually did buy it, so. Divorce in August of 2019. But that would be funny. I would laugh my outcome. ass off. She stood trial in late July of 2021 after a judge rejected her proposed plea agreement. On August 5th, she was convicted of first degree murder and was sentenced to life in prison. Oh, I love you too, Gabby. With the possibility of parole. Uh, I hope she doesn't years. get it. Yeah. Well. That woman should suffer for eternity what she did to that baby. Yeah, it's <sighs> um, Lulz Cal, I'm not sure that's how it went down, actually, though. Because if you were you here when it happened, oh, because I think you might be confused about a couple of things. Can you can you yeah. hold the chat? Yeah. I'm sorry, guys. I don't think I peed through this whole street. Yeah, I don't think you did either. <clears throat> That's impressive. Yeah, I know. Wow. Yeah, that is one big woman. Pretty big. Yeah. So that was a horrific story. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? What's up? Did it hit home for you at all? We might Rev? be going after this. I'm not sure. It was a very sad story. And, and you know, I made my mistake, you know, but I have definitely learned. I learned from my mistake that you don't do violence to children ever, you know? Really? <laughs> What's You're funny about that? Drag. No, I try to be a good boy drag. You know. Stay away from that shit. <coughs> this was a really... It was a rough one to watch. Very, very low... It's like low vibrations shit. <laughs> Yeah, it, absolutely. That's that's right, Stacy. Yeah. I don't know. That's up to the girl. I don't know. Are we are we still are we keeping going? I don't know. Do you want to? I don't care. It's up to you. It's your stream. If you want to, I can. I, it's, I guess it's up to the audience at that point. Oh, God. Oh, should I keep going? Bro. Oh. Ugh. 
Uh, yeah, go for the gold. Dun 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 Yeah, this is someone who can't work. Are you gonna but, join me too, my love? But yeah, they can stream yeah, all day and all night. Can't get a job, all though. Right, we need a palate cleanser. Can't take oh. care of her kids. So I chose this. Because I figured this be a good palate cleanser. Kind of calm down those emotions. And that's can oatmeal be used yeah, as a Katie, glue? Yeah, she was. She was Frankly, up I don't around. know. I've never seen this. Single dad life. You're back. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it works to have decent from what I remember. Like, Who? You would think oatmeal would be good as a glue. I mean, it sticks to your bowl pretty oh, good. Oh, Sam. I don't, see, I don't even know him. Well, guess what? It's another glue video. So, I've used. What's up, my ass is dragging? a lot of different things as glue. I've used. Come on. Rut row. The internet is. Oh my god. I've used glue. I've used different candies as glue. Can you stop messing up for a minute? <laughs> I've used Jolly Ranchers as glue. And I feel like there's something else I'm missing. I feel like I'm trying to use something else as glue. But anyway, in today's video, we're going to try to use oatmeal as glue. Anyone that eats oatmeal knows that whenever, while you're eating oatmeal, say if you don't finish all of it and you just leave it in the bowl and it sits there for a few hours, all right, Dream and it Pearl. dries super hard like concrete. And then you have to get See like, you next time. Thanks for hanging like, out. Basically chip it out of the bowl so that you can wash the bowl. So I feel like oatmeal could make a very good glue. So we're gonna put it through all of the standard tests. We got the wood blocks, we got the bricks, and then we have the two by fours. Just like all the other videos, the bricks and the two by fours, I'll glue them together, or I'll put oatmeal between them and push them together, end to end, and then I'll put them on the blocks, put oatmeal in the middle until okay. they break, and then for the blocks, I'll put the oatmeal in the oh. middle, Push these together, and then we'll hook the crane scale up, and we'll pull them apart and see how much they hold. So let's make a smoothie. Yay. These packets out. You need a bowl. And if you didn't see, this is the apples and cinnamon oatmeal, just because that's what I had. To my audience, to the chat. Hi, kiddos. What's your favorite oatmeal flavor? Mm. I don't like oatmeal. I think mine is the old-fashioned strawberries and cream. Mm. What's your favorite oatmeal mm. flavor? I'd like to know. I don't really like oatmeal at all. Mm. I'd rather have grits, personally. <laughs> maple brown sugar. Yeah, someone said brown sugar or maple, yeah. That's my favorite. Maple brown sugar, peaches yes. and cream. We got another maple brown sugar. Two people hate oatmeal, I see. <laughs> <laughs> I love the oatmeals. And I know that this stuff dries like concrete. So we'll put one packet in here. Then we need two thirds. Yeah, of Sabella, water. I think that's the case too. Like is Will is probably the reason. Show. Well, I think right. most people know how to make water. fucking oatmeal. Which got put in the microwave. And just like that, two minutes later, we have a piping hot oatmeal. I don't know if this is going to be enough. I might have to do another batch. Oh. I'll start putting this on our blocks. All right. Ugh, that just looks gross. I wonder if it's going to work. I hope it's probably going to work. Yeah, Man, his his fingernails look like candy. Man, I can taste that right now. Ew, that looks awful. Oh, I love oatmeal. Yes, his name is Tyler too. Yes, he is the same guy who had the the freeze dried candy. I love how we're watching oatmeal being put on a wooden block with you. It's better than the drama. Mm. 
<laughs> mm, some people would beg to he differ. He puts it on bricks, too. Ah. What do you guys think? Do you think this is going to work? And be able to be used like glue? Because oh. I'm not sure. Ew. Now you're wondering what else could be glue? Uh, the oatmeal and everything. I have it. I have it on everything. I just said that. Wood blocks and the 2x4s obviously are going to be clamped. And then the bricks, I just have them, you know, just sitting on top of each other because they're heavy. So that should be all right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... It looks like a science experiment a kid could would do at home. That would be a good science experiment you could do with your kid at home, actually. Be, because it'd be like, can you make oatmeal? Can you make glue out of oatmeal? Let's go see, you know. But you know the secret, and he doesn't. So it'd be like, a, wow! Thank you, Autumn, for the hundred bits. These bum, dry bum, for a full bum. seven days. Another one by we'll dust. And we'll come back and we'll put them through all the tests. All right, guys. While we're waiting for that, really, oh, Sky Woman. I'm give you a short yeah, I'm a great girl. We'll be reviewing this pillow. As you can see, this is a wedge pillow. Yeah. This pillow is advertised on Amazon as a soft memory foam pillow. So, I needed the pillow. Oh, really? A hundred bits is one dollar? This came up. Wow. This is what I bought. This pillow is not a soft memory foam pillow. As you can tell... It's hard. This pillow is hard. This is not something you want to sleep on. You would be better off sleeping on a stack of two by fours than you would be sleeping on this pillow. If someone broke into your house in the middle of the night, you could probably... You know, I'm getting awfully suspicious what he's going to do with that pillow and that mannequin. Uh-oh. He did make the mannequin stare at him. <laughs> it's like, dude, I know what you're about to do. You even got me here naked. Couldn't even put some clothes on me, you son of a bitch. He's about to do something incredibly awful to this mannequin. I can tell. We're gonna find out. Ooh, Please Nina, cinnamon toast pillow. crunches the and shit. Love me some cinnamon. Whoa! <laughs> you see, this is These one by one squares. Let's get the crane scale and the weight set up and start testing them. But before that, I want you to leave a comment down below. How much? Oh, Melissa, you, you think, think <laughs> you bet that Jason's thinking pounds. about his torso oh, doll? Probably. Right, Probably. Let's see how much they can hold. It's 30 pounds. I say 30 pounds. Wait, wait, wait. What do you, how much do you think oatmeal, how many pounds that oatmeal will have? I say 30 pounds. I say 10 pounds. Yeah. You say 10 pounds. Yeah. Well, we got anything I'll say higher? Anyone willing to do higher than 30 pounds? I say 15 pounds. Which one? 45, Celeste? 50? 5. Ah, 617 said 5 pounds. Yeah. I'm going with 12 15. 12 pounds. Dragnaut says 12. Is it attached to a brick? No, it's attached to wood pieces. We'll, we'll find out. Alright, now let's see how much they can hold. Oh! Well, that was little. Uh, not that much. Still pretty impressive, though. 70 pounds?! That's insane. Wait. No! That was 70? How did... It didn't look like it took. No okay, oh, I'm confused. Oh, meal. Hey, that's insane. Can stick to something. It has a seventy. Wow. That's crazy. Wow. Seventy pounds. That's impressive. You, yeah, oatmeal can be glue. Yeah. Can be a pretty decent glue. 
Oh, that's so sweet, Sky Woman. We were all off. Pulse of Defiance, did she have the same reaction all when right, she stepped on All right, let's see the other scale? pieces. <laughs> uh, all right, now we're moving on to testing our 2x4s. Uh, and if you've been around here, you know how this works. In case you don't frequent the channel, how this test works is I just take these 2x4s, put them right here between these two center blocks. I'll put another 2x4 in the middle just to keep all of the force on the center. And then we're just going to have weights on top of it. So, <laughs> right, Melissa. If you eat a lot of oatmeal, you will be shitting a literal brick. Okay. So true. All right. Now, how much do we think it's gonna hold? Ten pounds. All right. With the bricks, I think. God, I'm gonna it's go right with, on the center. I'm gonna go with 150. Twenty pounds. No. I'm going high. 30 pounds? 40 pounds? This is nuts. Oh, uh -oh. you heard a crack? Oh, shit. 55. Oh! oh it's gone. Yep. 50, 55. That's when it broke. Damn. So the other one held, well, the wood pieces held more. Well, be the third experiment with the bricks, because as you can see, the bricks have fallen apart. So they well, weren't going to hold much Well, weight. I would think so anyway, because bricks are, like, more porous. Yeah. So it has more, like, weak points to it. I was thinking the brick would do but better. But that's insane that it can take that much weight, though. Yeah. It's just fucking oatmeal. Anyway, because they were just sitting like this on the table, and I just picked them up just to try to move them to another table, and they just completely fell apart. So even if I did get to test them, they probably would have only held, like... Two, three, four pounds probably. So, kind of sucks, but it is what it is. So, as far as our original question, can oatmeal be used as a glue? So we can't kinda, build our houses out it, of gruel. I'm sad. More than I expected. Lifting uh, 70 pounds with the little wood blocks and 50 to 55 pounds on the two by fours. That was definitely a lot more than I expected. <laughs> Somewhere I had higher hopes for it, just because. I know that whenever you eat it and you leave it in a bowl and it dries, it's, it dries so hard. Yeah. So I figured that it would, it would hold a little bit more, but I'm also not too surprised because it's oatmeal. It's, it's, it's not a glue. I had fun making this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Go ahead and leave a comment down below what you want to see me test. Well, it. now we know that oatmeal can be used as a glue. That's awesome. Now I got to find something. All right. Let's see. Maybe R look at some RCS. See what they've done. RCS. Yeah, man. RCS. Death Door, the soup man who dissolved 500 victims from cartels. What? Yeah. Oh my god. Throughout his decade with two cartels, El Fuzzolero, or the soup man, dissolved up to a thousand bodies in vats Do we need another palate cleanser, guys? Let me see if I can life. find something good. When he was good. finally arrested, a horrible stench filled his room. He told the police officers he was making seafood soup. Yeah. Ah, oh, Jesus. That was seafood soup. Really? So abstain from eating any that kind of soup as you watch this outrageous video. He never into the story food. of Santiago Meza, a.k.a. Mm. El Fuzzolero. Movies often show the glamorous side of cartels, the money, power, and status that only the top of the pyramid gets to live in. But behind the scenes, few things are as dark, brutal, and downright gruesome 
as cartels disposing of their enemies' bodies. Santiago Meza Lopez had a modest background. He was a poor farmer's boy and liked animals. In fact, it was his love of animals that brought him to the cartels. What? Had, and a desperate need for cash. Santiago started working with the Ariane Felix cartel in 1996. He tended to their horses and did their masonry work. It was honest work that simply paid better compared to anything he could do on his farm. But you know how cartels promise you endless riches for just a little bit of dirty work? That's always the hook. They could threaten or carry out a sketchy drug deal within months. You'll be rich. Sadly, Santiago fell into this trap. And before long, he was conducting narcotics deals for Ariano Felix. Ah, First, dude. he was their dealer. Then he was their drug office keeper. He was disciplined and dedicated, and Felix encouraged this by promoting him. As he surveilled the depots around Tijuana toward the end of the century, the Arellano cartel started a bloody war with the notorious Sinaloa cartel. Both cartels wanted control over the same trafficking routes into the U.S., but there's nothing simple about cartel fights. Constant attacks, kidnappings, and assassinations were terrorizing Mexico. Dissolving them that way is much quicker than, than something like lying in the ground. I guess so. So messed up. This is actually really good, like, uh, graphics and shit. <laughs> Watermelon. <laughs> 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 Such a drama queen. He's funny, you know. Tell Rev that someone is praying for him. I see darkness that some can't see. I see the pain. It bubbles and he likes me. He holds it in. Love you guys. Love you too, Poppy. Thank you. We can take all the prayers. It's insane how many lives get taken away with stupid drug wars. I know. That's why we need to just make it, like, fully legal so this stuff doesn't happen anymore. It's all it's all above underground now. It's out of the closet. I'll be right back, okay, guys? Give me one second. Oh, I missed a super chat? All right, hold on. Before I go, let me find that real quick. Thank like. you, Poppy. I apologize. Aw, Billy. Let me turn this down for a second. Someone else mentioned a torso, but Carrie, do you think Jason named his torso doll? Probably. Probably. <laughs> Knowing him, probably. Thank you so much for the super chat, Billy. All right, guys, I'll be right back. Got to run for just a second. I'll be right back, though. Let me turn this back up for you. In the late 1990s, the Ariano Felix brothers Ramon and Benjamin invited Santiago to a secluded spot. They asked him to do a little experiment with them. They handed him a leg of beef and asked him to toss the leg into a container. The vat was filled with caustic soda, also known as lye, mixed with water and some other chemicals. And they left ah. Santiago with the container and told him to watch over the beef while they took care of other business. A few hours later, Santiago would confirm their experiment worked out the way they had intended it to. The leg of beef was completely dissolved, only coloring the liquid inside to the container, a crimson red. It was gross, but it was nothing compared to what was about to happen. Six months later, the Ariano Felix brothers revealed to Santiago what the experiment was about. He was going to carry out their dirtiest work, dissolve their enemies into vats of lie. The brothers had asked for advice from foreign cartel members about disposing of corpses. They were in over their heads, quite literally, in war victims, and simply dumping them in shady spots wasn't Oh working. my god. The police were on the lookout for any cartel mistake, so they could arrest the Tijuana cartel bosses at the end of the war. Now, Ramon and Benjamin had Santiago dissolve his first human body. Several henchmen were watching. If this worked, this would be their future method for all their enemies. Santiago undressed the body and stuffed it into a large drum filled with the same mixture as before, except this time there were 200 liters of it. The drum's burner was lit up and the mixture started to froth. Santiago left it overnight to cook. When he returned to the vat in the morning, there was no body inside, just a red sludge and some tiny fragments decorated. Oh my god. Wow. Oh my god. No, you don't know how cartels get rid of a lot of bodies. They just disappear. 
There you go. That's why. They have a method of dissolving bodies. Yeah, right? That's insane. That is insane. Just little bone fra fragments left. Oh. Man, this world is scary. Yeah, it's man. like, it's like, no wonder I'm agoraphobic. Yeah, I can't handle it. I don't want to be here, dude. I can't handle it. Great in the bottom of the container. El Pozzolero was born. Before you ask, no, Pozzolero doesn't literally mean soup man. It comes from Pozole, a traditional Mexican soup made with corn and meat. I know. El Pozzolero ruined the dish forever. After El Pozzolero notified the Ariano Felix brothers of their successful experiment, they called in their truck driver. He took the container and drove it to a nearby canyon in the dead of night. He tossed the remains in there and carried the container back to the cartel headquarters. This would be the Tijuana cartel's preferred method of dealing with their bodies. Santiago became their chief cleaner. El Pozzolero was in charge of everything, buying oil containers, caustic soda, latex gloves, and gas masks. Everything about this job was simply horrifying, and El Pozzolero seemed to be completely desensitized to it. Maybe he was even getting a kick out of it. Now he was working directly under drug lord Teodoro Garcia Cimental, a.k.a. El Teo. He would send El Pozzolero. He looks like a, a gem. <laughs> he looks like a nice gem. What? If Rev died, really? Okay. I don't care. He's fucking crazy. A text message with a location every time he had a new body that he needed to get rid of. El Pozzolero would arrive at the specific location, but it wouldn't be a simple exchange. A cohort of cars would pull up, and he would be called to find out which car the body was in. Then, two henchmen would help Pozzolero carry the body into his vehicle and he would drive off to his lab. There he would take care of the body. Sometimes it would be several bodies. I don't think anyone's going to die. He would take the I think Rev's fine. To huge underground pits. By now, El Pozzolero had his own great graveyard, and business was moving in the worst sense of the word. But as always, nothing lasts forever. Teo was a ruthless, violent, and headstrong man. This caused several hiccups between him and the Ariano Felix brothers. In 2008, it all came to a boiling point. Teo decided to switch sides and join the biggest rival cartel around, El Chapo and El Mayos, Sinaloa. And since El Pozzolero was his man, he took him with him. This is how El Pozzolero became the Sinaloa cartel's chief body disposer, too. This is creepy on so many levels. He was dissolving the bodies of his former colleagues. But he didn't seem to care. El Pozzolero made $600 what a week fuck? in his time and place. This was excellent money. He could afford almost anything he wanted. And he had achieved a disturbing kind of stardom in the cartel world. But his gruesome work stint... You feel less scared watching these with other in. people? Haha. Uh -huh. That's good, though. I'm glad you can watch this with other people and feel <laughs> good about it. Just for fun? Why would you ask anyone that question? That is insane. Like, I'm giving you a time out for that. Don't ask me stupid fucking weird questions like that. In less than a year. In January 2009, Mexican authorities tracked him down after an anonymous tip pointed them in his direction. When the officers barged in, he was stirring something, smelling horrible. He was you can take it more better, Autumn. When the officers asked him about his concoction. He claimed it was seafood soup. You can only imagine what it really was. Oh. After his arrest, however, El Pozzolero decided to confess. He told the detectives he had dissolved around 300 bodies, but it's believed the actual number is over a thousand. The case made the headlines throughout Over Mexico. a thousand? El Pozzolero was pictured as a macabre soup master who had done the cartoon. Trevor. Yeah. Trevor on GTA 5. With, with the cannibals in the mountain. 
Yeah, dude. My God. Holy crap. That's nuts. That was a morbid question, but I don't think that meant any harm. But what a scary thought to entertain. Like, what the hell? Who fucking, like, thinks like that? I didn't see it, so I don't care. Yeah, don't worry about it, baby. Okay. I love you. I love you, too. Jeez, man. I'm straight at you, Hulk, and I ran. I'm not feeling well. Bill's bidding for I get over a it. decade. No questions asked. El Fuzzoletto's wife commented to the media. He would say, I prefer my job than for my family to die of hunger. Was there really no alternative to the soup man job? With Santiago in prison, the police went on to discover his gruesome burial site called the chicken coop. 250 kilos or 500 pounds of bones and bone remains were extracted by 2017. The creepy catch was that the chicken coop really was used to raise chickens too. It was a little farm along the... Oh my God, the chickens would eat the human bones. Uh. Oh. Do I have a YouTube? No, I don't. I'm staying away from that place. Free highway to Tecate, and it worked as a perfect mass for the El Pozolero's horrible affairs. But only 70 of El Pozolero's many, many bodies were dissolved at the chicken coop. 16,500 liters of human matter have been extracted from all over Tijuana. Holy human shit. Human poured out from the containers in every empty lot and wooded area. Imagine all the remains that still haven't been found. All the victims that will forever remain nameless. Thanks to the cartel's gruesome disposal method. What's worse, El Pozolero taught others how to dissolve bodies. He even installed a drainage system during his last years on the job, making the process... What? Nuts. Yeah! I'm not the gal. He is like Jeffrey Dahmer on steroids. Nuts. Holy crap. Thousand bodies. Yeah, it does sound like the guy from American Horror Story Hotel. It's cleaner and easier for his disciples. He spoke about this with the investigators. It was the devil to move them. They weighed a lot. After everything was cleaned up, we stored the barrels. We also washed the drain with hot water because the remains stuck to the pipes. He spoke about it Aww. like it was just another job, complaining about all the physical work. When the officers asked him if he had any remorse, for what he did. He said, of course, he even told the cartel he didn't want to do the job anymore, but you can't really say no to cartel bosses. El Pozoleno also insisted that he never killed any of his victims and that he would never dissolve the bodies of women and children. In 2012, he was convicted and sentenced to 10 years in prison. During his trial, he said that he was not a dealer, a killer, or a monster. He was just a man. Only 10 years? That's it? Jesus. Wow. <sighs> okay. <coughs> what do you get for murdering one person? Like five days? I know, ten years! And doing his job for a cartel that wouldn't take no for an answer. In his last statement, he asked God for forgiveness and apologized to all his victims' oh, families. Oh, fuck off. You're just doing that to get off. Of all the other remains. So the victims' families were not pleased with his apology. <laughs> they said it can't be genuine. He was not willing to help the police. Furthermore, many of these families were outraged when El Pozolero was released from prison in April 2022. In their opinion, it doesn't... 
the matter that he did not kill his victims. He dissolved 1,000 bodies. His sentence should be much harsher than 10 years. Yeah? If we consider that El Pozonato worked for the cartel, he would probably die if he told the police about the burial sites. However, this is not an excuse for all the atrocities he committed under their instruction. He took the job in the first place. To this day, the Mexican police are still retrieving bone remains in the Tijuana area. It's hard to even imagine the scale of the cartel's wars, the victims, and El Pozomero's body disposal industry. And who knows how many people are still doing what he did in 2009. Was El Pozomero an evil criminal? Yes. <laughs> to pain and suffering? Or was he a simple person caught in All the right, place I'm back. time in a web of cartel manipulation? What did I miss? What did I miss? And if so, could he have not a lot of anything, it seems like. For his arrest? Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment. Oh, good. Yeah, he made it all the way through that. To, like, come to America, pretty much. No, no. We need your uh, body dissolving uh, expertise here. Right. I want to see this. What? I've been seeing this. It's laughing. When a killer doesn't realize. What did he's I being miss, recorded. guys? Okay. Did I miss anything? That seems really exciting. <laughs> I know it's another explore with Demon's us. Demon's gonna but, go live at 2 p.m. That late? Too, but Shit. I really want to see that video. No, yeah, that sounds great. Hmm. Yeah. If he's gonna go live, okay. Then maybe I should Mommy take a break. Dog and her dog lay to... there and watch Let's see. What killer. time is it now? It's 5:30. He's not gonna go on till 10. Shit. Well, I'm going to cover it. You know I am. Do we know what he's going to be talking about at all? And if it will be worth... um, Is it 10 p.m. Eastern time? That would be 9 p.m. my time. Made me fall and my leg like went up. So now I'm limping. My legs up and there's three cars coming up. So I grab her body. Dude, I have. It's gonna be about Channing. In Interesting. I, well then, you know I'm gonna cover it. Bragging about this. Let me go and uh make sure I've got that set to notify me or whatever. But yeah, I'm gonna. I'll cover that for sure. He's bragging about this. Let me pull some. Like stuff it's up like real quick. like like in a funny event that happened to him. Okay, Sabella, I might do that. Fuck you, dude. You're not. Let me see. Insane, Gavin. Is this insane? Yeah, he thinks it is. Good point, Dinah. If right? if Shani doesn't have is an account, then right? how did she buy a premium is account? That's right. Mm. You're gonna get your Kit Kat food soon. Yeah. You're gonna get your Kit Kat food soon. Your gravy. You go be so happy with your gravy. Oh. And I go be so happy for the Gavin that he gets his gravy. Yeah. Because that's the most important thing. <laughs> Melissa. Ever, is having Kit You'd be happy food. to pay extra for YouTube to gently yes. caress me awake Just so I can nap with Gary. That's hilarious. Ugh. <sighs> <laughs> no, and her feet were up here and her foot was, her head, her head was down there and three cars oh they by. think katie you think they're doing and it on revs uh channel maybe could have been a cop yeah. and then i mean the police station okay is like right there yeah yeah so it's g-man's going live at 10 p.m eastern so that would be my 9 p.m my time still what four hours away something like that three and a half um, but yeah, I'm curious as to what he's going to say. So, you know, I'll be there for it. Um, 19 year old Sarah Stir, a budding see. artist from Neptune City, New Jersey. When she's beautiful, she's beautiful. She's beautiful. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. You're telling me you're going to do beautiful. that to that beautiful it's young lady? It's true. Um, hmm. Damn, I hate this, like, uh, freaking crime shit that Shani's doing. Like, if she, if there was some way she made it, like, entertaining or something, it's just, like, drags on. Oh my god. Like, come on, Shani. Do a little bit more. Just a little bit more effort. Is that possible at all? <clears throat> Because, uh, I don't know. 
God. Maybe people. people are enjoying it. I should only speak for myself. Missing in December 2016. Sarah was well known. He has something to say to Shani. Nice. Well, I'll be there. Have been especially G-Man. concerned about her after her mother, Carla Stern, died from cancer in 2013. Despite this tragedy, Sarah still had a love for art and graphic design. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Referring to herself as an artist and a reckless optimist in her Twitter bio. <laughs> Alright, Toe Tapper. She wanted to show Sigourney Weaver from the movie Alien. I, right. I feel you, Toe Tapper. I'm getting, like, worn out on it too, but... Yeah, I am looking forward to the G-Man stuff because Shani has been so boring. But And I'm curious as to what he will say about people, you know, giving them money and doing all that. Because you you gotta think. These people have had a lot, and I mean a lot, of shit talking and and things to say to G Man about supporting Shani and Rev. Don't get me wrong. I've I felt that same way too. But the difference now is they're doing the exact same thing that they were going after him for doing. So Mm, it's a little hypocritical, you know? It's a little hypocritical to me. If you're going to call him an enabler, a child abuse enabler, by giving money and supporting Shani and Rev, then you got to f- f- go by the same rules, do you not? Then, So when you guys are giving her money, are you not uh, enabling a child abuser as well? I mean, I don't agree with everything that went down with G-Man. In that situation. And he knows that. Like he's aware of how I feel about all that. Um, But I can say. At the end of the day. I do think he. Cared more about those boys. Than any of the people. You know that are on the internet or whatever. I I genuinely do think that he cared about them. And I think that's why when they were gone. Once they were gone. He officially was like. Okay I got to get these people out of this house. I've got to do some things. And, And was kind of like. Because you know he knew that they were going to act like that, probably. You know what I mean? But anyway, enough about that. We'll see what he has to say. Let's get back into this. Um, I might I might let this run for a little bit and, and take a little bit of a break. I don't know yet. But for now, I'm still all right. We'll still keep going. We'll see what happens. December 2nd. See if anything Sarah suddenly interesting stopped happens. responding to messages. Her last message was an upbeat response to some Disney. photos of Disneyland her father sent, saying, No, Firefly, wow, of course the they castle looks so pretty with the lights. But after that, she stopped replying. Have a good her night, Poppy. Her, Do they ever get a snuggle puss? Do they ever get up to pee? Yeah. Shani, Shani gets up. Trust me, you'll know when she does, too, because she does it, like, right in front of the camera and bends over and puts her butt right in front of the camera. Yeah. So they do every once in a while get up, but it's not often. And on Friday, December 2nd, reported the fact that no one could get a hold of her to the police. Immediately, officers were out looking for her, and what they found Aww, was Melissa, chilling. that's so sweet. Sarah's grandmother's car, Thank you which so she much. On a regular basis, like, that is a really sweet thing to say, and I really appreciate that, Melissa. You, you guys are always just so supportive and kind, and honestly, I don't deserve it. You know what I mean? You guys are amazing. And I'm just really grateful. I hope you guys know how much I appreciate each and every one of you. Because I really, I truly do. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be doing this, like, at all. You know, I can just, I could just sit and watch Shani and the whole train wreck or whatever and not, not have to talk about it online or whatever. Like, I do it because I genuinely love hanging out with you guys, talking to you guys. And, um, and I just really, really appreciate you. Like, it's hard to put into words you know what I mean because I feel like it doesn't um doesn't show enough of like my appreciation I really would like to do something that I'm able to give back to you guys um in some way too or give you guys something special because you deserve it you guys are awesome yeah, like murder scenes and stuff oh let's see what are they talking about well how long is this one? Oh my god yeah she just started this one's three hours long there's no way they're gonna sit here for three hours and watch this. Shani, do some but shorter sure. videos, like my lord. It's gonna take them all night to get through freaking a three-hour stream or three-hour uh, documentary. Yesterday they did a three-hour documentary, and literally they started in the morning and were not done until like ten, eleven o'clock. 
So I don't know if they're going to cover this whole thing. They're going to be on here for a while. We're going to make ourselves very well known yep. by yelling and screaming. We're back on walls. Oh, thank I you, believe Melissa. You might be feeling possible carbon footprints. You can almost sense the heightened energy. It's also hard to hard not to empathize with this when you know it's a tragic area. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Oh, Gabby, I'm so glad heavy. that you feel it's like, like that. It's just, it's we, I don't know how to explain it. Are you okay? Oh, yes. I have no idea. There. And be prepared for if if Mike is home, yeah, for him to be pissed. Well, I don't think he's home. There's a couple cars. You know, there's a there's a yes, Firefly. You want a palate cleanser? Car. Sure. Let me pull well, something up for you. One second. Well, we Let's should see. bang up the windows all around the house. I didn't realize it was such a toll. Yeah, is there a gate? Right. Wow, I had no idea he lived like this. Oh, it's like a scary <laughs> freaking movie or something. Kind of. Uh, nothing good came from this. Got somebody in there? The dog's probably hungry. Yeah, they'll do that. Yeah, if you don't answer your door, they will tap every fucking window and everywhere and flash the lights in every window yeah they will do yeah, that they gotta because if they're there to check and see if, if something's wrong and there's no answer yeah they gotta do every effort to try and get somebody to come because what if somebody ends up dead that night i know that's it but these yeah. goddamn people on the internet yeah, I know. trying to make it seem like I'm hurting you. Yeah, anyway. I know. It's stupid. But but the, in cases where it's there could be a real danger, they have to do that. Yeah, I know. I see why they do it. But at the same time, <clears throat> it's bad when it happens to people that are innocent. Yeah. And high energy spikes that happen before someone's murder have some mark on the universe more so than natural death. Yeah, that's possible. God, you guys are so cool. <laughs> guys are so cool, bro. Hello? 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 All right, here. Let's do this. Let's go ahead. Let's watch something maybe funny. For a second. Here we go. Little palate cleanser for everybody. That was fake. <laughs> oh, oh, right on the kid's head. <laughs> oh, my God. Damn, that's a lot of money that just got wasted. Oh, oh, damn it. 
Damn. That sucks. No! Why? Why did you do that, bro? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. They're going in. Oh Jesus. You're making a mess, girl. Tom's first Lamborghini ride. Here we go. Maybe the last. Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> okay. Gosh, she's beautiful. <laughs> Did you hear that? All right. So we'll open it up to questions. <laughs> Oopsies. Oh. Um, what are you going to do now, bro? No, no, why, what are you out of your mind? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I missed it. What happened? Oh! Ow. What the? Are those turkeys? Yo. 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 Wow, he got him. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. God damn. <laughs> Don't get next to those babies. <laughs> oh, what was that? Poor kitty cat. What happened? Oh, let the kid have it. Oh, mom, this tells you which celebrity you look like. Oh, I got Megan Fox. Ooh. Yeah. What? Oh my god. Wow, that's beautiful. Oh! Oh no. Mm -mm. We don't do that. Put her down, please. We don't do that. Yes, she's happy for me. She's happy for me. Look, she's happy. <laughs> <laughs> that yes, cat! Oh my we god, it's face. Go yeah, we probably hit Battle Creek. Hello. There we go, this one. Yeah, we can do that. We can go to Battle Creek. Yeah. yeah I like those mushroom fish. Hello. Are, you the spicy are, are we not being verbal? Yeah, that yeah, mushroom twist does sound We're really just good. trying to have a conversation. Oh, we're we're not trying to yell at you guys. I do like the crunch wraps, cream. Okay. I, I like the uh, cheesy bean and rice from Peter. <laughs> I like the burrito supreme. It's 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 good. Are you five bucks for that? Are they really? Really? Sir, it must be that sour cream. Either way, you, we just have a, a surf 
Yeah, yeah. 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 It, it, it's the sound of the traffic drowning out that music over there. It is, yeah. It is nice. It didn't travel this far. I was worried that the music was going to travel over here, but it didn't. <laughs> wow. Hi, kitty. You want food? Oh, Thank Jesus. You. If that was me, I told Jack, I said, I'm sorry, but if that was me, I'm like, oh, oh. Got it, man. I've had that happen, something very similar to that, and it hurt. Kazak. What is happening here? Oh! Oh, I saw this one before. That bird's about to take that money. Oh, no. Oh. I, I, I just want to make sure you're okay. You're not plotting anything, are you? Okay, I love you. Okay. I'll see you later. Oh, my God. That was great. Oh, you know this is gonna end bad. How's the hammer? <gasps> <laughs> oh, oh no. Us, and even for millions of other species, home hangs in the balance. Human actions are destroying habitats, decimating our entire ecosystem and disrupting the circle of life. And with the Wee. rise in drought cases, it oh, is up to oh. us to be guardians of our own natural world, save our wild species, and provide a home. <laughs> So long. Sir, sir, can I tell you a joke? <laughs> what do you call an alligator in a vest? An investigator. <laughs> you know what's funny too, right? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. What happens when you sleep with an, a gator prostitute? You get gator AIDS. <laughs> okay, okay. Wait, wait, you don't think these are funny? Come on, these are funny. These are funny! But dude, these are funny! Dude, come back, wait! What do you call an alligator using a GPS? A navigator! 
<laughs> you didn't think they were fun. <laughs> oh, oh. What are you doing, bro? What? Oh, no. Oh, my God. I'll be damned. We are on the green box now. I got four good responses right there. This one says, what is the most problematic? Which one are you thinking? Oh, God. Pardon? You. На новом аккаунте я точно научился открывать майонез. Ёб, стой, стой, стой. <laughs> but you know what's crazy? Did he freeze or die freeze? Oh. Is it me or God, did you did you freeze too? <laughs> <laughs> Hi Shaw. No, don't do it. Wow. Okay, let's go back to Shani and Rev. Let's see what they're talking about now. Liberator, too excessive for the context. I went to work, got home from work, got drunk with my buddy, and then I had a knock on the door at four o'clock. This is so. So yesterday, completely two o'clock. Yeah, between one and two, we went to Taco Bell. Liam sounds winded and nervous. He's nodding excessively, which is either a self-soothing technique or an attempt to try to appear more truthful or convincing in what he's saying. In the past, she has had a tendency to have self-destructive behavior. I actually know that... How long ago? Years ago. I mean, nothing you... When you say I was going to get you in trouble, but yeah, you know... Do you know if she, does she use alcohol, does she use any kind of drugs? And listen, like I said, it's not going to get her in trouble, it's not going to get you in trouble. We just kind of need to know what her, maybe her mindset was like. Well, I've, I've drank, I've smoked with her in the past. Okay. Marijuana, I'm so Yeah, I worked until 10 o'clock. Okay. I was supposed to work until midnight, but I got off at 10 o'clock. Um, and you just came back here? Yeah, I went back there. Uh, you know, yeah. Why he's breathing so heavy, he heavily out of all of a sudden? Because yeah, he's feeling, yeah, they're, they're, they're they confronted him. Like, yeah, you, like you had something to do with it. Yeah, he's breathing heavily. <clears throat> that says something. Nodding a lot and shit. Yeah. They should ask him to take his glasses off. Yeah. I think that's his girlfriend back there. You see her? Oh, okay. By oh, did they change bush. the wish list? Yeah. Hold up. So did they change the wish list? 
Let me see. Let me grab the link. Where did it go? Hold up. Hey. All right, I got it. Hold on. No. No. No, 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 no. Y'all. No, she didn't. Um. What? What? She added period underwear. Um. Um. Shanny! That, I swear to God, they have no fucking shame, bro. None. At all. Let's see what else is on here. Fishnet stockings. Um, those are not going to fit Shanny. So, <laughs> um, a medium to three times large. I wonder how, how, maybe, maybe it'll fit her. Maybe it'll fit her. Um, we've got Morden, Morden Miss co women's cotton linen dress with pockets. Okay. That thing is $32. Renaissance costume woman medieval. What? She thinks she's going to wear that? Plus size bell sleeve dress. Boho vintage hip. Wow. Okay. We've got some Dawn dish soap. Okay. That's practical. And some sponges. <laughs> some idiot. Thank you for the super chat. You said she would need a literal fishnet to cover them legs and that ass. You got a point there. You've got a point. Wow. Wow. Wow, Shani. And that's it, right? That's all that's on that list. So... All that other stuff, if anybody was questioning whether or not it actually was bought for them, it's not on the list anymore. So, leads me to believe that um, most likely it was bought. Especially from their reaction and shit. But. This is critical information that Liam essentially right, got see. in out and answering as they did it for him. Liam sits on the porch with his roommate, Preston Taylor, who is also friends with Sarah, an unnamed friend, and Liam's mother. Um, the here's what I'm going to do, Sarah's guys. Background. I need to go take care of a couple of things. Um, like, I need to take my dog out for a walk, and so he can go do his business and stuff. Sabella, do you guys want me to keep this going? And if so, will you be here to kind of uh, mod the chat and everything and oversee it while I'm out of pocket? You got it, Sabella? Okay. Well, I'm going to go and take the dog out really quick, and I will come back in just a few minutes. Um, but I'll be watching on my phone, just so you know. I will be seeing everything. So. But um, I'll be right back, guys, okay? See you in a minute. And he comes across as almost a friend. Not an officer interacting with potential suspects. We've said it a couple times, and I'll throw it at you one more time, dude. Yeah. We just want to make sure she's okay. Nobody's going to get in any trouble here. We trust me. It doesn't matter to us what you're doing behind the closed doors. We just got to make sure Sarah's all right. And yeah. if you've got any other information, you got to throw it out at us so we can go a little further. You know, we're kind of throwing darts at the wall right now. Quite honestly. Wow, fuck that guy. She was having a good time and doing nothing wrong. Yeah, exactly, man. The bulldozers are putting their heads together, throwing darts at the wall, trying to figure out. This statement makes him once again sound incompetent. An officer should never show their hand to potential suspects, 
unless they can use it to their advantage. A statement like this doesn't seem to do anything but make them look like they're desperate and have little to go on. Whether true or not, that should never be openly stated to anyone potentially involved. If you come up with anything else, yeah. yeah. Mom's got a detective's number. You gotta call us. If there's any way that she contacts you in any way that you two may make contact. Yeah. If you think about something that you guys talked about that might be important that you're not thinking about and you're telling us now, you gotta call us and let us know. Like I told you again, there's resources and people out here right now risking themselves yeah. to find her. Yeah. So I mean, I'm just... You want to do this job? Now you put yourself in our shoes and what us and all the everybody else is going through. Definitely. All right? Liam was then brought in to speak with police at the station to see if he could shed any light on what may have happened to Sarah. And believe me, what he had to say was eye-opening. All right. I don't trust him. Mm -mm. You don't trust me either? He no. knows something. No, I... He at least knows something or he did something. Yeah. Definitely. Like... I don't know why he didn't say anything from the beginning to the cops, man. Sarah and Liam's friend, Preston Taylor, was brought in the next day for questioning as well. Liam and Preston lived together in a cottage in Neptune City. Preston took Sarah to junior prom the year before they graduated ah. from high school, so he knows her well, something that he doesn't let on to for quite some time. Please know that the people involved in this case have not been formally diagnosed with any mental illness. And the psychological analysis is not based upon a formal assessment. So it's the same, same thing. We bring it and, you know, the, the detective from the county is going to come in and uh, talk to you. You know, he, you, you haven't met him yet. So, uh, he's going to step in and uh, he's going to talk to you and uh, we'll go from there, right? Okay. Just, uh... Although some dismiss body language analysis as pseudoscience, it's used by the FBI and CIA during interrogations. When the CIA is interrogating an individual, they look for clusters of three or more indicators that occur in either quick succession or all at once. These indicators can be signs of discomfort or uncertainty in what the individual is stating, rather than indicators of deception. It's extremely important to note that you cannot detect deception through body language analysis alone. As soon as he enters the room, Liam appears tense. He's sitting with his arms crossed and his posture is slouched slightly forward, which could mean he's eager to get started with the interrogation. However, his arms being crossed and the frequent nodding of his head when responding makes him appear tense and uncomfortable with the situation. Hey, Liam, thank you for coming in, man. Thank you, sir. You have to work down here. You're off. I'm lost. You're off. Yeah, I actually have to put this all day, but I even got all my professors and they said it's fine if I don't come in this week. Okay. Yeah. Uh, why don't you get to work? Something's still on. I don't know. Come on, right? Try to put them on. I've been taking files this week. Huh, that's interesting. Before he was acting like he doesn't care, and now he's like, I I'm, I'm having a hard time. Like, he's gainer in sympathy that way, man. Maybe. Use an excuse not to go to work. Mm -hmm. Narcissists, I swear to God. You've met John before, and he's from Yeah, I'm Ryan. I'm a detective with the prosecutor's office. Nice to meet you. And, um... Liam continues nodding his head excessively while the interrogator is speaking. This may be because he's trying to appear truthful, convincing, and engaged. It may also just be a self-soothing behavior instead of a desperate attempt to be believed. Another indication of his desire to appear this way is that he shakes the hand of the investigator. Although a handshake is a typical appropriate greeting, Liam leaning forward. Uh, Jason, you see something? Oh, <laughs> we both did it. The yeah. Thumbs. The thumbs. Someone's trying to tell the cop, hi, I'm a mason. You have to get me out of this. Help I'm me. a mason. Look at me. I'm white. I look like a mason, right? Yes, I'm a mason. Please help me. Yes. I actually did that once in court. 
Did you? Yeah, I did. I I did I did the right angle with my feet in court. <laughs> and the judge, when he started, he said, "Okay, Mr. E. Gruff," and he put he put his glasses on and he went like that. He looked right at my feet, and I did get less than I was going to get. Isn't that funny that we both noticed that? Yeah. <laughs> the thumb. <laughs> Fucking thumb, you Mason asshole. He's trying. Yeah, hey. He Hey, if you're in a tough spot, remember that thumb Holy placement. Shit. I ran back to my phone to see. Yeah, that's that's a Masonic handshake right there. There. He's letting that cop know I'm a Mason. Get me out of this. Boy. Surely you could pull in some Masonic resources, or is it not all it's cracked up to be? What, the Masonic handshake? There's several. There's several freaking <clears throat> Masonic handshake. And, yeah, go images. Yeah. You see what I mean? The you, thumb placement. You deliberately put the thumb. And this is actually from M M Mason. Let me show you. I gotta. I gotta change the screen. But this is actually from the Masonic book. Okay. Let me. Window capture. Right there. Is that what we just seen on screen? I think it is. Yeah. I think it is. This is a boy. Always thought they looked out for each other in times of need. That's what he's trying to attempt to do. Yeah, I think so. It's signaling, hey, I need help. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi. Looks very sim similar. Yep. Me and Jason saw it right away. Yeah, it's, it's deliberate. Uh, very deliberate. The the guy the the young kid is really doing it, like laying it on. Yeah, he is, man. Hard, like help me, okay? Yeah. All like, right, I'm a brother. Look at me. Like, uh, look at this shit, man. Yeah. It's obvious that's the handshake. Yeah, she had, I approached. I approached court like this, <laughs> like that. That's awesome. I made sure it was at the angle. You just know these things. Yeah. <laughs> We're just like, oh, hi, I know you. Hello, fellow traveler, you know? I was offered to join him by a friend and turned it down, got an official letter and everything. Very interesting observation from you and Jason. Yeah. <laughs> we used to do that all the time, dude. Back in the day. Yeah, that, Together. Was, that was our shit. That was, that was our great pastime back in the day. Is, is looking at symbology and stuff. Yeah. Is it symbolic for help? Like help from a friend? Yeah. That's pretty much what he's doing. At, well, you can see the way he's looking at him as well at the same time as the handshake. Like, hi, brother. I'm a mason. Will you yeah. have a brother out? Yeah, do you, you need to help me. He ain't, he ain't doing the, the high call of distress, which is basically like you're uneasy on your feet and you're going like this. That's, that's, that's mason in distress. And they go like this, too. That's mason in distress. Yep. But he was, he's not going to start doing that. They'll think he's schizophrenic or something. Yeah, that's true. So he's giving him a firm grip Mason handshake. You need to help me. Yep. Please. Forward and shaking the hand of the interrogators is another indication he's trying to come across as agreeable. I'm a Mason. <laughs> we, uh, we just want to talk to you. Some greater detail about uh, what information um, you have. 
He's a Navy know, SEAL uh, now? Where she is. Really? Uh, where, uh, where do you live with Liam? I live so with Liam is a Navy SEAL. Apparently. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, your son's a Navy... Your oh, I'm sorry. Oh. I'm sorry. I thought you were talking about this case. I'm sorry. No. Navy, <laughs> Navy SEALs are just incredible, insanely amazing people. They really are. Correct. Uh, Preston. Preston Tim. Two friends there also. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we all went to high school again. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, where, where are you working now? Uh, Brennan State House, Neptune City. I also work at. Uh, Tree Willie. It's a Christmas tree place in the mall. You, uh, you go to work there, you said? Mm -hmm. You study uh, psychology. How long have you known, uh, how long have you known Sarah? First grade. Since first grade? Yeah. The interview has begun with basic questions, as the detectives are trying to get a background history on him, and also a baseline to judge Liam's demeanor, tone, patterns of speech, and body language, to have a point of reference when they get into topics he may be more apt to lie about. The detectives also do this to develop a rapport with the suspect, using casual conversation to create a non-threatening atmosphere. Additionally, it becomes harder for people to suddenly stop talking once they've already started. The detective is friendly and does a good job setting up a non-threatening atmosphere. However, the detective is taking notes during the interview, which can create a sense of distance and less informal. Do I believe in it? What, the Scottish right? I'll get back to that. Get back to that with you. Which is not ideal for an interrogation. The conversation is being recorded, so it isn't necessary. The detective will also potentially miss a lot of nonverbal communication by writing instead of looking of as the I suspect answers them. A person who knows their answers are being written down may also be more careful with their responses, which is also less than ideal when trying to extract information. What are you talking about, Sven? That's a really weird thing to say, dude. That's a very weird fucking thing to say. Like, why are you saying that, Sven? Yeah, that's really weird to say, dude. That's creepy as fuck. If that's supposed to be a joke, it's not funny. No, God in general, and who and what it is. What do you think God is? Yeah, it is creepy and threatening. Like, like Sven. He's really fucking weird. It's really weird to say, though. Yeah. Anyway. Right, Autumn? The detectives use the same technique as with Liam to get a read on Preston's baseline behavior. Preston appears rather reserved and unemotional. He's visibly un... All right, let's see odd. I think God is life evolved to a point near the end of the universe to recreate it again. A paradox, if you will. Huh. That's interesting. Okay. All right. Comfortable being there. And I would say... Yeah, it was about me disappearing for some reason. Like, what? Really weird, fucking gross to say. Yeah. 
Come get me, motherfucker. No, he's saying, I'm gonna disappear you. I love you. What the yeah, fuck? I know. It's so fucking weird. Dude, um, I do lives with you at 11 Street. Just clear. Just killing us, yeah. Preston has a notably monotone effect to his speech. He seems rather unemotional, and his tone rarely changes. You will also notice Preston repeatedly does what is called a mouth shrug after answering many of the detective's questions. This often conveys the message of, I don't really know, or this has nothing to do with me. It could also signify a feeling of disappointment with himself. Preston overall seems very flat and often mumbles when speaking. Uh, so, how long have you known him? His family was currently after me, and it was been my eligible class freshman year, so I've known him since then. I see him through pretty good friends. I've known him ever since the beginning of high school. Yeah. Um, you guys didn't know each other in middle school or elementary school. No. Did you grow up in... Did not. Did not. Not my whole life. Did you he grow seems up genuine, life? this dude. Sarah as well? Yeah, they were all in the same friend group. That was essentially what I started hanging out with going to high school. Now, is she younger or is she older or younger than you? It's just the same age. Same age. You guys graduated together. Uh, how did you meet Sarah? miss anything good I'm guessing probably not let's see are you mad that she never hooked up with you dude <laughs> we had thoughts that she was a lesbian okay yes thank you mods y'all do a wonderful okay. job and I greatly appreciate yeah, like, what you. The fuck? Thank Random? you, Sabella. Uh, yeah, I totally said you. So you want to fuck? And she said no. So she's uh, she's probably a lesbian, dude. Like, who wouldn't want to fuck me? Like, I'm a lifeguard. Like, of course you're going to say yes to this. She said no to me. So we thought she was a lesbian, bro. You know? Why would I know anything about a lesbian, bro? I fuck any woman I want to. Huh? I don't know about no lesbians. <laughs> so this Sarah chick, she was nice and everything, but she's a lesbian, bro. <laughs> like, what is wrong with him? I don't know. Rejection equals gay. gay to yeah. him, because he's like, I'm a god. Like, who wouldn't want this? Like, come on. Well, <laughs> you know, that's that's what came off to me. Anyway, and you too, I think. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see here. <laughs> what time is it? What Six twenty-two. <clears throat> I don't know, Odo. It just happens. It happens. Or ever to date anybody before? No, actually, um, it's actually it's weird. It seems just seems really um, like uh, immature. So I think, I think what I'm going to do, guys, is I think I'm going to wrap this up um, and take a little bit of a break and get something to eat and, like, chill out for a bit. And then I will come back on when G-Man goes live at 9 p.m. Central, 10 p.m. Eastern time. Do you guys, would that be okay with you guys? Um, with me taking a little bit of a break? Because they're just being, I mean, this is so boring that. I don't know if I can sit through much more of it. Like, it's bad. 
What do you guys think? Would that be a fair uh, thing to do? Sounds good. Yeah. Are you sure you guys are okay with that and don't mind? Yeah, that's what I feel like. Like they're just bored. It's just drawing on. They're going to be watching the same case the whole time. And it's just like, uh, I feel like I can't handle anymore. Um, so before we go, you know what I'm going to do, what I do. Let's see. All right. I'm going to leave you guys with a little song like I do. And then, like I said, in a couple of hours, which will be 10 p.m. Eastern, 9 p.m. Central, I will come back on and we will cover the G-Man stuff and whatever goes on there. Um, and hell, I mean, Shani might be still live then. I don't know. She was live still late last night, so it's possible. Um <laughs> Sabella, you're cracking me up. All right, guys. Well, I will see you guys back in a couple of hours. Thank you guys for being here with me and hanging out with me today. I had a great time, and you guys are amazing. You always are. Um, and I will see you in a couple hours. It won't be long, and we'll be right back together again. So thank you guys, and um, I'll see you in a little bit. Love you. Bye, guys. Oh, crazy. I'm so into you You got this something, what can I do? Baby, you spin me around The earth is moving but I can feel the crown Every time you look at me My heart is jumping, it's easy to see You drive me crazy I just, just can't, can't sleep. I'm oh, so, so excited. excited. I'm in too deep. Oh.